Hello and welcome to the Vera Tools British Car Championships. It's event nine of the series and we've got Rotax and Honda racing at the beautiful clay pigeon circuit based in the Dorset countryside. It's, we're nearing the end of the season and we've got one class racing for that ticket to the Portimao Rotax Max Grand Finals. Lachlan Johnson took it at Warden Law. Who is going to take it in the Micromax class this weekend at Clay Pigeon? Let's find out. Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the 2022 Motorsport UK Vera Tours British Kart Championship at the Clay Pigeon Raceway on the Dorset Somerset border. My name's Henry Bodet. Joining me, as always, is Anthony Jordan. Anthony, last time we were here at Clay Pigeon at the start of the 2021 season, mm. we were ankle deep in water. But today, August Bank holiday weekend, the sun is shining, as it always does in the righteous. It does indeed. Yeah, we were in that little timing tower. You can Ooh. see over to the right side. We're yes. not in that greenhouse today, no, though, no, because no, no, no. Uh, it would be a bit warm. Warm. Uh, but yeah, drastically different conditions to what we had, like you said, at the start of the 2021 season. But you know what? Thankful for it. Yes, we are. Uh, and, and again, we're thankful for you joining us here on the Alpha Live YouTube channel, on the Motorsports UK Facebook page, and all social media outlets if you are watching on the alpha live youtube channel you can get your comments in on the live chat and we will endeavor to read out well the ones that we agree with anyway uh, even the ones that we don't even the ones that we don't uh, but what have we got lined up today well yesterday we had 12 heat races mm -hmm. today we have 14 Teen races. So two repercharges. Two repercharges. They're going to be the first ones up starting now. We had uh, 38 entries in Senior Rotax and 47 entries in Junior Rotax. We've got to weed those down to the top 34. Mm -hmm. And then we are underway with the pre-finals and the finals themselves. 815 metres. This is the shortest track on the calendar. But... Um, Yesterday, I mean, Anthony, you do a fine job, and I, you know, do a decent job myself of of, of introducing things. Mm. But yesterday, producer James uh, handed the microphone to some of our younger drivers. <laughs> Let's yes. see what happened when Kenzo Craigie and his friends took over our jobs. Mm. Mm. Hello and welcome to Alpha Live's YouTube channel. Today we're going to be broadcasting Honda Cadets, Mini Max, Junior Rotax, Senior Rotax with some brilliant racing. Now make sure you like and subscribe and turn the notification bell on. Uh, um, yeah, so like and subscribe. Yeah. Um. <laughs> oh yeah, make sure you watch because it's going to be some incredible well, racing. You know, Wolf. No, Wolf. What, what, what do you think of, of British Park Championships? It's a good championship. Do you think you'll win this year? Yeah. Get, get really close in view. Um, and also, uh, how are you feeling going into this round? Uh, I'm very confident that I'll win. Well done. Now, no, 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 no. Let me interview you. Now, Will, William Murphy, uh, you, you've recently swapped teams, haven't yeah. you? Yeah. Um, how are you liking the new uh, car? It's good. Do you, do you think you can... You can have a good round this round? Uh, I should. I'm quickish. Ish. Now we are going to interview <laughs> Mr. Sam Mock. Now, Sam Mock. <laughs> Mr. Uh, at Cart Masters, he had a very good, he had a very good result. Um, he finished 13th. Yep, 13th. How, what did you think of that weekend? A brilliant weekend and it was lots of fun. Now, Ollie. <laughs> yes. Hello. You look like you're. You look like you like to chat a lot. What do you want? To, what do you want to say? Um, I'm a human. Uh, Eva Morris. Eva Morris. What What do you want to say to the camera? And where do you think you'll finish today? Um, hopefully top five. And make sure you like and subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Okay, that's all for today at Alpha Live YouTube channel. Make sure you like and subscribe and turn the notification bell on. See ya! Bye! Well, Henry, I won't lie. I think we found your replacement. I, I think I'm... <laughs> I, I just collected my P45 from the office <laughs> and I'll see you down the job centre on Monday. Um, great stuff. Great stuff indeed. Uh, 
Now, we've got a few minutes to go before the start of the first race today, mm. which will be the senior Rotax Repechage. There are going to be 10 drivers fighting for six transfer spots in to the final themselves. Who have we got on the live chat? Uh, Max Moore supporting Super Ted, Teddy Pritchard Williams. Uh, Michael Burke in Bathurst, Australia, 752. Michael Burke and the rest of the Australian contingent are always tuning in to watch. We have an interview with your very own Gay Belanca uh, at some point today. We've got Ruben Dan as well in Minimax, who is representing the Australian flag. So don't go to bed yet, Michael and the rest of the Australian fans. We will tell you when the... Gabe Belanca interview, uh, exclusive Anthony Jordan meets Gabe Belanca interview mm. during uh, the course of today. Uh, Bradley Neal saying, come on, Charlie, that's Charlie Wolfit. Oh, there's lots of Charlies there in Cadet. Uh, uh, so I'm assuming it's Charlie Wolfit. Please tell me yeah, if it's you not. Have to specify a specify yeah, which specify Charlie, which Charlie, yeah. which big time Charlie you're uh, su su supporting. Mm, yeah, exactly that. But like you say, lots of racing today. And lots of racing. But, uh, speaking to a lot of the drivers over this weekend, they say that the track here, they, they like the track. Oh, yes. But it's a challenge. It is because it's old school. It is. So this track was built in 1954. Uh, and then it was the Bath Motor Club and the Blanford Motor Club. We're not quite sure which order. I think it was Blanford, then it was Bath. I think it was Bath and Blanford. But hey, you know, if if you know for definite, tell us on the live stream. But then in 1960, the Clay Pigeon Cart Club was born, mm -hmm. and it it went under RAC rules. So mm -hmm. before the MSA, before Motorsport UK and the MSA, there was RAC. They were the governing body, the yeah. Royal Automobile Club. Uh, the very first RAC kart race was held in 1959 in Lake and Heath. Graham Hill mm. won it. Mm. Uh, but then, it, they, uh, less than a year later, the first RAC event here at Clay Pigeon was born. So the track has remained virtually unchanged ever since. Yeah. Um, it's narrow. It's got a fantastic flow to it. It does mean, especially in junior and senior, overtaking is tricky. Yeah, it is indeed. But uh, I think the history of this circuit is one that is quite filled quite nicely. Oh, yes. I mean, the site here at Clay Pigeon, if you not know the story, is noise. So then we thought we'd put a karting track here. Put a go-kart <laughs> track here. Why not? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, okay, question time. Yep. Uh, first of all, uh, question time. Um, did you film the interview upside down just the right way up for Michael Burke? Jokes. Ha, ha, ha. Motorsport magpie. Um, good luck to Eva Morris. Uh, but before we get uh, before we get away, let's go. It's race one, and it's starting now. So the starting grid for the senior Rotax Rapper Charge. Ten drivers, six transfer spots, ten minutes plus one lap. It's Charlie Pritchard and Alex Baker on row number one. James Jackson and Ronnie Smith on row number two. Pedro Oliveira will take row three with Jack Lilly alongside. James Swindells and Drew Perry go for row number four. The final row, Lucas Ivescavichus and Declan Russell will start on that grid. Lights are not yet out. No, no false start. So here is the exit. Well, I mean, a lot of people say the first corner you see there is Billy's Blind. Actually, it is the corner just after the start line, the left hand, the, the, the cambered left hander that is actually Betty's blind and then the second part of Betty's blind is the right hander. Can you, on the live stream, on the live chat, tell me why it's called Betty's blind? Or who it's named after? The blind bit is because of the blind entry. Why is it named Betty's blind? Who is it named after? K get your answers in. And you can't look it up on Tinterweb. I can, though. Here we go, then. Lights are out. We're off and racing in the senior road tax driver charge. Into Betty's blind beat go and round the outside to take the lead. At turn number one is Alex Baker. Oh, at the back of the pack there, there's a side-by-side -side contact. Now they're into the S's, onto Sturmy Straight, and now down towards Hans Hairpin. Top four go through in this. Am I right, Henry? 34 cuts? Was the 28 six? have gone through. Oh, OK, so six. six Top six, six go through. Right, That's so. the horseshoe. Mm. Now we're into buttons, and this is top bend. 850 metres, it goes past in a hurry. This is downhill now, through. Betty's blind, just there to the left of your camera shot. 
down towards turn number one and it's Baker, Pritchard, Jackson, Lilly, Smith and Drew Perry, your top six. And uh, yeah, through the S's and again, on the me straight again, so quick lap times, just over 30 seconds. Yeah, it's, it's such a quick lap, isn't it? So you, you blink and you're back at the same part of the track that you were uh, uh, 30 seconds ago. It really is. Uh, it goes by in a flash. So, of course, these races, same amount of length, but the laps that they'll oh, end up doing. I mean, the finals, much, much they're going to be doing 25 plus laps in the yeah, final. It's yeah. going to be. And, and these, this track eats tires. Mm. It is hungrier than me after a night out on Sunday morning. Yeah, well, yes. there we go. That's not that fun. tells you how hungry it is. They, and, and of course, you've just seen there Pedro Oliveira getting his line wrong through the S's. There's a move, and that is the number 41 of James Jackson uh, taking a place. We've got to change the second position. Alexander Baker has cleared off. The race leader has managed to escape and get through. Here is the battle of the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth. So nobody out of contention yet. Hmm. All is well, but uh, nice sizable gap that Alexander Baker's got uh, for the time being. So the DHR driver kind of driving away with this one. A little wide there goes James Jackson, and uh, Charlie Pritchard will go down the inside, get that position back. Now, again, not, not, not needing to fight too much. You remember, it, like I say, it's top six that go through. So the position that you need to be concerned about in this one is P6 onwards. And oh. again, another change. James Jackson back down the inside and also coming through there. Who is that? That's Drew Perry. Yeah, that's uh, what, what so James like. Jackson, the number 41 card. He's actually 41st in the championship. Mm. Finished 30th at Cartmars. Oh, and a wheel oh. off. A wheel. And that is, oh dear, that is the 26 ultimate arc out of Charlie Pritchard and you saw and oh, oh Ronnie, Ronnie Smith. Smith and he was the innocent victim there you saw coming out of top bend look at that that has taken the sprocket half a rear axle That's... with it as well and poor old Ronnie Smith was just an innocent party there luckily luckily uh, no driver has been injured they're all okay but you know, you can see the wheel come off, but of course he's flat chat at 75 miles an hour, trying to control that. But of course the minute he tries to turn, the cart rotates and, oh dear, that was uh, unfortunate. So that is Pritchard and uh, Ronnie Smith out of the race. It means that Baker now leads still from Jackson Perry. Jack Lilly is up into fourth place. Declan Russell is fifth. Lucas Ivescovichus is in sixth position. Pedro Oliveira and James Swindells are the two drivers currently missing out. But if you have a little look back there, you can see the Brazil overalls that Pedro Oliveira He's lived in the UK all his life, but his family are Brazilian right. and he's got the Brazilian flag on his cart. Hmm. Very easy to spot there, the predominantly green and white livery kite. You can see the Brazil colours on his race suit as he comes out of the S's. Uh, he is trying to challenge the number 45 Thule Motorsport car. There's Jack Lilly, uh, the Sam Pollock racing driver. Um, but it's Oliveira is right behind mm. in his Kevich. So it's Lithuania versus Brazil for the final transfer spot at the moment. Yeah, six minutes to go then, plus that one lap. Still plenty of time in this race. And like you say, disaster striking there at one of the fastest part of the circuit. And I mean, that was a complete axle failure as well. It yes. wasn't just, you know, a wheel coming off. That, no, that no, axle no, that... had split in half, which yeah. is a very unusual thing to see. Because like you say, he took the whole sprocket with it as well. So yep. quite dramatic. But um, yeah, hopefully they are both OK. I believe they are. So, um, But like I say, yeah, back at the front, Baker's just kind of driven off at the moment. He's, he's comfortable. Then you've got Jackson and Perry, the two Thule Motorsport drivers who yep. are working well together. They're starting to pull away as well from privateer Declan Russell. Jack Lilly's still there in P5. Lucas Hivers-Kevichus is still there in P6. But he has got, like we were saying, Pedro Oliveira right behind. And you can just see them in the back of shot. Yeah, so Baker in the number 31 car, uh, in the number 23 car, rather, he's 34th in the championship. Now, a week ago, uh, there was the Rotax Festival here at Clay Pigeon. It was a great warm-up event. Uh, Baker finished 27th in that. Uh, Jackson, like we said earlier, he's 41st in the championship. Drew Perry in the number 64 cart, 39th in the championship. Declan Russell in cart number 46, 43rd in the championship. Privateer driver, he's not competing in all the rounds. Jack Lilly in the number 33 cart, he's 17th in the championship and took a top 20 finish at the Cartmasters Grand Prix a couple of weeks ago. So he has got a lot to lose by not getting into the final. The number 46 cut there, there's Dak Russell. He's on the Evolution Racing graphics, hmm. uh, which is usual, but he's uh, still a privateer driver. And quite sedate. The two Tooley Motorsport teammates there, just Jackson and Perry following each other along. Drew Perry not, you know, 
in a, in, in a position to make a move. He doesn't want to make a move. Shouldn't no. make a move. No, no, no. Not needed to. No, no, no. We're, we're safely in the pre-final and yep. the final. Um, the battle is between Iviskevichus and Oliveira. The gap between Iviskevichus and Oliveira is two tenths of a second. And you can just see the back of our shot there. James Swindells, he has, well, he said he had a bit of a stinker yesterday when we interviewed him in the Palace Show. There they are. There, the back of the shot there, that is the battle for the final transfer. It's about four minutes to go. It is a head to head fight between Evis Kevichus and Oliveira. Jack Lilly will be nervously looking over his shoulder. Uh, he wants to get away from that. But those three carts there are the drivers that are really sort of on the bubble, as it were. So Oliveira trying to close in there he goes that green nose cone on the front of his number uh, 57 cart the trinity cart racing team uh and uh, all he's got to do is get past that number 45 cart easy sounds yeah. easy sounds easy but yeah. round clay pigeon it's, it's not, not. Um, because like we were saying very short lap very tight course it's a classic track oh yes um, but it's so so difficult to overtake here it really really is in in these faster classes oh. in the uh, in the cadet classes yeah not so much oh. but here yeah but cadet, <laughs> cadet and minimax yesterday in the heats were wild yeah yeah, yeah. um it's something that occurred to me as well Anthony, which made me feel very very upset yeah it's been 20 years since i last raced here 20 years. 20 years. Wow, I didn't know you were racing when you were 42. Uh, oh. I know. Remarkable. <laughs> Remar <laughs> absolutely remarkable. Um, but yeah, 20 years in a TKM. Mm. Ooh, they were the days. Mm. Now, ah, now Oliveira at the inside ah, going yes. into the horseshoe, makes the move, but the crossover is on, coming through buttons now. And no, Oliveira holds on, but look at that, it's cost them 10 cart lengths yep. to Jack Lilly. So Jack Lilly breathes a sigh of relief, and Pedro Oliveira moves into the sixth and final transfer spot. What can Ives Kevich just do? Well, this is where the battle is going to be, ladies and gents. Like we say, it's the last spot that will be going through into that pre-final. But then keep an eye on the driver just behind, James Swindells. If he's got the uh, well, if he's got the waft, he can it, maybe catch it, up to it, the back of these yeah, two. Ola, Ola, you saw how easy it was to lose ground yes. side by side. They were right. Those two drivers were right behind Lily. One move, two corners, and now the gap is ten cart lengths. Yeah. If they battle again, the gap back to Swindells, who is oh, you couldn't quite catch him there. Uh, he is three seconds behind this battle here on your screen. If they do start going side by side, that three seconds will come down very quickly, and he could play himself into contention. But I have to say, it looks to me like Pedro Oliveira is. Pulling away slightly from the back, uh, from the front of Ives Kavichus. Yeah, so he, he, it's just he was quite smart. He, he was. He, he, he caught. He, he caught Ives Kavichus. Mm. Spent several laps, sort of sussing out, yeah. you know, where his move. He didn't rush into things. Mm. Then he made his move, made the move stick, covered the crossover, and now beginning to edge away. Yeah, I mean, the horseshoe is probably one of the most favourite pot. Um, oh, I love it. To overtake, so. You know, it, it, it does promote someone to go down the inside, but you have to cover that crossover, and that is exactly what yep. we saw. And if we're going to see that in the finals later on oh. today, that's going to be a very exciting race yes, to watch. Yes, we are. And again, that low camera angle, that mm. really good low camera, it, it shows you some of the constant... I mean, top buttons here at Top Bend are the only two corners and parts of the track where it's, it's flat. Mm. There's no sort of positive or negative camber. Downhill, through that little kink there, there's positive camber there into the second part of Billy's Blind. You come out of here and then the, the S is, yeah, it just, the track dips away on the apexes. You come down here into Hans Hairpin and you can see there, it just sort of like, it's like a little carousel. It sort of carries you in, spits you out the other side and then you're coming into the horseshoe. Again, there's positive camber there. It's just, it's a throwback track like mm. no other. Yes, it's narrow. Yes, it's short. Yes, we are... The, the, the British Championship paddock is absolutely packed in here like a tin of sardines. Mm. But you can't have, in my opinion, you can't have British Championships without a visitor clay pigeon. No, no, exactly. It's one of those iconic circuits oh, yeah. that has Abs to be on the calendar, yep. really. And, you know, yeah. it's a lovely trip down here. Dorset, beautiful oh. place in the country. M5 South from Bristol down towards Dorset on a bank holiday weekend. Suboptimal. Yeah. But apart from that, beautiful, <laughs> beautiful, beautiful setting. Now, Oliveira's caught Jack Lilly. Mm. The clock strikes zero. The final lap begins. Now, 
will Oliveira go for a move and potentially give Ives Kevichus a chance into the second part of Billy's blind? Ives Kevichus is sort of trying to stay in contention. All Oliveira's got to do is stay there. Yeah. Stay there. Lily looking over his shoulder, looking a little bit nervous. You can see the back end of the cart stepping out there. They're really on the edge of adhesion. And Lily's covering his line. We've got half a lap to go, though. Alexander Baker is going to take the win in the repercharge. Who is going to be sixth? Yeah, we'll find that one out as they come to the line, but it's going to be very, very close out of the final corner. No positions are going to change. They're going to stay in their same spot. So provisionally, of course, Alexander Baker will go through to the pre-finals with James Jackson, Drew Perry, Declan Russell, Jack Lilly, and Pedro Oliveira. The top six in this race will uh, obviously, of course, provisionally go through to the pre-final. Scrutineering will be coming up. Mr. Paul Klassen, uh, yes. they're working on duty. At the moment, then, we have lost Lucas Ivescavichus and James Swindells, Ronnie Smith and Charlie Pritchard from this race. But there on your screens, number 23, after 19 laps of racing, Alexander Baker takes the rapid charge win. Excellent. And again, you know, that, that's really strong for him. Uh, there's a look at your results. So, uh, Ivescavichus, Swindells, Smith and Pritchard... Uh, Providing there is no technical issues with the top six, their weekend here at Clay Pigeon in, in the ninth event of the 2021 season. It's the fourth round of seven in the Rotax Championship, but uh, a nice, calm opening thing. That one bit of, and you can see there's there's good news. There's Charlie Pritchard here yeah, walking across your screens uh, after that. Um, let's have a little look here. Um, who's said about? Something to do with a worker at the circuit or former owner, says Motorsport Magpie. No. Uh, Dalton here would say good luck to our gentleman Motorsport. But after that first race, let's have a quick word from one of our sponsors. Don't go away. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Next race is upon us, race 15 of the weekend, the Repercharge Junior Rotax. They're about to take to the circuit. Of course, top six will go through to the pre-finals. Danny Shields and Daniel Tribe will start from row one. Stephen Duncan and Deacon Russell go from row two. Row three, Reza Seaworthen and Sam Longley, George Donald and Alexander Zingarevich moving up from Minimax. Tyler Harris and Gracie Mitch will go from row five. Angus Scrivener and Jai Lawrence will go from row six. Row number seven, Leo the Lion, the Castro, and Henry Beaumont, Matthew Lambert, Archie Buttle. Isabella Franklin, Holly May will go from row nine, and Kayser Ryman start the grid from row ten. Uh, Nineteen drivers. Nineteen drivers yes. uh, in this one. I know that uh, Kayser Ryman's dog, Frank, mm. is a keen spectator for this one. Yes, yes he is. What is Frank? Uh, Frank is a dog, and he is a golden retriever. I love a golden He's a retriever. Chilled pooch. Here we go. Lights are not out. No. Uh, See that man, like guessing it's to do with a work at the circuit of former owner, the Billy's Blind. No. Mm. Uh, I know it. You know it. That's what I told you yesterday. Um, let's have a little look. Uh, someone's saying they don't have enough screens for today's action. Well, you only need one screen to watch this. Yeah, exactly. What's wrong with you? Don't What's wrong with you, man? Okay. Let's have a look. So... Uh, Danny Shields, number 29 for KR Sport, 53rd of the championship. 
Daniel Tribe, uh, new to the championship this week. Stephen Duncan for Hunter Motorsport, eighth in the championship. So watch for the Scotsman, uh, Stephen Duncan. Uh, he needs a good result. Now the lights are out and we're off and racing down towards turn one. We go, hold your breath. Oh. And there's a problem at the back. And that's, oh, that is the Trinity Cart entry and the number 27 of Holly Meal uh, out of the race. Yeah, Meal there struggling to get that cart restarted. Now stopped at the side of the track. And yeah, one of those NASA panels there. Not in the not correct, in the correct uh, manufacturer designated no. position. No, no. And no, we've got the E-plate here. So yeah. this, this is the BKC racing team are back with three entries. And this is Reza, uh, Reza Sayworthern. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Reza, the, the three mullets. The three mullets. Oh, the fl yes, yes. Well, we, I mean, we haven't got the, the flying mullet, Archie no, uh, Brown no, with no, us no, this year. No. But we've got a trio of mm. neck warmers mm. in the uh, BKC racing tent. The three mulleteers. The th oh, that's good. The three mulleteers as Archie Buttle gets it so um reza uh is it reza or reza reza seaworthy reza seaworthy uh apologize there but he is at the moment in fourth place the e-plate holder what is the e-plate i hear you asking uh that is the english champion mm. max humphrey cooper when's the senior final later it's later you gotta watch all the racing first. exactly max come on now patience my dear boy patience uh, top six at the moment, Daniel Tribe, Stephen Duncan, Danny Shields, Reza C. Werther, uh, George Donald and Alexander Zingarevich. Tyler Harris in seventh place for the MLC Motorsport team is at the moment on the outside looking in, as are Angus Scrivener, Leo Lucastro, Sam Longley, Gracie Mitchell, Jay Lawrence, G Deacon Russell, uh, Henry Beaumont, Isabella Franklin, Kaiser Ryman, Matthew Lambert. You're, yes, yes, you're pointing, you're pointing. Well, no, there's not, there's not been a change or anything. Oh, but crucially, yeah. Daniel Tribe has already started to hold a bit of a tighter line around some of the corners. Why is man defending? Mm. Why is man defending, Daniel? Man doesn't need to defend, and man has been dispatched. I, oh, no, no, Stephen Duncan taking a wider line in. I've I got to say, a, a driver of uh, Stephen's experience is not going to stand for early white lining uh, for long. Mm. No, 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 no. He'll, he'll want to go for the move sooner rather than later. So, you know, it's good. seven and a half minutes to go. There's still plenty of time in this one. And like you say, early, early holding that inside line, it's never mm. favourable, is it? I mean, you, you, you can do it for the first couple of laps. Uh, yes, yes, but yes, yes. You, then you've got to then, get on with then it. Then you've got to get into a rhythm. You've got to get into it. There's Reza. Reza Seawerthen. And they go two, four, five. So the sixth place battle, Zingarevich and the Argenti Motorsport number 16 mm. has got uh, six tenths of a second in hand over the Hunter Motorsport number 41 of Angus Scrivener. Angus 28th in the championship. Uh, Leo Lacastro in the number 62 cart uh, for Coles Racing, 43rd in the championship. So really, Hunter is the only driver sort of in the top half of the championship standings in this race. Mm. So he has got to just safely get out of it. I mean, eighth of the championship, he at the moment has got a national ranking to try and protect. The driving style there round turn one from Reza, you know, really leaning into the yep. corner as much as possible. Mark Kimber, Euro lean in effect. Yeah. Yep. But some people go for that style. You've got the people who like the bolt upright style. Yes. But I feel like, what's quicker? And, and, I mean, it all, de it all depends. I mean, the driver's got to take into account their height. Yeah. Um, you know, their, their weight. You know, and if, and if they can, you know, if, if they're at a height or weight disadvantage, then you need to move your body around just to you know, affect the weight distribution in the cart a little bit. Yeah. Hunter, though, it, uh, sorry, the Hunter Motorsport cart of Duncan is, well, he's happy to sit there at the moment because he's under no pressure. There's the battle coming through your screen there. Uh, Zingarevich and Scrivener uh, head to head now, sixth and seventh. The Castro has dropped back a little bit. So the Strawberry Racing number 23 of Sam Longley uh, Sam 17th in the championship. He is not going well here. And it looks like he's not going to make it. Tyler Harris, who won a week ago in TKM at Wilton Mill. Mm. He's down in 10th place. Henry Beaumont is down in 11th. Jay Lawrence, Gracie Mitchell, all out of contention, really. Uh, and there's the number 29 cart of Danny Shields following George Donald. And there they go. So, um, Danny Shields... They're currently in P5, right on the back there of George Donald. Now, Zingarevich is not 
closing in. But if these two go for that move, like I say, that gap will close quite instantaneously. But there's still uh, Zingarev has got to be careful here because yes. Scriven is still, like you say, he's right behind there still. So he's closing in. It's a very tense situation that we're in right now because, yeah. Yeah, flat half distance. Yeah. Oh, there's a move. That yeah, is go. Shields at the inside. Now, this is going to close things up a little bit. Mm. This is going to bring Zingarevic a little bit closer yes. to uh, the front, uh, to, to this battle. And it's also going to bring Scrivener into the into the mix. Yeah, and this is the crucial bit for, um, for Zingarevic because uh, he doesn't want that to happen because he's through at the moment. He is yep. in P6 and, uh, again, comfortable where he is. But if he catches up to the back of these, then he's just going to have to try and get past. Because Scrivener's going to get closer. Exactly, exactly. And then he's going to have to contend with now having to fight for that P6. So at the moment, he doesn't have to fight for it. He is comfortable. You can just see in there the Argenti card just coming through your shot now. There he is. So there is Zingarevic. Now, he, he's comfortable. Oh, he's a little wide there, I have to say, though, Henry. Yeah, he's very, less very comfortable wide. Now. He is very less comfortable. So he's got to be careful now because Scrivener is going to be all over the back of him as they go into this next section. Again, like we say, it's tricky to overtake around here, so he's going to have to try and find a nice spot to do it. New fastest lap from mm. Sam Longley, uh, who's moved into eight position now and uh, found all the graphics you can see on the screen courtesy of Ian Rogers at motorsport-timing.co.uk One plug so, equals one minute of dancing time Yes, it's, it, but uh, not today not because today. Ian's in a very, very warm, small room Yeah, yeah Yes. Yeah. Uh, so, Zingarevic, again, a little bit wide mid-corner. So, he finished 12th in the festival here last week in his first time out as a junior did the young Ukrainian um, and get, but you can see the back end flicking out there mm. on the number 11 cart. He's picked up a couple of cart lengths on the second half of this lap, but still, you know, not in any sort of position to relax. Now, uh, Tribe, Duncan and Seawithan, all clear. It's the battle for fourth, fifth, sixth and seventh that we're concentrating on. And eighth as Longley tries to get into contention. There they go, through the S's. Uh, Shields, the number 29 KR Sport Machine. Then the Jacks Motorsport, number 96. I've got to say a big well done to Jacks Motorsport. Mm. In junior, in this class yesterday, Pearson Bullock Carter claimed a heat win. And that is the first uh, British Championship heat win for the Jacks Motorsport team. So well done to them. Yes, indeed. Sporting a new awning as well. They've got, an, um, they've uh, got, well, they've got their original one, and then they've got a new one. I yeah, yes, because they, they have more drivers. Yes, they have an increase in pilots. Mm. More wagons equals more speed. Now you're you're pointing at this, a rather skewiff looking nose cone. Yeah, it's looking like it's uh, clipping the ground a little bit there. It's got a quite an yeah, it's got an indent in the it's front. It's the arm. Uh, yes, an indent. I mean, watching the watching the racing yesterday. Uh, the amount of times the carts bottom out coming around this circuit mm. is is yeah it, it, it's it's frightening it is how how much the carts are bottoming out they're really abusing the carts trying to wring every single hundreds thousands out of uh you know out of their machinery um, well, it's a, it looks like Zingarevich has a nose penalty from the camera, says Daniel or to you. Well, we, we, that's just that's speculation, mm. my dear boy. We couldn't possibly comment, although Isabella Franklin and uh, Henry Beaumont under investigation. There's a move further back in the pack. That is Jay Lawrence and Henry Beaumont passing the number 62 of Leo Castro. That's for 9th, 10th and 11th positions. Here is the battle. Now, now Zingarevich has got a problem mm. because he's caught George Donald. And if Donald starts slowing down, this is going to bring Scrivener into play. Yes, indeed, it really will. So 90 seconds left on the timer. So vastly running out. And you can just see there, everyone coming through. There is Scrivener on your screen in the Hunter Motorsport outfit. And um, again, just... Just, I think, sussing the situation. Maybe thinking, mm, do I not go for the move? Thinking that question mark over nose cone. Well, he, he's not going to, yeah, I mean. But it's a, it's a thing that comes up in the driver's mind. You have to remember, it is something that yeah, they, yeah, they the will drivers, think about. Yeah, yeah, I mean, only Zingarevich will know. Oh, now he's, now he's close. Now he's close. Mm. So Zingarevich, I think, is committed to trying to make the move. One minute to go. He looks to the inside. Nah, and he gets the move done. Now Scrivener has a chance to attack Donald. Oh, and a little bit of barging there coming out of hands hairpin. So Donald on the defensive. There for the Jackson Motorsport team. The number 96 cart now having to hold off the number 41 Hunter Motorsport machine. 30 seconds to go. 
Yep, not long left now. And again, Donald looks over the shoulder there, just has a quick look and can see Scrivener right there behind. Goes defensive into Billy's blind. And now here oh, comes Scrivener oh, on the inside. Oh, 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 oh. Tried to go down the inside, but Donald managed to get that car yeah, back onto the inside. Scrabbled yeah. across to the inside. Yeah, yeah. Uh, looking behind, see the green and white strawberry racing cart of Sam Longley coming into play now. He, This is his opportunity. He's got one shot now to try and... For, he's going to pass two drivers, but momentum is on his side. Mm. So, sixth, seventh, and eighth battling for one transfer spot. Zingarevich has pulled clear. Here's the battle on your screen now. Sixth, seventh, with Longley and eighth closing in. Donald defends. Now, can Scrivener get across to get the inside coming? Yes, is no. And Longley gets even closer. Keep an eye on Longley going for the move here into Hans Hairpin down the inside. No, not close enough. Can't quite do it. But again, they've still got another lap after this one, but it will come thick and fast. And now, now Scriven has gone defensive. That's going to allow Donald to get away now. So it's all going to be down to really whether or not Longley can get past Scrivener. They'll get the final lap board now. Daniel Tribe, Stephen Duncan, Reza Siewuthern. Siewuth sorry. Reza Seaworthian. Seaworthian. Uh, Reza Seaworthian are clear. Shields and Zingarevich, they're safe. It's here. And Longley has got to try and move. We're running out of time. About 15 seconds to go. It looks like uh, George Donald has just about done enough. I think he has. Two corners to go. And it looks like Donald has driven his way into the main event. Yes, so. But question mark over potentially one driver as they cross the line. Daniel Tribe takes the race win from Stephen Duncan, Reza Seaworthy and Danny Shields, Alexander Zingarevich takes fifth place from George Donald, who goes through into the pre-final. Of course, all these drivers provisionally, of course, from Sam Longley, Angus Scrivener as well, the top eight. On the last lap, mm -hmm. Sam Longley passed Angus Scrivener to move yeah. into P7. Yeah. If there is a nose cone penalty for any one of the top six, that move from Sam Longley has just saved his weekend. Yeah, yeah. Critical. And Angus Scrivener will be absolutely kicking himself for it. Mm. It will be. Uh, it will be a charge. Uh, so, sadly, yes. Sadly, we have to say goodbye, uh, unofficially at the moment, to Longley, to Scrivener, to Henry Beaumont, Mr. Excitement, Reggie Dewey, helping uh, Henry Beaumont out this weekend. Mm. Uh, sadly, his weekend ends here. Jay Lawrence. Uh, is next. They've got Tyler Harris, Deacon Russell, Kaiser Ryman, and the rest. That is the repechage part of the day over with. Very shortly, we will be coming up with the start of the pre finals. Let's take an ad break. We'll Why be not? Back. Why not? Honda Cadets oh, is yes. on track in just a moment's time. Pre-final, first pre-final of the day, Henry. Kenzo Craigie, the GP plate holder, and Jarrett Clark share row number one. Noah Barham and Max Endicott for the Synergy Racing Team on row number two. Kai Clark and Eva Morris go from row three. Finley Lines and Albert Friend, they'll start from row four. Rounding out the top ten, Wales is Ethan Griffiths, who provided us with Welsh cakes, so we'll say his name twice. Wales is Ethan Griffiths <laughs> on row number five, alongside Charlie Wolford, Charles Kitely and Rocco Leon Trenton on row six. Oliver Spencer and Oliver Miewski go from row seven. Bella Fairclough and Luca Ballack go from row eight. Ellis Bell and Charlie Warren on row nine. Mason Brooks and Josh Griffith on row ten. Albie Lapper and Oliver Warner will start from row 11. Jacob Bachelor and Hayden Gray go from row 12. 
row number 13, Rio Licata and Harry Taylor. So, very quickly, big news. Championship leader coming into this round, Cole Denham, serving a 30-day suspension after an incident at Cartmasters. He's not here. Mm. The question of whether he's allowed to use this round as a drop round or whether he has to count it as part of his championship score, that is still to be resolved yeah. but it does mean that what was a runaway championship lead now is a very very tight seven driver battle mm -hmm. uh jarrett clark effectively becomes your championship leader between ja uh, jarrett clark albert friend noah barham finley lines max endicott and kenzo craigie there are less than 25 points separating them. Kenzo Craigie qualified on pole yesterday mm. and won both heat races. He's got a special GP plate he graphics does. kit on this weekend. And of course, this is a very, very special day. 11 years to the day mm. till Mr. Si since Mr. Karting, Martin Hines, whose family founded Zipcart, passed away. Mm. Uh, there was a, a quite an emotional sort of, they laid some flowers on the circuit this morning. And Kenzo Craigie, the weight of history on his shoulders. Here we go on to the circuit for what will be a 12 minute break. Uh, go Bella Fairclough, uh, go on to Albie Lapper and Harry Taylor. So there are a lot of the, the two of the, Hallam, the Callum Hargrave Drive Developments driver getting some love. Uh, Bella, Bella Fairclough as well. Uh, the festival, the, the Honda Cup was at the festival last weekend at Clay Pigeon. Jarrett Clark won that. Now, Jarrett Clark has been on the podium all three rounds so far this season, but hasn't won a final yet. This is just a pre-final. Mm. You know, just pre-final. Pre-final. But this is very, very, very close indeed. The racing in Honda yesterday was superb. Because of the flowing nature of the circuit, it means that slipstreaming is, you know, rampant. Uh, congratulations to Albert Friend who went to the Rotax Grand Festival in Kirpen, Germany last weekend, won it and won a ticket, a Micromax ticket to the Rotax Grand Finals. He's now back in his usual Honda Cadet mount. Here we go then, standing start. Craigie with the white crash helmet on the left-hand side of your screen. Jarrett Clark, uh, de facto championship leader on the right-hand side of your screen. Two of Clark's Synergy Racing teammates, and congratulations to Mike Spencer from Synergy Racing, is a new father. Mm. Noah Byron and Max Endicott on the second row of the grid. A little bit further back, you've got Eva Morris, very, very impressive from Eva Morris. You can see here there in the number 80 car, the black crash helmet on the third row of the grid. Oh, this is going to be, this is going to be good, Mr. Jordan. It is going to be good. Can zip cart at the end of this weekend to come away with their first British Championship win. In the modern era. In the modern the, era. In the modern era. It's hard to believe mm. that the zip name has not been on a podium in the British Championship since the start of 2019. Yeah. Yeah. Engine notes rise. Eyes fixed on the gantry. Lights agree. We're off and racing. And all 26 Hondas get away cleanly. It's a good start from Jarrett Clark. Clark leads into the first corner. They're three wide. Finney lines running very wide. They're in the middle of the pack, but they all get through. Billy's and turn two cleanly now through the S's. Oh, there's still three wide. Somebody going over the grass there, uh, but they all somehow emerge unscathed. And Clark leads. Craigie second. It looks like Barham and Endicott third and fourth. And then a slight gap back to Kai Clark in the number 77 car in fifth. Yeah, so a good start from the entire grid because as you can see, all the carts then scramble to that inside line oh, as yes. they go into turn one. And that can cause obviously quite a uh, severe concertina effect as they go into the braking zone. So luckily, all the carts get around the first lap cleanly, which is good to see into the braking zone for the first time then. So Jarrett Clark leads from Kenzo Craigie, Max Endicott, Noah Barham, Albert Friend, Kai Clark, Eva Morris, then it's Ethan Griffiths, uh, Rocco Shenton, and Charlie Wolf at the top 10 as they go through. But again, the rest of the field, so, so close. Nice clear breakaway for the top four here. And uh, again, Kenzo Craigie in that, but he's the only zip oh, cart yes. in a trio of synergy carts. Yes, well, the first heat yesterday, it was Kenzo versus Noah Barham and Jarrett Clark. And uh, Kenzo uh, managed to win that somehow, I don't know. Uh, they crossed the line three abreast and with Kenzo in the middle, mm. and he was a nose in front. Oh. It was, uh, this is going to be, the, so, so Kenzo's used to this. Mm. You know, he's wearing that GP plate. Um, you know, I spoke to his dad, Paul, this morning, who said, you know, it's, it's, it's fantastic wearing it, but my word, it's a target. Oh, but yes. Kenzo's reveling in that. Yeah. 
Um, you saw him interviewing, you know, a lot of the drivers, and Jarrett was one of the other drivers with him yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, so again, these young drivers, a lot of them, they get on really well out of the cart, and then they absolutely go for it, hammer and tongs in the cart as well. And you can see that is 16 wheels working together all at the front, and they're pulling away from the fifth place driver, who is now number 91, the SFR motorsport cart of Albert Friend, with Eva Morris pushing Friend along. There they are, and then another little gap back to seventh and eighth place, which is Rocco Shenton, the E plate holder, uh, and Charlie Morfitt. Yeah, the entire pack very, very close, separated by seven seconds out <laughs> there uh, for the entirety of the 26 drivers out there. Charlie Wolf with the fastest lap of the race, also currently running in P8 for Charlie. No chopping and changing at the front yet, and I suspect that probably won't change for the majority of this race. I reckon those top four... Well, I think the main change that you'll see is I reckon Kenzo Craig will try and get past Jarrett Clark and well, lead this trio. Yeah, 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 because, because Kenzo knows that if he... That, and he, he, he almost had a little look there. I think, if anything, we'll see Kenzo try to make a move because he'll think to himself, right, well, you know, I don't want to be stuck in the middle here, mm. you know, because I'll get spat out. Yeah. Um, but likewise, then, if he, if, but Ken, if Kenzo does take the lead, then he'll have to start defending early. Yeah. Because he'll lose, he won't just lose one place, he'll lose three if he gets passed at all. Yeah. So that, that, that's Kenzo with the plain white crash helmet on for the zip team in. So, so the Synergy Racing team, the number 55 of Jarrett Clark. He leads the championship effectively with 514 points coming into this weekend. Uh, that's changed now. Uh, it's the, the championship order is Jarrett Clark, Noah Barham, Albert Friend, uh, Kenzo Craigie, Max Endicott, and Finley Lines. Uh, so the, the top five of the championship separated by 30 points. Yeah. So nothing really. Not not a great deal. Not a great deal. Um, a couple of big movers out there at the yes. moment. Luca Ballack currently P11, five places gained at the early stages of this race. Jacob Basher as well for the Callum Hargrove development uh, team. He is uh, also at five places. Yes, currently P18. No, I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see that Jacob Bachelor, his change, he's now representing Austria. So obviously a family connection to Austria. Yeah. Uh, whether he's Austrian or his mum or dad are Austrian. One, one, one or t'other. One or t'other. One or t'other. But that, that, that's great to see. You know, I, I, I like, to be, you know, uh, Pedro Oliveira, we were speaking to him, he was, oh, so how, what's it like being over here? He was, oh, I've lived here all my life. Ah. But his family <laughs> was, his family was in, his dad was Brazilian. Yeah. So, and, and, you know, he's... And, he, and he's supporting... He's, he, I mean, yeah. 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 Rightly so. Right, rightly so. Yeah. Rightly so. Uh, no change in front. But, but, Noah Barham losing... I know it's the last two laps, Barham has just faded by a cart length or two. Mm. But now he was there. And oh, now we'll see K Kenzo... Just sort of moving around a little bit behind the top four. We've now got a four-cart train chasing them. So Friend and Morris have been caught by Shenton and Wolfett. Mm. Uh, Ethan Griffiths, uh, who was very kind to give us some marsh cakes. You haven't eaten your marsh cakes yet, Anthony. I've not. Well, I've been talking. I can't eat and talk at the We're same time. We're going to do a live taste test of Ethan Griffiths' marsh cakes. Yeah, Ooh. Uh, Kai Clark is 10th. Then Luca Balak 11th. Finley Lines has dropped to 12th. Ellis Bell, 13th. Ellis Bell, privateer driver, a fantastic fourth-place finish at Warden Law last time out. That is the best finish by a privateer in this class all season. Uh, Charlie Warren and Oliver Spencer round at the top 15. Joshua Griffin, Bella Fairclough, Jacob Bashler, uh, Oliver Miewski, Charles Kitely, Harry Taylor, Leo, Rio Licata, Hayden Gray, Alvi Lappa, Mason Brooks and Oliver Warner round out your field. We have completed seven laps. Make that eight laps now on the top the entire field separated by less than 10 seconds. Which is, again, still incredible. I mean, these, these drivers going around at about 40 seconds there lap time. So they are the slowest uh, carts we've got here this weekend, but they're not slow oh, no, by any slow. shape. We're still talking only oh, no, 50 no, no. miles an hour. Oh, huh? Yes, 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 yes. But the slowest lap time uh, out there. So uh, Rocco... Change on your screen. Yeah. That is uh, Eva Morris getting passed by Charlie Wolfett. Rocco Shenton comes up with mm. the fastest lap of the race. He now moves into sixth position. And... As you can see, Barham beginning to fall off that lead group and falling back into the clutches of Friend and Shenton. The lead group of four is now a lead group of three, and that will help Kenzo Craigie in a way. He's still the zip meat in the Synergy sandwich, but you know it's easier to manage two teammates than three. Yes, yeah, yeah, L a little bit easier. So. Or well, the dynamic changes, well, yeah. the, 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 you know, the dynamic changes that, uh, you know, uh, 
it will work in Kenzo's favour, mm. but obviously Clark and Endicott still in control. Clark with track position, and Jarrett Clark uh, has been so, so consistent. Third in the final at PFI, third in the final at Lark Hall, second last time out at Warden Law. Just thinking on uh, track positioning on yes. this, of yes. course, this, uh, this race determines where they're going to start for the final yes. later on today. Of course, standing start. You want to be on the outside. Well, on which, the yeah, yes, yes, which, which, which on the inside, going into Billy's second yes. and into the S's. So, do you want well, to be? Pole position is the outside line. Yes. Yeah. So pole position. There's is where been you a, be. there's been a few discussions over this yeah. because pole position is actually the outside line for the very first corner, which is Billy's blind. Yes. But then the exit of Billy's blind, which is traditionally what we call turn one. Um, you know, that is, you're on the inside for that and the inside yeah. for the entrance to the S's. Yes. So it all depends. Ah, now there's a move. That was Albert Friend passing Noah Barham. So Barham has been dispatched from the league group. He's now relegated back to the second pack of carts. Eva Morris has fallen off this group. Here comes Rocco Shenton to the inside now. Shenton passes uh, Barham. Barham being elbowed wide again. His teammate Charlie Wolfitt almost alongside him. And uh, Albert Friend, but the gap is growing between the top three and this group on our screens now. Yeah, four and, minutes to go, and it's not something that you want to see because obviously, if they do start scrapping at the front, uh, which I suspect well, they I, inevitably I, I will. I mean, it's only a pre-final; they might not, but there are well, championship points of grabs. There are championship this. points, and also they'll want to get a feel for it. You know, yeah. they'll want to you know warm the old reaction. Oh, there's a move, and that is Charlie Wolfitt, the number 95, mm. passing Noah Barham. Barham. I'm not, I mean, that could be cart set up. It could just be he's off his rhythm and, you know, he, he sort of like, yeah, lost his head a little bit. Yeah, but uh, there we go. He's, he's, he's now at the back of this uh, group of four. So, again, if we can just latch on to the back of that one now, stick with them. And now they all need to work together and get into, to, you know, the train, the line, absolutely super good to each other. Because if you watch the top three, oh, yeah, well, we've seen them in the corner of our eyes. Yet. Look at that. Absolutely line of stern. And then the group behind, all just looking down the inside a little bit, not really fully line of stern yeah. using that sort of team. It's Oliver Spencer with the five-second time penalty. Oh, I'm not as quite well. sure what it's for, possibly no. for not having a matching uh, race suit to his go-kart. He's a synergy driver, but he hasn't got a synergy suit, so that could be the reason. I, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just speculating. <laughs> Interesting stuff. And, and gestures there for Rocco Shenton. Not sure what he was gesturing there. Was it more, um, I'm not going to go for you, come on, let's, let's, yeah, let's yeah, it's, go. Yeah, it's more of like, yeah, let's push, I, push, I push, that, let's go. I, I think that's what he was asking. So, yeah, I think, crucially, probably the right decision there from Rocco. Uh, Hard to believe that Rocco hasn't had a top 10 finish in the final this year. It's one of those, isn't it? He's, he's, I mean, he finished 10th at the festival last weekend, but he's, he, uh, yeah, he, he has been easily one of the top three or four fastest in the championship, uh, excluded from the opening round. So he's only 25th in the point standings. So the championship in terms of him winning it is done and dusted. Yeah. But just trying to get a podium, trying to get a win. Mm. Uh, and, you know, he's been there or thereabouts at every single final, but hasn't got a top 10 yet. Yeah. So. And the gap between the top three and fourth place is two seconds, one minute, 50 seconds, plus a lap to go. And the reason that Rocco, you think to yourself, oh, minute 50 to go, look at the gap. They're never going to catch him. Yeah. The reason Rocco is saying, no, no, let's keep pushing is because, yes, he knows, or they all know how quickly the leaders will slow each other down when Kenzo makes a move. Slightly different lines there that time around oh, I, I for the top three. and it's Synchronised looking over their shoulders. Yeah, yeah, at the same time. But, again, just keep an eye on it because I think it's going to start to go the way of overtakes very, very soon, as yeah. you can see <laughs> yeah. there. Yeah, just Kenzo okay, just says it. Oh, thinly lines, five what? second time penalty. Having a bug on his crash helmet. Probably. Yeah, that's, no, that's true, true, true oh, story, right. true story. There you go. But uh, one minute to go then, plenty of time left in this one, couple of laps to go. And again, this time around into Billy's mind, no moves there, but you can oh. just see that uh, Craig, he's just holding that tighter yep, line yep, yep. into some of the corners just to see, That's can I get my nose down the but inside? But also an act of self-preservation. Yes. Uh, because he doesn't want uh, he doesn't want Max Endicott in the number 18 cart sticking his nose in where he's not wanted. No, no, exactly. And Endicott is a threat in this situation. Oh, ab absolutely, you know? absolutely. Oh, and again, just two <laughs> very different racing lines there from Clark and Craigie. So, Clark kind of running the cart out wide. Craigie holding the title Ooh, line. Maybe Kegel, is Ke sorry, Kenzo runs very wide yeah. there. Bounces over the kick, King out of top end. 20 seconds to go. 
<laughs> oh, here we go. Here we ding, go. Ding, ding. Game on. Yep. Now he's going defensive. And again, look at that. Craig, he's just trying to get his nose down the inside. Couldn't quite do it there. But crucially, Clark defensive going into Billy's blind for the first time. Keep an eye on that gap <laughs> behind. Max Endicott saying, oh, oh, look at the switch back here. Now watch for the cut back. No, can't quite do it there. So again, chopping and changing. Max is just like, guys, what are you doing? Stop it. Look at the guys behind. Oh, like, yeah. <laughs> and, and Albert Friend and Rocco Shanton are closing hand over fist. The clock strikes zero. One lap and a quarter to go. Craig, he's to the outside at top end. He's not going to make the move there. He's got to tuck back in before Endicott can make his move. And now it was a lead gap of three. Here comes the cavalry as we start the final lap. In towards Billy's blind then for the final time. And again, just Jack Clark holding that inside <laughs> line. And now everyone's getting involved. Now it's all, oh, look at them all now. It's one big group of them as they go in towards Hans Hairpin. Anyone could dive to the inside here, keep a close eye on it. And again, is that Max Endicott who's, who's fallen down the order? No, no it isn't. I, I, no, he's I, still I, there in Charlie P3. Charlie Wolfe is there in seventh. He was trying a different line, but he was the back of this group anyway. Now, Jarrett Clark looking over his shoulder. He's covered his line. Craig, he's got two corners to go. Make that one corner to go to the inside final corner at top end and Jarrett Clark holds on Kenzo Craig it's going to be a drag race it's going to be a drag race Craigie on the outside Clark on the inside wheel to wheel Clark takes it oh. by two hundredths of a second oh great stuff round of applause take a collective bow on the cadet and look at that the top seven start the last lap on top of each other uh, all pointing the same way. They finished on top of each other, all pointing the same way. Great, clean stuff. Would you like to know how close the top seven cars I finished? I would like to know, Anthony. Six tenths of a second covered the top seven cars. They weren't that close when they started the race. No. They weren't that close when they started the race. So, Clark takes the provisional win from Craigie, Friend, Endicott, Shenton, Wolfit and Barham. Luca Ballack comes home in eighth position, and there was a great train of carts further back. Ballack finishes eighth, Kai Clark ninth, and even Morris rounds out the top ten. Then Finley Lines in eleventh place. Uh, and the twelfth place battle was won by Bella Fairclough uh, from Ellis Bell, Ethan Griffiths, Charlie Warren, and Charles Kitely. Oliver Spencer seventeenth, and Joshua Griffin in eighteenth place. Nineteenth uh, through twenty-sixth. I, I, this is even better. Uh, 1.2 1. seconds separating 19th to 26th. Yeah, that's uh, mega, isn't it? And that was Fiona <laughs> Carter, Oliver Miewski, Jacob Bachelor, uh, Oliver Warner, Harry Taylor, Mason Brooks, Hayden Gray and Albie Lapper. 26 carts started and after 20 laps, they were separated by 14.7 seconds. Fantastic stuff. Brilliant. Great Honda Cadet racing. That's the first pre-final in the books. Should we have an ad break? Well, let's take a break. Ooh. We'll be back in just a moment's time, ladies and gents. Don't go anywhere. So, Micromax pre-final, mm. here we go. Lachlan Johnson, who already has a ticket to the grand final, starts from pole position. Jensen Chalk, one of five eligible drivers for the prize, starts on side him on row number one. Jack Price, who's not eligible for the ticket, he's too old, starts on the inside of row two, alongside Daniel Minto, who is eligible. Isaac Barker and Sam Mott will go from row three again. Two more drivers who are in for a chance of getting that ticket with Max Kilman starting at the back of the grid. Again, another driver eligible. So five drivers, seven drivers in the grid, five are eligible mm. for the ticket to the grand finals. Yesterday, uh, Minto qualified on pole position, didn't start the first heat, however, uh, but came back strong to finish second in heat number two. Lachlan Johnson's won both. Uh, Jensen Chalk and Minto have been sort of next in line and then everyone else sort of a little bit off the pace. So this yes. is going to be, uh, you know, it's going to be tense. The prize is a ticket to the biggest event in world karting. Who's going to win it? You can tell, I think, Lachlan Johnson trying to save some weight this time around. No sticker kit affixed to cart. And that's a, you know, a few grams, but every little helps uh, out there. Onto the tram lines then. And gr no green flag. False start. So uh, not happy with the start. Possibly driver just out of position thinking, mm, no, try that one again. So like we were saying, like, 
Five of these drivers eligible for that uh, ticket to go to the Rotax Max Grand Finals in Portimao this year. Henry, you'll be there. You were there last year in Bahrain. A little less of a journey this time around. Portimao. I'm, yep, there every year. Yeah, what, without fail. Without, without fail, yes. Portimao. Uh, you know, great, great circuit, great facility. Mm. And uh, it, the, the, the karting facility so good, they decided to hold the Formula One race next door. Ooh. A couple of years, for a couple of years, mm. true story. Yeah. Well, no, it is. It, it well, no, no, yeah, no, 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 yeah. I think the Formula One track came first, but we won't uh, we'll brush uh, over that fact. So, <laughs> it's the SFR Motorsport cart of number 98, Lachlan Johnson, the MLC Motorsport cart of number 18, Jensen Chalk. Then it's Jack Price on a zip. Uh, no, he's in a mad croc. Here we go. Now lights are green, we're off and racing. It's a great start from Jensen Chalk. Oh, oh. Lachlan Johnson spins! Now this sets the cat amongst the pigeons because Johnson has won both heat races at a canter. The Scotsman is not happy. It's like, oh, he punched the steering wheel like someone took his last deep fried Mars bar. Now, Chalk leads from Minto. The battle is on just to get the best grid position for the big race later on. Chalk, who oh, well, went to the Rotax Max International Trophy uh, at Le Mans, so he narrowly missed out on the ticket at Wardlaw, the last round of the British Championship. Uh, it's been very, very busy for a lot of the Rotax drivers. So since the last round of the British Championship at Wardlaw for this class, we've had the Rotax International Trophy at Le Mans, we've had Cartmasters, we've had the Rotax Festival here, and that was a week ago, but some of the drivers went to the Rotax Grand Festival in Germany. Mm. All trying to get this ticket. So Jensen Chalk put it on the, the front row of the grid for the pre-final at Le Mans. It all went a bit wrong after that. But he tried last year to get a ticket um, and failed. He has really, really... They've had their eyes on this. Uh, Jensen, his dad, Mike, have had their eyes on the grand finals for like 18 months now. And he's come up a little bit short every single step of the way. One thing that is pleasing to see is a change for the lead. The Hunter Motorsport number 28 of Daniel Minto takes the lead from Chalk is that Jack Price, Canada's Jack Price, uh, in, who's normally on a zip car in the cadet class, and that looks, he's down on the entry list, running a mad croc as a privateer driver, but that has got zip edge written all over it, that go-kart. Mm. So I, th I think, I thunk that the entry list is wrong, and he, that, is a, that is a zip. Mm. Potentially. Ah, well, it could be a zip-branded mad croc. That is also Oof, that's potentially. Potential. So either way, the top three, and Lachlan Johnson has retired. Lachlan right. Johnson has decided to save his tyres, nice. come in, retire. Yeah, uh, He's going to be starting the final from seventh place, but that, is, that does not amount to much of a hill of beans, to be honest with you. Mm. Uh, Jack Price doing a great job. Sam Mott and Isaac Barker are battling there. And Max Gilman in the SFR Motorsport number 50 is a bit further back. But great three-cart scrap. Two of these drivers, Minto and Chalk, are eligible for a ticket to the grand final. If Johnson wins, he can't get two tickets. No, uh, but it'll go. The ticket will go to the next best place yes. eligible driver. Yeah. Uh, on the live chat, uh, my son Ollie has the lap record at Portimao in a rental cart. Ah, oh, okay. Says Daniel or two, um, or three, or four, not or two. Boom boom. Here all weekend, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, uh, the question, the question, the question that I asked yes. was. Who or what is Billy's Blind named after? The blind bit is because it's a blind entry, but who or what is the Billy behind Billy's Blind? Answers on a postcard. Well, no, in the live chat on the Alpha Live YouTube channel, please. Uh, Max Humphrey Cooper says, thoughts on the new nose cone? Um, it is a nose cone, uh, and it's got shiny graphics on it. Um, and that's really about it, really. It's needed. Yeah. It, it, it's there for a reason. Yes, yeah. I mean, there's a slight. I mean, obviously, there's a slight different design. It's it's got more of a sort of a, a flat front now. Yeah. yeah. Uh, to help with um, drafting. Mm. Wafting. Wa drafting and wafting. Yes. <laughs> um, the top three still nose to tail. Minto chalk. Now Minto also raced at Warden Law and missed out on a, on a ticket, and that's uh, uh, so Jensen chalk. Just chasing, following, watching. Uh, now, the Micromax class in the Grand Finals already has two British drivers in it. Yep. Uh, Lachlan Johnson mm -hmm. and Albert Friend. Mm -hmm. uh, last year, uh, Kenzo Craig and Albert Friend with it. Oh. And there's a move. 
Collective Owen. Yeah. And Jensen Chalk takes the lead. Back down the inside, yeah. But uh, keep an eye on uh, Jack Price. Yes, not eligible. But he I has been setting consistently fastest laps. That's changed this time around as Jensen Chalk's shaking it. And he had the momentum. Kept that with that momentum and just down the inside. Obviously, we're still seven minutes to go, so oh, I don't yeah. think there was any going. No, no, oh, I'm no. not going to defend or anything like that. It was just I, I, I've got the speed. I'm just going to go down the inside. Yep, yep. So I mean, potentially, there could be five British Micromax drivers in the Grand Finals this year. Uh, sorry, four. And uh, Minto retakes. He, no, he doesn't. Oh, he definitely had a look at the inside. Chalk did well to leave mm. him room. But they've got to be careful now because they don't want to be going for moves too much. Yes. Not, well, not because of position-wise or anything, but anything that could potentially no. happen to the cart. And you've yes. got to be careful because there's not going to be much time as, again, back down the inside. <laughs> Goes Minto this time around, gets it done. He was determined to make the move. He, he was, was yeah, like, yeah. no, 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 I'm going to make a move. I'm going to do it. Yeah. And, uh, you know, he tried for three corners running. And finally, Jensen went, you know what? I'm gonna not even going to try to close the door. Have at it. Mm -hmm. uh, behind them, Isaac Barker for the Dan Holland Racing Team has moved into fourth place. But that battle, that's, that's four seconds behind yeah. the top three on the screen. Um, Jack Price, full of, full of all credit to Jack Price, really has picked up his game from yesterday. Mm. Minto checks over his shoulder. No, Minto, Minto. Ah, it was Scott Minto who's a footballer. I'm trying to think Minto, the name, but, but Scott Minto played for Charlton Athletic uh, uh, back in the day. Uh, don't start on football. Well, I'm just, then, just saying, there's a name. I don't think that uh, Daniel Minto is a, is a relation to Scott Minto, but uh, if he is a distant family relation, then I was an admirer of Scott, you know, his footballing abilities back in the day for the Addicts. The Addicts, that's the Charlton Athletic. Steve Davis, Go on. snooker player. Yeah. You know Steve the Gold Nugget. He's a Charlton Athletic fan. Is he? Yep. Well, that's fantastic. There we go. Well, I'm, <laughs> hey, do, do you know what? I'm, I'm, I provide a service, ladies and gentlemen. You know, things <laughs> that you didn't know that you, that you might, might you might interest you. Yeah. Go-karting, meanwhile. And it's Daniel Minto, Jensen Chalk, and Jack Price. One, two, three, still. I've got to say, I mean, I... I, I Appreciate why Lachlan Johnson there is a look at further back. Ah, here we go. That's Let's Isaac have some Barker. other coverage. Yes. That's Isaac Barker, number 53, the Dan Holland Racing Team. So this is 4.6 seconds behind the lead group at the moment. And of course, he's a bit lonely. Are you lonesome tonight? Where's like that the, mute button? I, 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 I would give it like half a chord. But yeah, he's, he's having a bit of a lonely run. Yeah. And there behind him is Sam Mott, who has moved over from uh, Honda Cadet to this class. There's Max Gilman in the Tony Cart for SFR Motorsports. I'm going to need my microphone so I can have a cough. Right. How's that? Yeah, you, you do that. Just make sure you do it in the other direction. I did it in the other way. Good, <laughs> good, 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 good. good. Uh, but yeah, no, these guys, uh, again, just, well, I mean, these carts obviously are completely different to, you know, Honda Cadets or anything yes. that I've driven before. Obviously, two stroke, a um, little bit. In uh, terms of speed wise, uh, lap times, uh, I mean, various restrictors. I the, think uh, they're about the same pace, actually, because yeah. they were doing 40s. These are also doing the same yeah, pace. Yeah, 39.98 so. for Daniel Minto. Of course, you know, there are this. I, I can't get into the, 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 the technicalities, but there's no, the 900 mil chassis, there's the 950 mil chassis. Mm. And there then is the restrictors that are placed on. Uh, the Micromax engines, and then but also comparison to Cadet Gazelle, uh, Iami Gazelle, Iami yeah. Water Swift, Honda 160s, Honda 200s, to try and balance out what yeah. is the fastest and a, a, a comparable speed wise, but also trying to keep pace of what is happening in the rest of the world in Europe in particular, because of course the, car, the, the, the restrictors they're going to use at the grand finals in Europe are much smaller restrictors, so there's more power. Yeah. Now Jack Price beginning to be dropped, and it's going to be a head-to-head. -head. Three and a half minutes to go. Minto for the Hunter Motorsport team. Chalk for the MLC Motorsport team. Jensen Chalk, he's still got the Billy Albone race developments, uh, t uh, you know, uh, race suit on. Uh, Billy Albone here, he's now Harry Bartle's sort of mechanic, or as, as Billy says, he's, he's the lead trolley pusher for Harry Bartle. Uh, head down. Price can't, you know, give up because he's still got to think. I, I was saying, I would have liked to have... I can see why Lachlan Johnson did pull in. It would have been interesting to see from the back of the field how quickly Lachlan Johnson could have caught and, and, and if he could have caught this group and joined in. There is Barker and Mott behind. Now, Barker, 
He's five and a half seconds off the race lead. He's only 4.6 behind Price, but Price is now no longer part of this head-to-head -head fight. Mm. So we're gonna, if we fast forward a few hours, ladies and gentlemen, this will be the battle for the ticket. Yes. This will be the battle. I, you know, I am a betting man. It's why I'm poor. Um, <laughs> You're not very good at it. Yeah, you? No, that's the problem. You know, those blinking horses, they don't listen to me. <laughs> no, um, but this is going to be, I think, this is going to be the fight. Yeah. It's going to be Minto or Chalk. There is another ticket available at Wilton Mill. You know, the third ticket is going to be available at Wilton Mill late this year. But today, one of these two drivers is going to be booking their place in the biggest event in world karting, and one of them will be just very disappointed. Hmm. Who it's going to be, you know, we don't know. But they're very evenly matched. They passed and repassed each other. So they'll be thinking to themselves, you know, I'm quicker at this point, you're quicker there. This is, you know, this is sussing each other out. This is saving that little bit of data in the memory oh, banks yeah. for when the time is right. Yeah, all that uh, data collection. That all the do. data collection. I mean, the, 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 all the, the teams do data collection from, from the carts and from the engines. The drivers do data collection about when they're going to make their move and when they are going to attack, when they're going to defend yeah. and strike while the iron is hot, etc., etc. 90 seconds to go. Minto and Chalk, nose to tail, Tension begins to mount down the hill through Billy's blind here. And now the second part of Billy's blind into the S's of the Sturmy Strait. Mm. Now, it, the, clay, the weather at Clay Pigeon, it's a microclimate. I would, it's, stur, it's Sturmy. It's a bit Sturmy here, isn't it? No, it is named after a... Person? Person, yes. Ah, okay, Mr. Sturmy. Hans Hairpin, of course, named after Neil Han, who is... A, you know, of this parish, yep. and who used to run the Super One National Karting Championship. Buttons. Uh, I don't know who that's named after. Ah, now, yeah. Obviously, this is the track where a certain Jensen Button oh, got yeah, his yeah. start. But before <laughs> Jensen Button, there was John Button, his yeah. late father, yeah, yeah, yeah. who, of course, was rock engine. There's oh, a move. There we go. <laughs> wheel to wheel. Jensen Chalk. Thirty seconds to go. So Buttons, after not just Jensen Button, the 2009 Formula One World Champion, but his late father John who ran the rocket engine uh, car. They go, oh, my word, Minto commits into the hall, into Hans Hairpin, and <laughs> Jensen Chalk just leaves him enough room. Here's yeah. the horseshoe. Good stuff there from Chalk. You could see the move coming and just said, yeah, you know, I'll give you the space, but you're not going to have the position. So yeah. smart driving there. And oh, Minto again. Oh. That's, that's, oh. That's wow. a very, very brave pace to uh, make a move. Top bend is very, very tight on entry, but it does open out and again side Final by lap. side across the line. Down the inside, it's oh. Chalk. Oh, they make contact between the two of them, but they still keep it on the track. Price is probably thinking, oh my goodness, this is going to end in tears. Oh. And it nearly does end in tears. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> side, by, side, side by, by side. That's all I get. And here comes Price. Price to the inside. Price having a look. Minto has the lead. Here comes Jensen Chalk. They're still wheel to wheel. This is just a pre-final, but this is what it means to these young drivers. This is what a ticket to the grand final means. I can't the life of me think, but there's not more here. I know there's another event this weekend, but nothing in karting compares to the grand finals. This is what it means. It's three wide. Oh, he's got to be so careful. It looks like Jack Price is going to take it. No, it's going to be. No, it's it a was dead Jack heat. Price. It was an absolute dead heat across the line. Nothing separating Price and Minto. I mean, now the, uh, the timing adjusts itself. So, so on your screens, the timing is down to a hundredth of a second. Yes. Ian Rogers has got the timing down to a thousandth of a second. He has photo cells, yes. like Olympic Games style photo cells yes. to show you that. So he will have that. We'll try and get us uh, onto social media. We'll get Matt Cotton to put a photo of that photo cell, that race yeah, finish. Yeah, 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 but yeah. Jack Price, Canada's Jack Price, takes the win by a thousandth of a second. A seven, a seven cart race in Micromax, not entertaining. Pa, who thought that? <laughs> well, of course, Jack Price not eligible for the ticket, no. but he's here to race. He's so here to race. He's here to win. Exactly. He doesn't Daniel care about that. Minto, uh, Daniel Minto and Jensen Chalk. Uh, separated by a tenth of a second, with Isaac Barker in fourth, Sam Mott fifth, and Max Gilman in sixth position. Uh, we haven't had any, any comments come in. Is that because the... Uh, 
Uh, Get commenting. Yeah, exactly. Was that good? Did you like it? Yeah. I did we uh, not entertain you? <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, I think we did. We're going to take a small ad break then. Ladies and gents, we'll be back in just a moment's time. Next race after this one, race 18, it will be the Minimax pre-final. Before that, we'll take a quick break. Miniax pre-final, about to take to the circuit. Here's how they're going to line up. Noah Wolf and Daniel Amore will start from that front row. Thomas Minspearing and Hugh Moulton go from row two. Row number three, Joshua Turnbull and Harrison Whitcomb, Sebastian Mins and Devon Nolan on row four. Row number five, Scott Marsh and Finn Leslie, William Murtar and Harry Parcel go from row six. Row seven, Joshua Graham and William Murphy, Brandon Truman and Ruben Dan from Australia on row number eight. Aris Miaskis and Michael Walker go from row nine. Thomas Ingram Hill and Ollie Wise go from row 10. Noah Pikes and Joe Anderson start on row number 11 with Josh Smith and David Vishko on row 12. Kai Veach and Ryan Gill go from row 13 as the grid heads to the start finish line. We have to do the grids quickly because it's such a short lap. 26 carts, 12 minutes plus a lap. Lights are green. We're off and racing. It's a great start from the poor man, but Daniel Amore. Uh, on the outside, oh, there's Hugh Moulton. Oh, is that Turnbull? It was Moulton into the barriers. I've got to say, Daniel Amore, privateer driver, number 41, 
drove the best I've ever seen him drive yesterday. He was superb. And he's there. He's got the Ukrainian tribute graphics kit on his cart. He's got a chassis that is several years old. Mm. And yet he is driving impeccably uh, so far this weekend. Championship leader Scott Marsh all the way back on the fifth row of the grid alongside GP plate holder Finn Leslie. Uh, Noah Wolf won both heat races yesterday. Uh, it was not without the race yesterday. Sebastian Minns, Josh Graham and Scott Marsh all getting involved in an accident in the second heat. Uh, Noah Wolf's new teammate, William Murphy, also performing well. But uh, it's going to be very, very, very close here. Lots of potential winners. And Daniel Amore just getting past there by Scott Marsh going into, to, uh, into the hairpin. Yep, so uh, chopping and changing all the way there. A couple of the Argenti carts just in the mid-pack there having a good Har little scrap. Harrison Whittacombe, Joshua Graham, yeah. uh, Thomas Minspearing all in that group. Minspearing had a top three finish yesterday. Michael Walker gets a uh, warning flag, as does William Murphy in the number 95. Murphy now uh, no longer with Argenti, but with the Synergy, so Synergy team. So Noah Wolf has a teammate for the first time all season. Oh, that's nice. Well, I mean, it helps with data collection, helps with setups and things like that. Um, Sebastian Mins, the KR Sport number 77. Sebastian's mum is Belgian. She's a Walloon. Mm. Yeah, she's from the, the, the Valonia region of Belgium. Oh, okay. A Walloon. Uh, Marsh already at the third position. So, Scott Marsh, bit between his teeth. Championship leader, won the festival last weekend. Uh, second in the Grand Prix three weekends ago. On a mission here to defend his championship lead because Warden Law, last time out, no Wolf won. And yesterday, Wolf gained a few more points on Marsh. So Marsh is going to be aggressive, but it's uh, Wolf and Mins, then Marsh, then Mins spearing in uh, fourth position. Amore is fifth. And of course, the problem is, though, is that the older the chassis is, the, 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 the less it, the, it looks after its tyres. Yeah. Because the chassis is a little bit more weaker, it's, it's got a bit more flex to it, it uses the tyres a bit more. So Amore, we will see Daniel Amore probably struggle towards the end of these races. But he's just got to keep his head together. He's on course for a fantastic Devon change. De Devon Nolan also there as a privateer driver. And Marsh leads. Oh, oh, Mins over the grass. And Scott Marsh takes the lead. Mins and Wolf uh, side by side go to the chicane there. There is Devon Nolan, the all white number 54, passing Daniel Amore in the number 41 car. But Marsh has the race lead. Yes, indeed, and this is good stuff that we're seeing from Marsh, uh, the number two seed from last year, second in the championship. Now leading this pre-final comfortably, and look at the gap he's got already. It, that, after I mean, that. that's, that's because the minute he took the lead going into so, this corner here, yeah. coming out of this corner here, going into the S, that's when Wolf and Min sort of had a yeah. uh, territorial dispute, and you can see Min's having another little go over the curbs there, uh, slowing himself down, and that gave Marsh a little bit of room to escape. And Joshua Graham sets a new fast lap, 35.98 seconds. David Mishko has sadly retired. Hugh Moulton is down to 23rd after his crash, but he's gained two places already. Australia fans. Um, Ruben Dan, he's up into 19th place. Now, uh, Michael Burks is loves a close finish. Yes, Jess Amore saying she can't wait to see this race. Oh, she's not going to like that because Daniel Amore's just been passed by... Uh, Thomas Min spearing going into Billy's there. And look at that trainer cart's coming through there. Um, oh, Noel. Um, good morning, honey. That must be to you. Oh, hello to you, Twan. <laughs> no, 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 uh oh, three wide. Finn Leslie, the GP plate holder of the Cato Motorsport team. Uh, again, Finn, he won at Kart Masters. Uh, didn't race the Grand Festival last weekend. Uh, and, and is uh, sort of struggling a little bit. Probably because he hasn't got that track experience, uh, you know, this season here. Hmm. It, well, I mean, yeah, like I say, for drivers who are fresh to this circuit, there is so much to take in. Like I say, it all comes thick and fast. It happens. It's even difficult for us to keep up sometimes, yeah. isn't it? Because you, you think, well, the way that was part of the track last time. Was it this time? Was it that time? No, it, it, it's, very, it's a very tricky circuit all around for everyone here. But we love it. Uh, absolutely. I, 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 this is fantastic. So at the moment, at the moment, Scott Marsh still leads the championship, but mm -hmm. only by four points from Noah Wolf. Mins and Harry Bartle, who were the only two other drivers really in contention, they both lost ground yesterday, and they're now more than 30 points. Uh, sorry, they're more than 40 points in arrears. So, as we're in the fourth round of seven, and uh, there's Mins now trying to recover. He passes Dan Amore. Uh, 
for what is fifth position and then Dan, Dan has got to just keep his head you know second place that you know he, he, I spoke to his dad last night he said look you know it's not necessarily realistic in the course of the longer races our car use the tyres a bit more than the newer chassis do um, he said if anyone wants to sponsor us so we can get a new wagon then that would be great but you know Again, a top five, a top ten for Dan Moore would be that. I mean, that would be worthy of of, of, of a little sing song. Mm. All I'm going to do is that Samore. Oh, I couldn't help myself. I, I, I did it. I did it. I did it. Uh, there's Harrison Whitcomb in the red crash helmet now. The first of the two Argenti carts who are sizing up that number 41 cart for a move behind Whitcomb is Joshua Graham in cart number 88. Then it's Leslie. So at the moment, the order is there's Marsh, and he's got a lead of 1.8 seconds over Wolf. Nolan, so Devon Nolan now leading the charge of the privateers. Devon in the number 54 car, he's 20th in the championship. He finished 15th a week ago, 11th in the Grand Prix at PFI. And there he is, that green and black crash armor, plain white go kart. Nothing screams privateer like a plain <laughs> white go kart. But if you have a look, what do you notice that's missing from that plain white go kart and specifically the body panels? scuff marks oh yeah, well, yeah that's because that chance. tells you that nolan and again you know if you're i mean the, such such is the close action here devon has kept those plain white body panels completely clear of any sort of uh, other go-kart tires it's yes. called teacup henry ah but it, it is called teacup <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying that he's driving very well i'm trying to em embarrass my all oh, this move from harrison where to come here comes the Welsh. Hugh Moulton with the fastest lap of the race. Back up into P16 now, uh, coming through the field. Just past Noah Pikes. Uh, Pikes, who is making his seasonal debut this weekend on the back of a 13th place finish in the festival here last weekend. But here's the, the, the gap, the battle for 5th, 6th, 7th and 8th. Mins, Amor, Whittacombe and Graham. Mins there with a look over the shoulder just saying, come on, let's go for... Let's try to close that gap as down the inside goes Harrison Whittingham and as well Jensen Graham just going to, or Joshua Graham I should say, he's just going to follow also. So uh, makes that move as well. Or oh, it doesn't make that move. No, he stays behind. So can't yeah, get he, past Daniel Moore. So he tried to go down the move, but Dan yeah. was just like, no, 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 I'm not going to let both of you yeah, but, but that's the smart driving there from Dan. He's yes. just tucked into the back and he's pushing Whitcomb along. He's not trying to repass him. No, no. You know, he knows, okay, you know, this is this is still good. I'm going to just follow. Yeah. Follow, yeah, follow, follow. Do, yeah. Because what he doesn't want to do, he doesn't want to start defending as the race leader, Scott Marsh, sets a new fast lap, 35.53 seconds. There There's goes the Graham. Yeah. Amore doesn't fight it. No. Because what Amore doesn't want, he doesn't want to battle and then get dragged back into the next chasing oh, pack. Oh, 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 hello. That was oh, Devin, that Devin Nolan. Nolan. Oh, no. Devin Nolan. And Thomas Minspearing. Didn't see what happened. Uh, now, this battle is now for third, fourth, fifth and sixth positions. Minspearing is down in seventh. Devin Nolan. I'm trying to see whether he has come through at all. He still hasn't. I think Nolan. Ness yes, down in 20th place. Oh. Aaron Majewskis has retired. The Argenti Motorsport number 13 car. So we're down to 24 runners. Uh, William Murtagh has had a problem as well and has dropped from uh, 11th of the grid down to 23rd. But here comes the train of carts. That's the number 15 cart uh, of Brandon Truman. No Uncle Tyrone on the... Uh, on the live chat. I, I feel slightly abandoned. Mm. Is, is Uncle Tyrone watching? Uh, well, of course, course he, he is. is. Right. Do you know why? He's what? Well, because he's been rumbled. Well, no, he's done a rally driving course, hasn't he? Of course he has. Of course he has. <laughs> <laughs> Two and a half minutes to go then, plus one lap. And again, chopping and changing in that mid sort of pack area. As you can see, the field's starting to, <laughs> to, to separate a little bit. Sorry. <laughs> Uncle Vincent. <laughs> <laughs> okay, private, not a private joke, ladies and gentlemen. Uncle Vincent is now watching. <laughs> uh, yeah. Couldn't make it up, could you? All you've got to do is get a gun. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's uh. an anti aircraft gun, Vincent. <laughs> Well, I want to raise pulses. <laughs> You'll raise something else with that. <laughs> <laughs> Please go and watch Snatch. It's a very good film. <laughs> okay, back to the go-karting. <laughs> oh. <laughs>
What? Go karting, Sebastian Mins in third position, holding off Harrison Whitcomb. Whitcomb didn't qualify well yesterday, but has raced excellently up there. Then it's Graham in the number 88, and Amor doing a fantastic job. Just follow the quicker, newer carts. Follow the carts, and they will drive you out of danger. Uh, as he then decides to make a move on Josh Graham and says, well, you know, it's, there's still life in the old girl yet, oh, yeah, says Dan Moore. Yeah, definitely so. I mean, yeah, it could be. Yeah, it's an old chassis, but still, you can, you, can, you can do lots of things with that. Now, call back. The sauce, Darcy the sausage dog. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Darcy. Worst paddock show pooch ever just just shouted at just yapped at me yeah well, she wasn't happy about being on the paddock show but i'm glad that darcy sausage is watching and barking harry friel's dog who we saw a cart masters uh, good to know that the paddock pooches are also getting involved yes yeah um, less than a minute to go then ladies and gents in this pre-final for mini max it's race 18 of the weekend here at clay pigeon event nine we're nearing the end oh, of the season don't Henry. say it don't say it we're don't say it I'll get up, you'll season. upset me oh no i'm sorry but I have to say, Scott Marsh, fabulous race in this one, has got the lead and held it and just had a consistent race. Here, though, is where it's shaping up. Joshua Graham and Sebastian Mins battling for P3 in this one. Yeah, Noah so Wolf, no man's land as well. Two yep. seconds clear from Marsh, two seconds clear of this battle here. So Graham has got past his teammate, uh, Harrison Whittaker, and is now, and Hugh Moulton still the, the charge. P11. Hugh Moulton up to P11 now, past Finn Leslie. This is good stuff, but it's Marsh, one wolf, and then this battle. Best battle on the circuit. Mins defends into top bend. Now, if Josh Graham gets a push from his teammate, he might be able to make a move going down into the second corner. Amore is there as well. Mins defends the KR Sport team. And it's the two Argenti carts being very careful not to trip over each other. The clock strikes zero. Behind Dan Amore is Thomas Min Spearing. Then it's William Murphy, Josh Turnbull, and Brandon Truman. So it's now two privateers in the top ten. Truman is there as well. Uh, Daniel Amore taking a slightly wider entry line into Hans Hairpin there just to see whether or not he could try to get the switch back. But again, stays there just behind. And you can see now Thomas Min Spearing back on that recovery drive, all joining into this one now as well. Final lap board is out. Marsh is leading, but eyes on this battle for P3, which I have to say has opened up a little bit now as Whittingham oh. is trying to get back past his teammate. Yep, and this is not what Dan Lamore wanted because he's now got Min Spearing and Murphy right behind. It's a last lap scramble. Murphy goes around the outside. No. That's, sorry, that's Min Spearing. I do apologise. Murphy is, is now in the synergy cart there, but here we go. Last lap. One corner to go. Check a flag, Marsh takes the win, Wolf second, and can Sebastian Mins hold on to third place? Yes, he can. Yeah, good driving there from all of these guys, you know, showing that they've got the speed, they've got oh. the WAF, they've got the knowledge. It's just trying to put it all together. And again, I feel like that's just a taster, ladies and gentlemen, of what you're going to see in the oh, yes, final that later is, yes. on today. That's going to be an exciting one to watch. So very quickly... Scott Marsh, Noah Wolf, Sebastian Mins, your provisional top three, Josh Graham, Harrison Whitcomb, and Dan Amore rounding at the top six. The top ten completed by Thomas Min Spearing, William Murphy, Josh Turnbull, and Hugh Moulton. What a recovery drive. Brian and Truman finishes in 11th place, followed by Finn Leslie, Noah Pikes, Thomas Ingram Hill, and Ollie Wise. Then it is the recovering Devon Nolan, Kai Veach, Joe Anderson, Harry Bartle, all the way down in 19th place, with Ruben Dan rounding at the top 20, Joshua Smith, Michael Walker, Will Murtagh, Ryan Gill, the other finishers. Um, Aras Miaskis and David Vishko, uh sadly failed to finish. So we're so pleased that we have so many viewers from Australia who watch and tune in every round and comment in. And now, here is a chance to hear from your very own Gabe Belanca. I'm here with Gabe Belanca, Australian driver for the Strawberry Racing Team. Gabe, how are we? First of all, welcome to Clay Pigeon. Your first year with the British Champs. How are we finding it so far? Yeah, it's good. Good fun. Good track. First time here. Nice and good. No, nicely stuff. But uh, obviously, you started karting in Australia about three years there. Where, how did it all start for you? Yeah, it all started um, back in 2018 at my home club, Tiger Kart Club. Same club that Daniel Ricciardo started at. Just did a few months of racing there, then started doing open meets, going around Australia. And three years later, racing in abroad in Europe and in England. So, a nice change for you. So you enjoyed it so much, you thought, you know what, I want to I spread my wings a little bit. I want to go to some different parts of the world. But uh, yeah, no, I mean, how does it 
compare really because obviously in Australia I mean I, I've never been to Australia I have to say I know shame on me uh, but so I don't really know full the karting scene there about the tracks but how does it compare really over here yeah I've been living in Australia for 13 years I've watched plenty of car racing plenty of everything and I've been here around four months and it's completely different everything's different the driving's different track position like everything is completely different do you prefer it though yeah I love it over here it's nice hard racing clean and hard and the tracks are just so different to what I'm used to I suspect you can learn a fair bit as well from these tracks because like you say they're tight they're twisty there's there's lots of different elements from it but I mean I think looking forward to it are we thinking next year we're going to stay with the championship or are we going a little further I think oh, we're not sure about next year yet but I know we're going back to Australia after British champs Kim Bolton and then we're going to spend a few months back in Australia and maybe come back next year for the Euros maybe. Well you've got a lot of fans on the YouTube streams when we go live you've got all the Aussie fans who are joining you I mean it's a crazy time in the uh, evening when they join us but they all have their what message would you say to all the Aussies out there? Yeah just keep watching <laughs> enjoy. Brilliant stuff. Well, Gabe Belanca, best of luck this weekend. We'll keep an eye on you. Thank you. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, yes. to the Vera Tools British Car Championship. It's event nine, Senior Road Tax Race 19 pre-final coming yes, up next. Yes, indeed. A full complement of 34 drivers led by Matthew Higgins and Archie Walker with Callum Bradshaw and championship leader Kai Hunter on row number two. Guy Cunnington and James Lowther will go from row three. Lewis Gilbert and Sean Butcher round out the top eight. Uh, will Ellswood and Matty Hingley go from row number five with Louis Harvey and Super Ted, Teddy Pritchard-Williams on row number six. What you talk about, Willis, starts from row seven with Magic Amera alongside Daniel Armstrong and Leon Henderson go from row eight. Row number nine, Gabe Belanca. We just heard from Sam Gornall, then row ten, Alex Moody and Caden McQueen. Lorenzo Cordell and Jack Stedman go from row 11. Harry Barlow and Nicole Sutherland goes from row 12. David Olejna and Charlie Rippon on row 13 with Jamie Parody and Brandon Nagel fought back from injury on row 14. Alexander Baker through from the, uh, the rep charge. James Jackson alongside Deacon Russell and Jack Lilly. Pedro Oliveira and Lucas Ivaskevichus round out the field. Alexander Zingarevich, uh, sorry, uh, 
Drew Perry was excluded from the repercharge. We're off and racing into turn number one. And our prop, Matty Hinge, he's been hooked up there. We've got two cards in the barriers. One of them is an NLC card. That is the number 21 of Charlie Rippin. And a Project One card as well. Oh, Rippin out of the race. Down towards Hans Hairpin for the first time. The leaders got through cleanly. Matty Hinchley in cart number 11, the ultimate R cart. There was a, ooh, who was it? It was, uh, it was, a number 11, it, it was so Magic Chimera, yeah. I think, who was like tucked underneath the back of uh, Hinchley's cart. Yeah. In the number 71 KR Swap Me machine. But at the end of lap number one, Higgins leads. Bradshaw, Hunter, Walker, Lowther, Butcher, Pritchard Williams, Harvey, Cunnington and Gilbert, the top ten. Yeah, so good start then for the rest of the field. Then as they snake through the S's for the second time of asking, down in towards Hans Herpen again. Everyone just diving to that inside line, covering it off. Carts diving to the inside, left, right, and centre. That looked to me like potentially David Alejna making the move on Lucas Ivaskavichus there further down the order. Still 11 minutes to go then as they get through on to the start finish straight. It is still Matthew Higgins who leads the way from Bradshaw. Hunter still there in P3. Keep an eye on Archie Walker as well. Walker, very Drove quick around this very, circuit. very well, yes. The first-year senior driver is the number uh, 91 KR Sport uh, driver, Archie Walker. Drove extremely well mm. yesterday. Uh, not in the top ten of the championship at this point. I mean, the title fight is between Hunter, Bradshaw and Cunnington. Uh, really, Higgins had a lot of misfortune, but he's been so quick. And this is really strong from Matthew Higgins. But he's got 2020 CIK world champion Callum Bradshaw sitting on his rear bumper. Yes, indeed. Keep an eye on it. Blinken, we're back across the start finish line again. Yep. It just doesn't feel uh, like we even did James a lap. James <laughs> Lowther getting squeezed wide there. Uh, Cade McQueen uh, on a very special weekend for the Zipcar team. Qualified 38th and last. His engine uh, failed in qualifying. Uh, has driven his way back up and is currently knocking on the door of the top 15. Uh, Nicole Sutherland. Uh, is into her first pre-final. That's her best qualifying position of the season so far. She's got Jess Matthews uh, mechanic. So Jess, one of uh, the leading women mechanics in the world. And she has helped guide Nicole Sutherland to her best start position at the moment. Nicole is in the top 20 for the Thule Motorsport team. Crucially, in the pre-final and going to the grand final a bit later on yep. today. So, Sean Butcher. Butcher. Now fastest lap. P5 currently. So in that next kind of group uh, along in this race, and you can just see Kevin McQueen just zipping through. Oh, hey. Good, uh, good, good game. Good game. Thank good you, pun thank game. You. Yes. <laughs> he zips through like lightning did McQueen. Way, oh, uh, not, as, not as good. Not as good. Uh, fair, fair, to, fair to middling. One. Fair to middling. Here's Archie Walker having a nibble at the rear end of Kai Hunter's go-kart as he goes through the S's. There's a Project One machine. That's Ryan, what you're talking about, Willis, trying to move up. Oh, and there's another. That's Archie Walker making a statement of intent, and Sean Butcher gets a pair of them. Yeah, well, and, uh, oh, yes, he does. He yes, does. he does. Good move there from Butcher and Hunter fighting back. Wheel to wheel, door handling. Here comes James Lowther in the Coles racing number seven and trying to go around the outside of all of them is Teddy Pritchard-Williams, but that is not going to work. And Pritchard-Williams now coming under pressure but from Kai Cunnington. Yeah, Cunnington and uh, Pritchard Williams side by side into the breaking zone as they go down. And again, Kai Hunter just looking down the inside. James Lauer still there as well. So just keep an eye on all of these drivers because they're all trying to go for the same piece of time at the same time. And it looked like Kai Hunter was going for the dive warning down. Warning flag for in Kai there. Hunter. Yep. Yeah, it's, it's getting very boisterous there, isn't it? Yep, yep. I mean, warning flag is because he's northern. Like, apparently, <laughs> allegedly, I don't know. Um, um, must must make comment. I mean, obviously, this is the motorsport. This is the motorsport UK British Car Championship. However, uh, a week ago, um, Louis Harvey, a couple of weeks ago, won the UKC title. Mm -hmm. So obviously, doing a lot of racing out in Northern Ireland, the Ulster Kart Club. Um, no, I mean, got to say, no, he's the ultimate kart in champion. So congratulations to Louis Harvey. That is another kart in championship in the UK, believe it or not. Um, but no, congratulations to Louis Harvey for that. Um, Oh, Zach and Toby Turner watching in Tenerife, wishing all the Sam Pollock racing drivers. As somebody in the background spins at the horseshoe, I'm trying to see who that might be. Uh, we will find out very, very soon. Now, Will Ellswood has retired. Uh, so has Charlie Rippin and Brandon Nagelvoort. Teddy Pritchard Williams. Oh, I, Teddy Pritchard, Super Ted, as a spin, and that drops him from eighth place back to 31st. And he hasn't crossed the line yet. So Higgins, the race leader, new fast lap. He's under pressure, though. Bradshaw has really asked some questions from the race leader. And Higgins, the Welshman from Trafford Royce. 
is responding. And they are one second in front of Butcher, Walker, Hunter, Lowther, Cunnington, Harvey, Willis and Gilbert. With Gornall and Harry Barlow. Well, number 79, Harry Barlow. Third, 29th of the championship for Tooley Motorsport. Running in the top 12. Ahead of Perilly, I'm sorry, Jamie Perilly. Then Stedman, Henderson, McQueen, Baker. Uh, all the way from the Repishards. Alex Baker up 12 positions to 17th. Uh, then it's Hingley, Sutherland and Cordalia top 20. Hamera, Olejna, Balanca, Moody, Jackson, Armstrong, Russell, Lily, Oliveira and Iveskevichus are the last runners. Six minutes to go, plus one lap. Lots to do left in this race. You can see everyone just at the side of the track there, just having a good look at the racing. They've got a prime location there into Billy's Blind to watch all the racing as they dance through. There, the 45 on your screens going through. That is Lucas Hifiskovicius there for the Tuli Motorsport team. And Ryan Willis under investigation now. What was What that? are you talking about? What? Well, I'm not quite sure. Maybe a start line penalty. We'll have to see. So, five, just over half distance. Higgins extending his advantage ever so slightly from Bradshaw with Butcher and Walker now working together to try and close in. Hunter has just sort of, he's not got the pace to sort of, you know, make a move back on the two KR Sport carts. There's Gornall, number 27. Coles Racing entry running in 10th position. Head of Willis, Barlow, Perilli, Stedman. Things starting to get a little bit spread out now. This is what yeah. we sort of thought might happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Overtaking, very, very difficult. Yes. So, and if you try and make a move and it doesn't work, you lose a lot of ground. Yeah. You lose more ground here comparable to virtually any of the cart circuit in the UK. Uh, and there, there's a move from Caden McQueen up the inside. And Walker, new fastest lap. So that brings him to within a second of Butcher in third position. So, of course, rather than risk losing positions, drivers are more content to follow and push and work with each other. Mm. But, yeah, as you can see, sort of gaps sort of spreading out. Yes, indeed. So, nice little shot there as the rest of the field goes through. You can see there, uh, David Arlegno had a move as well down into Billy's blind on that last lap as well. So, four and a half minutes, and it's still Higgins who leads from Bradshaw, Butcher, Walker, Hunter, Lowther, Cunnington. Then it's Harvey. Gilbert, Gornall, and Willis, the top 11. Big movers in this one. Alexander Baker, 10 positions gained so far, up into P19, ah, is chopping and changing there. Yep, that is Magic Kamara making a move on Leon Henderson. Ah, good stuff. Uh, as in Magic, who finished uh, in the top five in the Rotax Festival last weekend. Um, mechanicking for himself. Is he? Yes, he's got his dad mechanicking with him this weekend. And he, he sort of did say on the palace yesterday, that's why I'm not doing so well, because my dad is right. I was like, that's charming. <laughs> now dad's gone all after that comment, don't you say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dad, <laughs> dad's sitting in, the, sitting in a lounge chair in the paddock somewhere with a can of Fosters in his hand. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> watches it. Come on, then. Smart Alec. Uh, and now there's a move. There's three strawberry racing teammates, uh, Henderson, Olesner, and Balanca, all battling. That is... For 19, 20, 21st. Three and a half minutes to go. Still, Higgins leading by half a second from Bradshaw. This is the best battle on circuit. McQueen leads it. It's for 15th place on back. Yeah, 15th. Uh, McQueen, Hingley, Hamera, Baker, Henderson, Alejandro, Balanca, and Armstrong. Uh, and uh, still, Kate, when there was, uh, looks like it, but that was Hamera passing Matty Hingley going into Hans Hairpin. And we wait to see two minutes to go. So, not missing anything at the front. In fact, Higgins is edging away ever so slightly. Bradshaw, you know, at the moment, I would imagine saving tyres. Yeah. Saving tyres. There goes Lowther through your screens there. He's in sixth position. He's holding off Cunnington, Harvey and Gilbert. The Diamond of Dal Rai in ninth position at the moment. Teddy Pritchard-Williams has retired. So that spin that he had earlier, whether he was helped into that spin, I don't know. James Lowther here doing a good job. Uh, in senior Rotax, holding on to P6 for the time being, has got, got some names behind him. Guy Cunnington, Louis Harvey, Louis yep. Gilbert, Sam Gornall, Ryan Willis. Uh, I have to say, Harry Barlow and Jamie Perilli have done a good job. 11 yep. 14 positions. Uh, Perilli is, do you know what? Jamie Perilli has been one of the, probably we don't mention him that, uh, we don't mention 
uh, pretty that often, but he's been very, very consistent. He's 15th in the championship, 10th at the festival last weekend, 9th in the Cart Masters Grand Prix, 7th in the last final at the British Championships at Warden Law. Just goes about his business very, very quietly. And again, in the number 40, Project One cart is knocking on the door for the top 10. That's after starting 27th. Mm. He's got some weft. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the Ger Gerard Cox and his team, they, 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 they are no fools mm. in Project One race. They've been around an awful long time. Oh, yeah. The Bayford Meadows based squad. Uh, into and there's a move and that is Lewis Gilbert for the Potenza Racing Engines team in the car number 29 going past Louis Harvey so Harvey drops back to ninth position and you can see this battle of a tenth place there's Lowther and the next group of carts led by another Coles Racing cart that is Gornel holding off Willis Barlow Perilli and Stedman there we go one minute to go then Plus one lap, and again, you, you know what you were saying earlier on about the, the, the clearance of the carts and how oh. much they're hitting the floor. Oh, yeah. You can really see it when they go into Billy's Blind, can't you? Yeah. It's just bouncing. It looks Absolutely. like they've got a nose cone, but it's, it's not. It's, it's not. It's not. And of it's course, just, it's, yeah. it's the underside of the chassis that are mm. taking a beating here. Jack Lilly gets a warning flag. Well, you know, Josie's trying. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, um, he was uh, saying he had a terrible day yesterday. Not quite sure what the warning flag was for. Oh, no. I think it's going to be ginger. I'm not quite sure. That could be the reason. I, I, I don't know. I'm just, 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 just speculation. 30 seconds plus <laughs> one lap to go in this race. <laughs> as you can. <laughs> For those of you that don't know, ladies and gentlemen, every time a warning flag comes up, we don't know what it's for. I, I, I make some sort of made-up reason just to sort of as, 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 as a joke. And, uh, yeah. Oh, that's no joke. That is James Lowther being eschewed aside uh, at the hairpin there. Um, Guy Cunnington, Lewis Gilbert, and Louis Harvey go through. And here comes Gornall, and with Perilli right behind him. I think that's Willis just behind. Uh, do you know what? That's right, it is. It's uh, the number 42 of Ryan Willis, who is up into 11th place, looking for a place in the top 10. Hasn't had a top 10 uh, this season, has Ryan Willis. He's only 23rd of the championship, so he has got his... Eyes on the prize here. And I've got to say, the third cart in this group, number 79, Harry Barlow. So impressed by Barlow. Mm. Uh, as, as This is his strongest round of the season by a long way uh, as, as Harry Barlow. Higgins crosses the line to start the final lap then of this race. Leading the way by about six tenths of a second from Bradshaw and Butcher. Butcher has done a good job of closing in, but it's not been close enough. And those drivers will, of course, start from those positions in the final. Of course, pending all of Paul Klassen's scrutineering. Yes, indeed. Geniusness. So, Matthew Higgins comes out of top bend with a handy advantage over Callum Bradshaw. Higgins lights the flag victory for the Dan Holland racing team. He takes the checker flag after 22 laps with Bradshaw second. Then it is Butcher and Walker third and fourth. It's been all KR Sport Road to Kai Hunter, who hangs on to the championship lead provisionally by just three points now. Uh, he finishes fifth, Guy Cunnington in sixth. Then it's Gilbert Harvey, uh, an aggrieved James Lowther, and Sam Gornall rounding out the top ten for the Coles Racing Team. Then Project One teammates Ryan Willis and Jamie Perilli, 11th and 12th. Harry Barlow for Tooley Motorsports, 13th. Stedman is 14th, and Hamera rounds out your top 15. Following McQueen, Hingley, Olesner, Armstrong, Henderson, your top 20. Gay Balanka in 21st. Followed by Alex Baker. Nicole Sutherland will provisionally start the final from 23rd on the grid. Then it's Alex Moody, Lorenzo Cordell, Jack Lilly, Declan Russell, James Jackson, Pedro Oliveira, and the top 30 rounded out by Lucas Eviskevichus. Uh, Eviskevichus. Uh, Teddy Pritchard, Williams, Will Ellswood, Charlie Ripman, and Brandon Nagelvoort failing to finish. And the march down to collect the wagons that are no longer rolling commences. Yes, indeed. Well, one more race to go before the lunch break here at Clay Pigeon. We're going to take a short ad break. We'll be back in just a moment's time.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It is pre-final time for Junior Rotax, and Harry Linden and Ethan Jeff Hall will share row number one head of Pearson Bullock Carter and championship leader Brandon Carr. Jez Williams and Gabe Fairbrother share row three with Vinnie Phillips and Neil Clark on row number four. Mikey Porter and Charlie Hart share row five with Ewan Charman and Reese Lomax on row number six. Reg Haywood and Harrison Crowther share row seven alongside newcomer Leo Purchase and privateer Ollie Stevens. The top 20 completed by Evie Poulain, Gustav Usakovs, Adita Kulkarni and Ben Folland. The rest of the starting lineup sees Tommy Harfield and Daniel Sabula on row 11, Jack Cooper and Joseph Rippin on row 12. Row 13, Aaron Fall returns to the championship alongside William Antrobus and then Harry the Lion Hannam and Alex Duncan. Daniel Tribe, newcomer, and Repichard winner, alongside Stephen Duncan, share row 15. Uh, Reza Searworthern and Danny Shields on row 16 with George Donald and Angus Scrivener on shotgun on the field. And oh. there is Gabe Fairbrother throwing out the second. That's the re relief fuel tank. So there's it obviously is. no fuel getting to the main tank. Mm. 
Now, are we going? No, it's no. not start. We're not going. So, uh, the GP plate holder. Uh, out of the car. Oh, that's terrible misfortune oh. for Gay Fair, brother. Now, uh, we haven't got Alexander Zingarevich as we predicted. He had a nose cone penalty. But we also don't have uh, the number 23 card of Sam Longley, who finished seventh. So it was Angus Scrivener, who finished eighth. Angus Scrivener, who finished eighth. Uh, who has made it into the back of the field. For the rapper shot, for the the, the pre-final. <laughs> You're getting excited, aren't you? Wow, there's lots going on to be excited <laughs> about. Here we go then, 34 drivers, 12 minutes into the tram lines we go, and it is go. Linden and Jeff Hall lead. It's a great start on the outside of Ethan Jeff Hall, but Harry Linden just squeezes him wide. And oh, and that is Pearson Bullock Carter. Take a bow. Great move from Pearson Bullock Carter. Uh, uh, the Jacks Motorsport, oh, Daniel Sabula on the grass, Danny Shields on the grass, somebody else, uh, one of the other KR Sport drivers on the grass. Oh, they, 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 this is a very untidy opening lap for the back of the pack. But Pearson Bullock Carter for the Jacks Motorsport team took Jacks' first win in the British Championship in a heat race yesterday. Not quite sure what, <coughs> what happened in the second heat race, but he was somewhat aggrieved but he has come back fighting Brandon Cars up in the, into P2 with Jez Williams, Harry Linden, Ethan Jeff Hall, Neil Clark, Vinnie Phillips, Charlie Hart, Mikey Porter and Ollie Stevens rounding up the top 12. I think what you can take from that is if you go back to the start of that race, the entire grid nearly went side by side through the S's on the first yes, lap. And, 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 <laughs> and somehow, well, a, a Ben Follin didn't start and Gabe Fairbrother uh, retired well, on yeah. the road. But, but, but yes, the entire field went through the, the, the S's side by side and all carts are still running. Yes. Which is remarkable on uh, many levels. Oh, no, on no, no, many, many. Uh, Michael Burke, come on, Evie Poulane. Uh, William Funding, uh, Carlson is best. Is that Eric Carlson, ex Swedish rally legend who won several uh, Monte Carlo rallies in a Saab 96, possibly? Possibly. 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 Oh, no. Impressed, impressive. You are giving Eric Carlson a shout out on the uh, live stream. You were saying earlier on oh, Pearson. Uh, Sorry. Uh, you were saying earlier on Pearson Bullock Carter. Yes. Congratulations to the Jack Team. Also, their first yes. heat win. Yes. And right now, leading the pre final. And it's, yes. they're liking Clay Pigeon here, aren't they? Yes. So, Pearson Bullock Carter started the season with Coles Racing, then moved across uh, mid season. He got excluded from one round, did Bullock Carter. So, he comes into oh, this event. Sorry, and we've got a second. change. Yes, you carry yeah, on. Brandon Carr down the inside of Jez Williams. That was it, uh, Billy's Blind. So, now a change for P2. But carry on, Henry. Uh, yeah, so Pearson Bullocati, he, he's only 33rd of the championship, but he finished second at the festival last weekend. So he's obviously hit a rich vein of form, uh, a rich vein of form. Uh, looking at the championship positions, 33rd, yeah, the opening round of the season, he was excluded from the entire meeting. So his, his championship effect is open. Oh, and there is the number 63 cart of Alex Duncan, who does not look impressed with his exit from proceedings, yellow flags. That is probably for Duncan's car at the side of the circuit. Yeah, because I believe that's a Hans hairpin where that's come a cropper. Han. Han? Han. No, no, no. no, no, no it's, it's, it's Han hairpin. No, it's Hans hairpin. Hans. Hans. As in Hans device, not Hans, as in I got yeah, two yeah. hands. H A double N. Yes. S. There you go. Hans. Next up on Countdown, the, num the numbers <laughs> round. <laughs> uh, here we go. The battle of the lead is tightening up. Pearson Bullock Carter has been reined in by Brandon Carr, Jez Williams, Ethan Jeff Hall, and Harry Linden. Charlie Hart there in sixth position as well. So we've got a six cart breakaway at the front with Vinnie Phillips. Oh, oh and a spin. That was. Uh, the uh, Hunter Motorsport cart of Gustav Usakov. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, uh, was it? It, yeah, I think it was the only Hunter Motorsport cart that is up there in the lead pack. It was, I think, it was Usa Carbs who went round, uh, uh, or, yeah. or, or was it? Or it could, it could possibly have been Stephen Duncan, but I think it was Usa Carbs. Yeah. We'll check uh, next time around, and a change for the race lead. Yes, indeed, as Brandon Carr now leads the way, leading the championship as well is Brandon Carr. And yep, he's had a good season so far. And uh, looking comfortable. He's trying to do the double this trying year. Trying to do the double. Trying but, to copy. Uh, but. Yeah, but. but. There's always a but. 
he is trying to do the double. He is, I think, second in X30 at the moment, but he leads this class. Yes. One thing he hasn't done this year in either class is won a, a final. final. Now, of course, he did. He, he drove that fantastic yes. uh, race at Kart Masters to win the Junior X30 final. Mm. But he's won heat races, but he hasn't won a final yet. And I spoke to him this morning, and it's starting to get to him a little bit. Is it? You know, winning championship, you know, a driver, they want to win a final. I'm not saying winning a championship without winning a final takes anything away, but, you know, you, 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 he really wants to win a final now. Yeah. He's had enough of seconds and thirds. He wants to put his authority on the championship. Yeah, do you know, I'm going to win this not by being Mr. Consistency. I'm going to win this by being the fastest. Yeah, yeah. And that, that's what you need. I mean, you can't... <laughs> I mean, you can't win a championship without winning a final. I mean, he's done well so far to lead the championship without winning a final. I mean, the only person in the last three years to win a championship without winning a final was Alfie Garford in Junior TKM last year. Uh, and that's because Alice Cresswell had uh, all manner of yeah. mechanical difficulties on the final round. Yes. Um, so it, it, it can happen, but it's very, very it, rare yeah, indeed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Ethan Jeff Hall coming under pressure from Jez Williams and Harry Linden. Harry Linden, the number seven seed, only 12th in the championship, uh, second in the opening round of the season, but has not, you know, has had a bit, a bit of a, a rough patch um, lately, but he's back on form here. So we've had a bit of action, and, uh, you know, now things are, um, yeah, n now things are sort of just settled down. We have some action to start with. Now there's a Hunter Motorsports cart. Uh, Oh, no, that's a Sam Pollock cart. Sorry, that's Charlie Hart. Oh, the graphics kits are getting me a little bit confuddled. Mm -hmm. uh, the Sam Pollock graphics kit and the Hunter Motorsports graphics kit. Uh, Charlie Hart in the number 10 machine. Uh, Charlie's dad races in the GT4 championship. Uh, uh, in Mercedes, I believe. Uh, well, I believe so. Possibly, yeah. Yep. Uh, I, I, I don't know off the top of my head. So oh, well, I, 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 no, I, believe, I, believe, I believe he does. Okay. Uh, uh, Nicholas Stevens saying, go Ollie Stevens. Well, Ollie Stevens currently running in 11th place behind Mikey Porter. So, again, this is what I mean. So, the, the Pearson Bullock Hart, he, he, you know, he's, 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 he's won a race. But other members of the Jacks Motorsport team are really picking up their pace as well. Um, you know, Mikey Porter into the top 10. Uh, Aditya Kulkarni is a, a top now. Aditya Kulkarni excluded from qualifying. So, he qualified uh, 47th out of 47. I had to start each of his races with 31st of the grid. He made up to 19th on the grid for this race. He's already into the top 12. Haywood is 13th. Then it's Reese Lomax, Leo Purchase, Daniel Sabula, Harry Hannum, Harry the Lion from 27th up to 17th. Uh, Stephen Duncan, William Antrobus, Ewan Charmer, the Charmander. Then it's Aaron Falk, Gustav Usakovs, Joseph Rippin, Evie Poulain, and George Donald, your top 25. Daniel Tribe, uh, Reza Seawuthern. Uh, then it's uh, Tommy Harfield, Angus Scrivener, Danny Shields, and Jack Cooper. Those the last cart still running. Five minutes to go. Carr extending his lead now to three quarters of a second over Pearson Bullock Carter. Yeah, solid drive there from Brandon Carr. And Sabula is seeing a warning flag, so keep an eye on what he's doing throughout this race. There is a look at Ethan Jeff Hall and Jez Williams having a cracking battle so far. Of course, uh, Jeff Hall with the O plate won that at Mansell Raceway. Yes, he did. The Rotax O plate. Uh, do you remember that one? Uh, and, Daniels, uh, yes, yes. So we're going to warning flag. Yeah. Um, Positions, championship uh, points, they're, they're a bit up and down in this one, well, aren't they? Yeah, Vinnie Phillips won his first race. Yeah. So Vinnie Phillips won the last round at Warden Law. Yep. Uh, won his opening heat race yesterday to gain a few points on Brandon Carr. Mm -hmm. In the second heat race, he had a lot of problems. Uh, and finished right down the order, and that allowed Carr to extend his advantage. And, of course, Carr leading this one, and Phillips only fifth. So uh, Brandon Carr provisionally 676 points, Vinnie Phillips 644. It's a two-horse race. Everybody else, Charlie Hart, Usakovs, Jez Williams, Kulkarni, Jeff Hall and Fairbrother are, you know, nearly 80 points down. Yeah. Uh, it's so competitive, that, you know, in, in Junior Rotax that one mistake really costs you. And so, and, and yeah, so it, it's a head-to-head it's a -head fight between the number 87 Strawberry Racing Cart of Vinnie Phillips and the number 30 KR Sport Machine of Brandon Carr for the championship. Now, there's Jez Williams fighting with Ethan Jeff Hall, trying to put him under pressure for third position. Pearson Bullock Carter is clear of this pack. Williams has got Vinnie Phillips right behind him. Uh, then it's Linden in sixth position. And a five-second penalty for Angus Scrivener. Oh, I believe that's pretty Scottish. 
Right. Three minutes to go. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 obviously, obviously these penalties uh, yeah. are for uh, they dangerous are for driving yeah. or for start line infringements or for things like that. Mm. There we go. Two and a half, oh, two minutes, 50 seconds to go, plus that one lap. And again, no chopping and changing at the front. Main battle that you can really see on your screen is the P3. But again, it's it's just in a bit of a, a void at the moment, isn't it? No yep. one's really going for the positions. Everyone's they've got a little bit of breathing space between them, but it's, yeah. it's not much. Uh, and, and the other it is a good little scrap. Yeah, <laughs> that's the BKC cart at the front of this group, and that is Leo Purchase, who is now doing his best to hold off uh, Harry Hannum, uh, Daniel Sabula, Ewan Charman, William Antrobus, Gustav Usakovs, Reese Lomax, Stephen Duncan, Joseph Rippin. Um, oh, that's. Uh, uh, Reese Lomax, he's got Connor Mills looking after him. So Connor, uh, the Passion Motorsport team, that's gone away. Uh, Connor Mills uh, is just back working for drivers and is an expectant father, uh, which is good to see. And there is, um, that was an expectant move as number 22 car, the MLC Motorsport machine of Joseph Rippin passes uh, the number 89 car of Gustav Uzakovs. Good battle. What you will, I mean, people are even less hesitant in a pre final situation to take risks because, you know, at, at Cartmaster, we saw drivers coming from 30th on the grid yeah. to win. You can't do that at Clay Pigeon. No. There simply isn't the opportunities to overtake. Uh, oh, Leo Purchase, five second penalty in cart number 75. That's because he's got a mullet. Yeah, he's right there on our screen. <laughs> He's right there on our screen. Um, it's not because he's got a mullet. No, it causes that, but it's jokes, isn't it? The audience yeah. knows this. The audience know. Well, they have to make sure. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> across the line they go, and there he is on your screen. Now, it looks at me. No, so he's got a photo in time. Oh! That is a three-wide incident where there's only enough room for one car. They all somehow get through, however. Poo lane, wasn't it? Going down the inside of uh, Stephen Duncan, Reese Lomax, I believe, as well. Yep, yep. And, uh, you know, I think Evie, she's uh, aware that uh, she's got lots of support from Australia coming in on the live stream, so she wanted to, you know, mm. give a good give a good showing mm. for her, her fans down under. Uh, in that very different, like that green livery cart, uh, in the middle of that group uh, is, let's see who that. I think that's Daniel that, Tribe. That's Daniel Tribe, yeah, newcomer. I didn't recognize she's Daniel Tribe, the number 18 machine. So 30 seconds to go. Brandon Carr now leads by 1.2 seconds from Pearson Bullock Carter. There's lots of battling going on down the pack. There is Tribe's uh, bright green privateer ent uh, entered car. I like the way that his crash helmet mirrors his graphics kit yeah, on the car. Yeah, it's, that's, it's that's quite nice, thing, but it kind of makes him invisible because it's obviously he's got the black ray suit on there, so you just uh, yeah, kind of yeah. see like a floating head, then a green car, and then yeah, yeah, nothing, uh, nothing uh, in between. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah exa exactly, but it makes it easy for commentators to spot. Uh, Here yeah, we go. Yeah, yeah. The clock has struck zero. The next time uh, Brandon Carr crosses the start-finish line, he will see the last lap board. Joseph Rippin passing... The uh, number 42 uh, Argenti card of Ewan Charman. Charman, though, comes back at Ripon. And this is for 19th and 20th positions. They're still battling. <laughs> oh, they're still battling. And behind them, Stephen Duncan is going to uh, close in and uh, potentially grab at least one position. So we start our final lap. And it is Carr, Bullock Carter, Jeff Hall, Williams, Phillips, Linden, Clark, Hart, Crowther, and called Carney up into the top 10. Yes, indeed. Brandon Carr did a fabulous job to get to the front of this grid after 22 laps at the end of this race. Oh, uh, yes. And he will take that checker flag, which he does do now. And we're back with this there battle he here. Yeah, There's there we go. Carter. As you can see, Aaron Bull on the outside. There is Ethan Jeff Hall and Jazz Williams. But this battle just keep going on. So we're flashing this. Carts coming across the finish line. Uh, Linden in sixth, Clark seventh, Hart eighth, Krause a ninth, called Carney in tenth. So from 47th after qualifying, Adita Kolkani will start the final 10th. Haywood is 11th, followed by Porter Stevens. Good recovery from Daniel Sabula uh, for the Jacks Motorsport team because he went grass tracking on the opening lap and recovers to take 14th place. Harry the Lion in 15th place is the leading rookie home. Then it's Antrobus, Purchase, Usakovs, Rippin, Charman, Duncan and Evie Poulain. Lomax for Siobhan. Donald, Tribe, Scrivener, Harfield, Shields. Uh, that was Daniel, the last finisher. And sadly, uh, Jack Cooper, Alex Duncan, Gabe Fairbrother, and Ben Folland failed to finish. But? But 
fresher tyres yes. before the final. Yes. Wrong. Yes. But fresher tyres on a full grid yeah, it's here be tricky. Yeah, is yeah. still going a to be a, a challenge. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we hope you've enjoyed this morning's action. Indeed. We have a break. We do. But not you don't have a break. No. Well, not I mean, not you, Anthony. You no. have a break. But yeah, you, yeah. The you, the viewer, mm. has a break. Mm. So just sit back and watch the paddock show from yesterday. And an example of just how little <laughs> the kart drivers here know about this circuit. And no one's answered the question yet. Who or what is Billy's Blind named after? Yeah. We'll be Enjoy. Back. This is good. Mm. Love this view. Oh, yeah. Old school. Billy's blind. Right on the edge of adhesion. Love it. Absolutely love it. Brilliant, isn't it? Fantastic noise as oh, well. August bank holiday, clay pigeon. Can't beat it. Where else would you want to be in the world? Where would you want to be? Hello, everyone. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> Should we do a paddock show? Well, let's do the paddock show. Yeah. Welcome, welcome, welcome to clay first. pigeon, everybody. Yes, welcome. Welcome, one and all. Already getting waves. But, um, event number nine. Event nine. We're nearly at the end. We've only got three more events to go. I know. And this is round four for, as you can see it here, the road tax classes yes. and the Honda classes. And I've got to say, we have visited some of uh, the UK's finest new venues. Yes, we have. PFI, Wilton Mill, mm -hmm. you know, Ward Law. This. This is old school. This is it a is. proper throwback circuit. Yeah. Did you know, Mr. Jordan? Go on. They have been racing go karts around here since 1954. 1954. Yes. But it I, first became officially an MSA 1963. One in 1963. So the Bath Motor Club yep. started racing karts around here. Then it was the Blackford Motor Club. And then in 1960, they went to the MSA or the RAC and became official. I think it's the other way around. Well, I think it's Blackford first, uh, then Bath. I spoke to Mr. I, I spoke to Mr. Renison, Mr. Renison, who's been here since the year dot. I spoke to him too, and that's what he told me. Well, he's lying to he's one of lying us. He's lying to one of us. Are we on the wrong side? Oh, oh God. I mean, I I've been know. away for a week. One one event I miss, and it all goes pear-shaped. I don't know. Are we on the wrong side? A big thank you, however, to John Ratcliffe and Chris McCarthy yes, for filling indeed. in while I was elsewhere. Yes. At uh, Wilton Mill. Lovely well, and peaceful. Well, hey, let's, you know let's, uh, let's, let's try it. Let's try this one side. I, 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 I don't know if we are on the right side. I, I feel Should wrong. we try the I other side? Wrong. Ah, that feels better, that doesn't it? Better. <laughs> right, right, here we go. Um, this is race number 11 yes. of the heats. So we've had, we're going to have 12 heats today. Yeah. Um, this is race 11. It's the last of the senior road tax races. Then we've got one more junior road tax race to go. Mm -hmm. This is the world's longest awning, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's not as Cameron, long as they've had the world's before. longest awning. What's your name? Uh, no. Yes, no. He doesn't know. He's frozen. Undecisive. He's, he's frozen. Undecided. It's fine. <laughs> um, but it has been a bit of a mixed up day. It has, go on. Have a notebook. Go on, g give us your stats. Well, apparently, I mean, I, I've only heard rumours. Go on. There's another form of motorsport. That on this a, weekend? That does yeah. a paddock show with a man holding a notebook. Yeah. I mean, I've never heard of it. No. No? But no. I mean, I'll try it. He hasn't got legs like you, though. Well. Don't look at them. Oof, I wouldn't. They're, 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 they're bronzed. They're bronzed. You've they're been tanned. Like, you've, been, you've been away. Like, I say like, you're, like you're, the Christmas turkey. They're you're bronzed. You're sporting a lovely tan, aren't you? So. Well. Anyway, stats. Get on with it. Well, no, show. We, we, where should we start? I mean, there's Project well, I mean, One. Yeah. I mean, they've got drivers in Minimax, Junior Max, and Senior Max. But there's not many, there's not in, the many in there. There's not many in there. They are. Um, um, 
Hands and Motorsport. But let's start with Micromax. So this is the second mm. grand final ticket event. Yes. Now, there's only seven of them here. Mm. And two of them aren't... Well, well, Lachlan Johnson's got a ticket. Yeah, so he can't uh, win another Jack one. Jack Price is too old. Yeah, so he so can't it's win one. So it's one ticket for five drivers. Yeah. Now, Lachlan Johnson's won both heat races quite easily. Yeah. So it's going to go to the next eligible driver. Now, in heat number one, it was Jensen Chalk in second. Yeah. Heat number two, it was Daniel Minto in yeah. second. Yeah. So that's quite finely it's kinda, poised. Yeah, so it's going to be... So for you watching at home, that's uh, going to be an exciting race. I think for the it's going to be a head-to-head -head battle between yeah. Minto and Chalk for the last ticket because yeah, yeah. everybody else is just a little way off the pace, I have yeah, to say. definitely. So that'll uh, be exciting. Is uh, Honda Cadet. Now, I'll warn you now, ladies and gentlemen, this track is the shortest track to go to. Yes. It's the most amazing flowing circuit that we, that we visit all year. Mm. It does make overtaking slightly difficult. It's very narrow. It's very tricky. Um, in Honda Cadet and Minimax, mm. oh, overtaking the plenty. Yeah, 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 yeah. In junior and senior, a bit it's, tricky. It's going to be processional, uh, but it's going to be very tactical. Yeah. Very, very close because you can get a great slipstream in any class. Yeah. In any class, even the seniors get a great toe, great slipstream, but overtaking very difficult. Mm. I mean, Honda Cadet has been fantastic today. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, they have uh, been. Kenzo Craigie, that's a great race one. Craigie qualified on pole for Max Endicott and Albert Friend. Uh, Jarrett Clark, who is now the new championship leader, effectively, because Cole Denham has got a suspension, it, 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 he's not here. He's not here, yeah. He's got to count this round, though, as a zero. So that's his championship pretty much done and dusted. Can he count it as a zero, though? I, I have been told that he's got to he, count he, it as... He, he, can't he can't drop this round. He can't, oh, he can't drop it. He can't it. drop okay, this round. So. Um, so, I mean, Jarrett Clark... Well, Jarrett Clark, they've all run off the kids' play. They have, yeah. <laughs> but here, here's the tent. There is a driver sort of loitering with intent outside. Should we, should we check go, go, a, a driver? Head, oh, no, no, no. Uh, bring, mean, bring, bring him over, bring him over. Right, driver. Say hello to the camera, driver. Hello. Say hello, driver. Say hello, driver. Hello. Right, OK, how was your day? <laughs> that didn't quite work. Didn't yeah. work. Um, OK. Would you like to expand on OK? <laughs> yeah. Um, first thing. We started ninth and finished ninth, um, and then the second heat didn't really go to plan. Um, we dropped back a bit on the first lap. Uh, then on the second lap, two drivers went over like the sausage curve coming out the chicane, and um, they got in front of the whole pack and slowed it all down. And then um, my teammate had nowhere to go, and he went over the back of me, and uh, his nose cone hit my back. Oh yeah, how was your back? It's okay. It's all right. It's it's not well enough for you to go from running around to the playground, though. No. Oh, no. Okay. Well, better luck tomorrow. Thank you. Yes. Enjoy that one. Right. So. Uh, I mean, look, the synergy tank. We don't. We, yeah. Should we go and see? Say hello to synergy. I, I think, well, yeah. We can. We can pop in there. I so. mean, uh, Jarrett Clark leading the championship. Yeah. Um, effectively, but I mean, yeah. Kenzo Craigie from on pole. Max Endicott was second. Albert Friend third. Then Jarrett Clark fourth. Yeah. The, the first race was a great. Great scrap between the number 22 synergy cars right mm. by there of Noah Barham yep. and the number 55 synergy car of Jarrett Clark and Kenzo Craigie's GP plate. Yes. And it was nip and tuck all the way. It was three wide across the finish. Kenzo Craigie just won. The second race, there was four of them. It was Clark, there was Kenzo, there was Albert Friend, Max Endicott. Kenzo managed to win again, but Great, great racing all the way through. Mm. Let's speak to a couple other drivers. There are a couple of drivers running away. Who's got hiding in the corner? Who have we got? Who have we got? Right. Yeah. Don't, don't abuse them. Now, man. now, boys. Now, now. Calm down. Kai calm Clark. Down. Come Kai. and have a chat. Come on, Kai. Come, uh, first okay. of all, mad props having Nike Air Jordan. Excellent. Multicolored Gran Turismo Mercedes hat. Right, Kai. How's your day? Being? Oh, you're welcome. That's not a problem. Yeah, yeah, you're you're welcome. Job done. Uh, where have you finished? Um, four in the first year and then P5 in the second week. So that's going to put you middle, second row of the grid, probably, for the final, for the pre final. Yes. And can you win it from there? Yeah. Excellent. That's what we that's like what we to hear. That's what we Excellent. like to hear. Good. Thank you, Kai. Yes, thank you. you who else, who well, else is loitering around? I in a synergy tent. So this is. I, don't, uh, what? I mean, there's not many in here. There's people There's in the seating area. I think. Is that all, the hospitality? That's all hos hos hospitality. Yes. Yeah. 
Sorry. Well, no, I mean, I don't want to interrupt the hospitality. All right. But the VIPs. Who are the VIPs? <laughs> There, I think. Max Endicott's there. Let's have a little chat with Max Endicott. Uh, yeah, qualified second. Uh, finished the second race. He finished in fourth. Do we have... Ah, you've got a couple of drivers. I can tell by their Vera caps. Mm. Here we go. I can spot a Mason Brooks. So, whose phone's this? Is it your phone? Have a seat, Anthony. Take the Oh, it's your off. dad's there phone. You right, so, Mason Brooks, firstly. How are you? Good. Uh, uh, you racing this weekend? You are, yeah. How's it been? Good. Yeah? Expanding on that? How did it go? Good. Just good? Well, apart from the nose cone penalty. What? Not so good. You get a nose cone? Yeah. What happened? Uh, I can't really remember. No, just all a blur. But main thing, well, how are you finding clay pigeon more importantly? Good. Good, yeah? Fun circuit? Yeah. Quick circuit or uh, is it a bit? Ooh. Quick. It's quick. Yeah. Good. Excellent. It's the most enlightening interview I think I've ever had in my life. Thank well, I mean, Mason's only. How old are you now, how Mason? How old are you now, Mason? Still seven. Still You're seven. Still there you go. Seven years old. I wasn't even talking. So yeah, there thank you very much. You. Uh, what, what game are you playing? Uh, Roblox, and this is That looks absolutely terrifying. Right, anyway, I'll leave you to it. Thank you very much. I found a championship leader. Excellent, good. Jarrett Clark. Excellent. Effectively the championship leader now. How does that feel? Oh, yeah, it feels great. Uh, three podiums in the first three rounds, yeah? Haven't got the top step yet. Uh, the, the racing today has been fantastic. You know, in the first race it was you, Noah, and Kenzo. In the second race it was you, Kenzo, Max, and Albi. Uh, how are you going to try and work with your teammates for victory? Well, it's obviously going to be tough as it's more levelled out with how many people are in each team. But I'm still going to try and just work till the end and hopefully get the win. Yeah, because there's loads of people in synergy, but then there's also quite a few people on zip. And there's quite a few on SFR as well. Uh, yes, it's levelled out a lot as we've gone through the season. Obviously, SFR have lost a few, Zip have gained a few. And yeah, it's just getting closer and closer. It is indeed. There we go. Right. Nice. Good luck. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Thank you, Synergy. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy your evening. Right, Henry, where should we go next? Well, I mean, whatever is next. Oh, there's a strawberry. I mean, we've got morning. strawberry, strawberries uh, and cream, and we've got well, coals. Strawberry, I mean, this is an interesting one. So, Vinnie Phillips in junior mm -hmm. uh, won the first heat, but then was nowhere in the second heat. Ethan Jeff Hall's been really strong. Mm -hmm. uh, Callum Bradshaw in seniors only didn't even qualify, qualified seventh. Uh, he's just in his second, well, he's about to go for a second race, but came through to P2. Um, but it's been uh, Kai Hunter polled it for Dan Holland racing and yeah. for the first race, mm -hmm. but then in the second race, it was Matt Higgins. So, Dan Holland got the upper hand. It's really, really nip and tuck in, in seniors. I think mm. the top three are now separated by 20 points. Mm. Hunter, Bradshaw and Guy Cunnington. They're all, all three of them are champions. Yeah. Uh, let's, let's do let's, some let's stats let's and walk. Let's wander up this side. We're on the paddock. We're on the wrong side. Oh, by no, the way, I'm trying to get, I know, I know, I know. Oh, it's a terrible, yeah, shocking thing. I know. There's a pair of orange crocs in a karting paddock. That should be illegal. And there are black crocs as well. That's okay. Shocking. I mean, Crocs Absolutely in general, I think. Shocking. Oh. I think. Crocs in general are pretty, pretty, pretty awful. My son bought a pair of Crocs. Did he? Using my money. Did, Unbeknownst did you, to me. Did you disown him? Uh, I, I, I was in Nassau, so I couldn't really <laughs> leave him there three and a half thousand miles away. It was nip and tuck. Nip could, and tuck. Could we have left you there three and a half thousand miles away? Uh, they tried. They, tr <laughs> they tried. <laughs> Get through airport security. Ooh. Yeah, oh yeah, no, I can imagine that's quite right, who a challenge. Who have we got? There's more. There's, there's so ah, the multitude. Right, we've got Lockton Johnson. Friend. Yeah, we've got Friend, we've got Lockton Johnson, we've got, we got more. So Careful, we've got two drivers here that are going to the Rotax Max Challenge Grand Finals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Step forward, qualifiers. Come forth. So, Lachlan, you won the ticket at Warden Law. Warden Law, yeah. And you're here again, and you're doing really well again. Is this just to get more experience with the engine ahead of Portugal? Yeah, I don't know, to be honest. Oh, okay, fair okay, enough. Okay, fair well, enough. You, you, just, you just give it a go-kart and told to go around as fast as you can. Pretty much? I think so. Oh, okay, fair enough. But then last weekend, this young man went out to Kirpen in Germany, oh, yeah. the, 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 the track that the Schumacher family mm -hmm, uh, ran, mm -hmm. and you won the Rotax Grand Festival. This is going to be your second year in the Grand Finals. Well done, Albert. Thank you. Well... I mean, you had a bit of a disappointment at the Rotax International Trophy at Le Mans, but you made up for it last weekend. How do you feel? 
good. Okay, this is good. This uh, drivers of are many words elate, in this paddock. Are you elated or just happy? Happy. You're just happy. So you've got a year's experience in the grand finals. You're in Bahrain. What do you think that extra experience is going to do for you? I mean, I'm hoping to get on the podium this year and even maybe even to win it. Maybe even to win it. There oh. we go. Look, oh, there's lots of go-kart drivers There's lots of activity here. here. There's, there's lots of seniors. Who's looking rather sweaty? Oh, we'll, go, we'll, 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 we'll chat to Magic. Magic? One of, one of us uh, looks like I'm not going to lie, Magic. Style. I feel like there's something between us. It, uh, I hope not. Well, it's a green fence. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think I played that one off well. Uh, yeah. Now, um, <laughs> right. you finished fifth in, t fourth in the Rotax Festival here a week ago. Yep. Uh, that was mechanically by yourself. Yeah, that was, that was all my work. Yeah, all with... Uh, yeah, and now we finished seventh with Dad's help, so draw your own conclusions to that. There's Dad. Hi, Dad. Thanks thanks for bringing him. I'm sure, you know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nothing like a bit of gratitude, is it? No, but uh, uh, are you ready for tomorrow, though? Are you feeling like Clay's going to be the one? Yeah, I mean, I'm leaving the club championship here, so I've got high hopes for this. Um, yeah, I hate London to go to play me on an axle move, so that was why we were off the pace. But now, now we're in it. But it's just so competitive, you know? It's like, you know, we're talking, you know, hundreds between these drivers. So, you know, people, you have to take some risks out there to get past people. And, it's, yeah, it's, I think we're in for a messy day tomorrow, if I'm honest. Yeah. yeah, I've got no idea if you could actually hear that, ladies and gents. I mean, you are about 10 foot away from me with a, with a fence what, between us. But what's the weather going to do tomorrow? It's I been do, that, boilingly hot. That's a good hot. question. I mean, last time we were here, if you remember, we were knee-deep in water. We were. To the point that they had to uh, cancel the last couple of finals. Yeah. It's been a heat wave here, but then if you look above you, cameraman, there are some rather ominous-looking clouds. Yeah. And I do hope they dissipate before the morrow. Uh, I'm sure it'll be fine. Anyway, Magic, thank you very much. Enjoy ah. the rest of your day as uh, the rest of the seniors come out ah. with James Jackson's one. Just, just quickly, have you ever seen the film Madagascar? Oh. Uh, I, oh. uh, I have, actually. What's, is it Merman? The Merman Melman. the giraffe. Melman. 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 Melman, Melman the giraffe. Melman. Melman. Yeah. Oh, how are you doing, Melman? Spitting image. Uh, okay. How's Matty been going? Struggling a bit this weekend, to be fair. Uh, yeah. we're, 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 we qualify. Did qualify in the top ten. Uh, it's it's tough to pass, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, it is. And when you're just missing, we're maybe just missing that like ten. When you're missing that, it's it's difficult. Keep searching for it. Keep trying. No problems. Thank you, Melvin. Uh, no. <laughs> Easy mistake to make. Callum Porter. Right. That's 177 good. driver from last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First driver to get a podium for the Ultimate R team in the British Championship. But, mm -hmm. of course, a couple of weekends ago at Cartmasters, Gabe Fairbrother won the GP plate in juniors. Ah. Yes. Which okay. Was, um, some statistics there for you, ladies some and gents. Uh, yeah. Uh, Gabe Belanca. Yes. Ah, okay. We have Australian. We spoke to Gabe Belanca. Yeah, well, I interviewed him earlier today, yeah. He's having his best outing in the British Championship by far. Yeah. And here is our first Brazilian, Pedro Oliveira. We should probably go and speak he's, to him, we? probably we? go and speak to him, but he's yeah. not really stuck around for a chat. Well, he's I mean, of... he's, uh, obviously he's heard what we're like. Uh, yeah, I'm probably. And so you see those two, avoid at all costs. Well, we'll catch up with him. So, we again, will, you know, yeah. we've got an uh, Australian driver here. We've got, you know... Who's here all season, but a guest driver, Pedro. Oh, ah, he's in. just pulled in here. Right. Perfect. He's we'll, not got too we'll far away. We'll him. We shall. <laughs> um, we're going to go to Jack's Motorsport because I believe Pearson Bullock Carter earned their first heat win in the British Championship earlier uh, on today. Right, excellent, excellent. Right, without further ado, we've got some new drivers. We do. So this is number 24. This is Rich Buttle, or Archie Buttle. In juniors, um, oh look at that! My new favourite new driver, a Welsh flag. Well, from but, Welsh I mean, to Brazilian, I feel like the Brazilian flag's got more stature. Uh, Pedro has the Brazilian flag got a dragon on it? <laughs> has it got a dragon on it, Pedro? No, no, it doesn't. It's not got a dragon on it. But uh, Pedro, firstly, welcome to the British Championships. How are you finding it? Yeah, pretty good. I mean, it's not part of I've been doing, but yeah, pretty good so far. Excellent stuff. And uh, Clay Pigeon, is this uh, a track that you've ever been to before, or is it this the first? Yeah, I've been coming here quite a few times, but yeah, it's, it's still one of them tracks that it's a bit hard to learn, so even uh, even though I've been coming here for a while, I've still got a few spots I'm still a bit dodgy on. So hard to learn and hard to overtake on as well, though. There's been the main I'm, consensus And I've got to say, that Sao Paulo accent <laughs> sounds remarkably like a Southwest Cornish accent to me. <laughs> 
Yeah. Yeah. How long have you been over in the UK? Uh, my whole life, pretty much. Uh, ah, yeah. but never, never forget your roots. Never. Never forget your roots. There we go. Excellent. But uh, like I say, you've got. Look at this. This is the most high-tech tent we've been in. We've got some. We've got. We've got another championship on that you're not allowed to watch. It's just no. And, and, and besides, he's got his notebook. I got a notebook. But, Pedro, uh, by, uh, for those who are interested, of course, everyone is interested. You qualified 26th out of yep. 38. Yep. 21st, your first heat. What happened in the second heat? Uh, I don't actually know where I finished, but I got oh. a, I got a pretty I got a pretty good start and um, no drop down, which is good. And uh, but yeah, I, I think I dropped back a few positions throughout the race. But fair enough, fair enough. Hey, not, not bad for a, a debut in the British Championship. Yeah. Well done. Perfect. Excellent. Well, Pedro, thank you very much. We'll we'll leave you be now because Cart you, uh, looks very you, very you, smart as well. Yes. The Brazilian flag, <laughs> like that, like the Brazilian. You've got a couple of tyre marks on this. There's quite a few on this side there's as well. There's been, there's been a little bit of wagon rubbing, hasn't there? Yeah. <laughs> Shows he's trying, ladies and gentlemen. Shows he's trying. There we right, go. anyway, we'll leave you be before he throttles one of us or something. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> right, Henry, don't right. want to alarm you. We're on the wrong side again. I know. This is all confusing. Travesty. Right, Jack's Jax, Jax, yes, Jax, Jax, here. Jax, 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 Jax. Uh, Pearson Bullock Carter is uh, probably I think on out the on circuit. track. <laughs> yeah, and it's looking pretty empty in here. Um, Absolutely, so, so empty. Bereft it's, of um... <laughs> wagons and wagon drivers. Mm. And oh, well, there we go. Spanners. Okay. There we go. Well, there's, there's, well you're going to get run over. So out. come, come this way. Oh, oh, oh. This cameraman is someone that, that is. Uh... Ciao, ciao. I don't, I don't know who's behind that. No, that's right. I'm going to yeah, go on this it. side. Ah! Ah! Here's a man. Mini Max. No, Wolf. Welcome, hello. How are we? Good, you? Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Yeah, but you, have you ambushed us here? What? No? no. Going this... walk that way. Walking that way. Okay, excellent. No, uh, this Henry, is, this is two wins out of two. Uh, qualif uh, Noah qualified seventh. Yep. Uh, first race, there was a bit of a, a coming together between. Uh, William Murphy and Josh Graham in the first corner. You weren't the quickest car in that race, but every time that Sebastian Mintz caught you, there'd be a battle and you were able to pull away. Second race, you and your teammate, because there's two drivers now for the fact that you team in Minimax, uh, William Murphy as well. Uh, you, you managed to, tell us about the accident, it was a big accident. Yeah. Josh Graham, Scott Marsh and Sebastian Mintz were running one, two, three, going into Hans Hairpin and they came out running 21, 22, 23. And what happened from your perspective? Um, well, Scott went in on uh, Seb, and Seb was going in on Graham. Scott locked up, and Timo Seb, and then Seb hit Graham. But of course, that allowed, well, Hugh Bolton took the lead, but then you and William hunted him down, and you took the win. So, yeah. pole position, second in the championship, pole position in the pre-final, if nothing else. Right. It's getting good. much tighter. It's, get, it's getting... It's it getting, is really, really tight. It's going to be good. Right, anyway, it's going to be good, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Good. Go right down to the wire. Excellent. That's what we like to hear. Right, anyway, go do what you were going to do. Shoot. Um, <laughs> oh, we're looking at... Uh, what, uh, we're say, looking at the, the, the last... I mean... Top bend. Top bend. And, of course, for those who are faint hearty, you don't want to stand here at Spectre. No. Because, I mean, this, this is what we're talking about old school. Cameraman, come and have a look at this. You know, here we are. At the end of the race, at the end of, at the end of each race, they, they, they do their slowing down and they come in here and they got a arch wagon right. But I mean, this is this is genius. This is 70 miles an hour coming through this corner now. And you know, you can see the whites of their eyes. Mm. It is amazing. You can see there down on the track as well. You can see the rubber that yeah. they're putting down the back of the car, stepping out as they're applying the throttle as they come through here. And, it, and the corner does open out, but it's so, so easy to get squeezed out wide as one car coming in. Oh, dear. Number 80. And uh, that one of the is, BKC. Ah, ah, that's it's Reza Seaworthian. Yeah, yes, Reza Seaworthian, the E plate holder. Yes. It's great to see BKC racing back in the British mm. paddock. Mm. The Rob Dodd School of Karting is where yeah. Lando Norris started. It's where uh, Bill Hansen started, mm -hmm. it's where uh, Knight Dean Stoneman, a whole host of very, very, very talented drivers. Yeah, uh, yeah. At Le Mans a couple of years ago, I oh, know, the Daytona 24 hours. Right. Two years ago, 
Uh, Lando Norris paired with Phil Hansen and Fernando Alonso. Yes. And Fernando Alonso was the only driver in the team not to go to the Rob Dodd School of Cars. There we go. And did they win that race? Well, Lando and Phil did amazingly. So well, yeah. they, went to, they went to Rob Dodd School of Cars. Yeah, exactly. Not sure about the other guy, the Spanish no, guy. No, no, not too sure. But that team sporting three mullets. Oh, oh. Three, and you're Ooh, a fan of a mullet, Henry. I, I, do you know what? I love a good net warmer. Yeah. I love a good net warmer. <laughs> Shame yeah. you can't grow one yourself. I mean, uh, well, not, not anymore. I used to have one. Uh, oh, that's a sight. I, I had a mullet when I was 15 years old. Oh no! Woo. What an awful thing to Big behold. Big 90s mullet. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. But the BKC team, based over kind of right at the entrance of the uh, the paddock, so they had first dibs. So probably the first to arrive and thought, right, I'm going to put it right here. Now Leo Purchase in junior had a top five finish. Yeah, yeah. He's yes. sporting a mullet. He's sporting a mullet and a very quick wagon. Yep. Uh, spectators, but no drivers. No. There we go. No. Well, no. I think the BK team are mainly out there. I think they're all yeah, they're in the all same out They're all a out quick there. Little peek. Let's have a look. Uh, 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 uh. Absolutely empty. Absolutely empty. Ab there you go. But you can tell well, it's old school when you yeah, they tape, <laughs> tape the timetable and the rules yeah. to the inside of your order. You've got to tape the rules up there. You've got to make got to sure. The rules what am I and am I not allowed to do in the paddock? Uh, swear, drink alcohol, Man. show off your bottom. Moving on, Sam Pollock Racing. Well, so, what, <laughs> what, 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 no, so you asked me what you weren't allowed to do in the paddock. Right, OK. It was a rhetorical question. Oh, right, OK. Well, I, um, I, I just remind you, just in case you fancy like, yeah. any, doing any of those things, you know. Right. Well, the Diamond of Dal Rai is the over here. He's, he's walking he's away. He's walking away, yes. He's spotted uh, us coming. Sam Pollock Racing. Yeah. Uh, uh, there is a couple of wagons in there. Ted Bradbury is not here in juniors. Do you know why Ted Bradbury is not here? Why is he not here? He's gone to the Leeds Festival. He's gone what? He's, I know. He's gone to the Leeds Festival, which is some sort of music event. How dare he? That's ridiculous. Right, let's have a little look inside. Who is here? Well, ah, uh, ah, uh, oh, yeah, hiding. He's hiding. Hiding Hi away. Joe Anderson. It is indeed, Joe. Uh, good evening. How are we? Good. Good. Yeah. How's the day been so far? Oh, well, I'm good. Good start to this. What What would turn it around, or why has it been terrible? Well, we've got to go to the stewards and yeah. we haven't had a very good day, we've just had bad results and, yeah. So it's just been a tough one and, you know, tough rounds do happen, don't they? But uh, tough rounds mean a good round at the next one, so um, hopefully so. Um, what are we thinking to tomorrow, though? It's a new day. Yeah, just got to get some more places and make our way and feel But Wagon itself is rolling well? Yep. Excellent. That's what we like to hear, isn't it? So as long as Wagon's working, it's just, yeah, the rest of it will come. But uh, what are your predictions for tomorrow? Uh, top 15. All right, spot on. Well, Henry? Well, I've got Jack Lilly over here in seniors. Uh, 38 seniors, so not everyone's going to automatically make the final. How's your day been? Uh, not great, to be honest. Um, just lacked a bit of pace, and I think we've got a few issues we're trying to solve for tomorrow. OK, have you, do you know if you've made it into the pre-final automatically or are you in the dreaded repercharge? I don't know, to be honest. Uh, we ain't had, we've had a 19th and way back, like 20th, so it ain't been great, to be honest. Oh, well, nothing like a bit of positivity, is there? Yeah. <laughs> How you can tell someone's good at the spanners, you've got muck all over your yes, chin. Yes, yes. You yeah. If you don't chew the go-kart, <laughs> the go-kart will go quicker. Yeah, hopefully. That's, <laughs> what, that's what we need, to be honest. Yeah. OK, well, yeah, a quicker wagon. There quicker we go. wagon. Hello, we have XL back in the paddock as well. We do. I, I, yeah. Uh, how? Hello. How are we? Good. Yeah. Okay. Not, not too good, actually. Not too good. Yeah. Why? What's happened? Ha had a bit of a stinker. Oh, a stinker. stinker. Technical terminology. Oh, right. Okay. It, Definition. Embellish upon oh, it. Similar to Jack. Not the best. Yeah. Being a bit slow. Pretty slow. What can change that though? Data and GoPro. And, Data. And, uh, you know, yeah, just practice. Have you been here before? Were you here last weekend? No. So, is this your first time here? Yeah. Well, that never helps, does it? So, you're learning the circuit, aren't you? Yeah. But, yeah, it's not great. Well, there we go. 
There we go. Oh, well, I'm sure we'll find some positive. Well, this is, this, you know, J Jane, Jane Swindells. You raced a car class, didn't you? Yeah. You know, uh, but obviously you're based in uh, Dubai most yeah. of the time. Yeah. So, you know, well, it's, it's uh, all the trucks that are going to leak. They're brand new, they're modern, they're wide, they're flat as a pancake. This throwback. Mm. Every corner's got a bit of camber, it's got bumps, it's got curbs that are different. You know, you've got to use the curbs, you know, and, but use the curbs differently in every corner. Yeah. Hopefully tomorrow is less of a stinker. Yes. It's more fragrant for you. Yeah. 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 Right. Ah, there's Super Ted out there. Yeah, it is indeed. We've only got about a couple of minutes left. Oh, Henry, dear. So right. We'll, okay. We'll, well, we'll need to. We're going to find. We're going to have to find somebody to end the show. And oh, look at him. We, we got this. this oh, what? 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 <laughs> it's a, uh, super, super, look at him. Come, 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 come. come, come. Super Ted. Super Ted. I'm super down there. Can we do it in front of my eye then? We can oh, do it in front oh, of. Oh, thinking of sponsors. Can, there we go. Thinking. We'll. We'll. We'll oblige you. Right, we'll spin it round. Right, We're on there the we go. Side. Branding, branding, branding. We'll all move round to and it's perfect, just, like just that. for you, Ted. Brilliant. Right, tell us about your day. Uh, emotional this morning. Emotional? Really? Emotional. Really? Oh, why? Really why? bad. Really bad. Did you cry? B nearly. It was on that level. Why? Is it Villa lost again? No, you see Liverpool won 9 0 though. What? Liverpool won 9 0? No, 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 football talk is not happening. No. I, right. Crystal Palace 2 0 up against Man City. Right. Lost 4 2. Liverpool won 9 0 against Bournemouth. After not winning all season so far, I'm yeah. getting. Wow, well, there we go. Beat Villa as well, which. Oh, oh there we go. So, how, how did Cardiff get on, do you know? Totally it's now. a karting show, by the way. Go karting. Oh, hang on. Oh, we can't find the results, never mind. No, no, we're Preston. No, no, we're the. Oh, I'm going to go and see Ethan Jeff Hall because he's from Preston and I'm going to. So Swan, well Swan, Swansea drove. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, we're going to talk about some go karts in it. Go karts. Well, no, gone? we can't. Eight, eighth in the first yeah. heat, Good. and then eleventh for them. I, I, I knew I'd done that well because my notes only go to tenth, and they don't mention Super Ted once. That's shocking. I know he doesn't even think about everyone. No. Oh. Well, no, no, not every, you know. For the people, you scream for the people. Yeah. Yeah. This Livid. Is, this, this is this is where the, 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 the smiles normally happen. Where's uh, Where's Mila this weekend? Oh, Lewis. Where's he? Right, oh, he's that <laughs> let, let, let. You want it. We'll end the show with Lewis Bailey. Yeah, yeah. I think Everyone's we'll, we'll, favourite we'll, karting yeah, we'll, mechanic. We'll, we'll, we'll right. brief him for what he needs to say. Lewis, Lewis Bailey. Come on, come on, right, man. Come, 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 come okay, on. so you're going to end the show. Yeah, stand, so stand, 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 stand Branding, here, branding, right. branding. Right. Take my microphone, please. Okay. So, in right. a couple of seconds, you're going to say what a fantastic day tomorrow is going to be. Keep watching all on Alpha Live and watch Super Ted drive yeah, it better. That's way too many words for me. Oh. It's from Just say. It's from <laughs> also, this is dangerous, by the way. Huh? I could say anything right now. Well, you could. <laughs> <laughs> How about we just send us home and say, live? thanks no. for watching the Paddock oh, Show. Tune in tomorrow. It's going to be an amazing day. Can I do the arm movement as well? Yes, that way. That thanks way. for watching the Paddock Show. Make sure you tune in tomorrow. Yes. Mic drop? I'm up. No. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, that's different. That's three. No chance. <laughs> I don't know any corner. Any? None. Literally none. Not even turn one. So, Billy's, yeah. the S's, yeah. the hairpin, horseshoe, buttons, and the last corner, which I've forgotten. So, that's four out of them. I don't know any. Turn one. No, I don't. No. Yes. There we go. Billies. There we go. Right, there's the chicane. Um, quick chicane. No, uh, the first hairpin. And turn one. All right, there's a chicane. Yeah. Then a hairpin. Then I know the horseshoe. Yeah. And then the last corner. And then that's it. I don't know any. None. None. None? None. Really? Really. Billy's, the chicane, the hairpin, horseshoe. Uh, so, oh, God. Because I don't drive around it. Well, it doesn't matter. You're here, aren't you? Yeah, they know about one corner name, and that's about it. What, what corner's that? I only know what Billy's is. That's well, that, that's, that's a point, that's a point. OK, so you got Billy's, right? Now, what, what about Trackland? Well, it's about 30 seconds, isn't it? 30, 35 seconds. Seven, 700 metres, I'll go. Say... 450. <laughs> 900 metres? No. Very close. I mean... Well, even closer. 500 metres. That's, no, wait, no, that's, that's short. short. I guess. 35 seconds. <laughs> no, 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 in metres. Um, Length. I don't know. I guess. I don't... Uh, Number. 500? 600. Good enough. Eight hundred and seventy-five. Nine hundred meters. Fifteen hundred meters. That's longer than PF, man. <laughs> <laughs> right. Anyway. Four hundred meters. Four hundred meters. That's two. It's eight hundred and fifteen, and it's Billy's blind. The S's. Sturmy straight. Hands happen. Horseshoe. Buttons. Top end. Okay. I've, uh, someone said to me the other day that they're trying, they were going to extend it. It needs to be a bit longer. Um, this isn't political, this is for fun. I'm just saying, yeah, yeah, okay. I'm just saying this is a bit longer than it is. <laughs> I can't even remember it. Is that it? Uh, that's it for me, really. Terrible. Hello, and welcome to Alpha Live's YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be broadcasting Honda Cadets, Mini Max, Junior Otax, Senior Otax with some brilliant racing. Now make sure you like and subscribe and turn the notification bell on. Uh, um, yeah, so like and subscribe. Yeah. Um. <laughs> oh yeah, make sure you watch because it's going to be some incredible wait, wait, racing. You know, well. No, well, what, what, what do you think of, of British Park Championship? It's a good championship. Do you think you'll win this year? Yeah. Get, get really close in view, um, and also, uh, how are you feeling going into this round? Uh, I'm very confident that I'll win. Well no, 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 no. Let no. me interview you. Now, Will, William Murphy, uh, you, you've you recently swapped teams, haven't yeah, you? Yeah. Um, how are you liking the new uh, car? It's good. Do you, do you think you can you can have a good round this round? Uh, I should. I'm quickish. Ish. Yeah. Well done. Okay. Okay. You've got a bit of work to do there. Um, now we are going to interview Mr. Sam Mock. Now Sam Mock, <laughs> Mr. Uh, at Kart Masters, he had a very good he had a very good result. Um, he finished 13th. Yep, 13th. How, what did you think of that weekend? A brilliant weekend, and it was lots of fun. Now Ollie. <laughs> yes. On. You look like you were, you look like you like to chat a lot. What do you what, what do you want to say? Um, I'm. A human. Eva uh, Morris. Eva Morris. What, what do you want to say to the camera? And where do you think you'll finish today? Um, hopefully top five. And make sure you like and subscribe. And hit the notification bell. OK, that's all for today at Alpha Live YouTube channel. Make sure you like and subscribe and turn the notification bell on. See ya. Bye. <laughs>
of the Vera Tools Motorsport UK British Kart Championships at the Clay Pigeon Raceway in Dorset. And the first final of the day is for Honda Cadet. Round four of seven for the Hondas. And we have 26 carts lined up on the grid, led by new championship leader Jarrett Clark with Kenzo Craigie alongside him on row number one. Albert Friend and Max Endicott share row number two. Rocco Shenton will go from row three. Charlie Wolfitt will be alongside Noah Barham and Luca Ballack. They'll go from row four. On row number five, we have Kai Clark and Eva Morris, Bella Fairclough and the tiny carter Ellis Bell on row six. Ethan Griffiths will go from row seven with Charlie Warren alongside Charles Kiley and Finley Lyons start from row eight. That's Ian Gr Ethan Griffiths. Ethan. I've got to mention him twice because he's Welsh. Right. Uh, Joshua Griffin and Le Rio Licata share row number nine. Oliver Miewski and Jacob Bachelor go from row ten. Oliver Warner and Harry Taylor go from row 11. Mason Brooks and Hayden Gray round out the top 20. Four. With Albie Lapper and Oliver Spencer rounding out the field. So, Clay Pigeon, Honda Cadet Step in out. Uh, 2021. The opening round of the 2021 championship, Noah Wolf won the Honda Cadet race from Timo Jungling, that year's eventual champion, Owen Neve, for the Callum Hardgrave uh, team. That was Callum's first podium of the... Of, of the new British Championship era for Callum Hargrave's team. It's going to be a standing start, 15 minutes plus one lap. Jarrett Clark leads the championship, cart number 55, third at PF International, second at third at Larkhall, second at Warden Law. Three podiums to his name. He won the Rotax Festival here at Clay Pigeon a week ago. Kenzo Craigie won the Cart Masters British Grand Prix three weeks ago. On row number two, Albert Friend, last week qualified for the grand finals in Micromax out in Germany. And Max Endicott in cart number 18, he finished second at Lark Hall, his sole British Championship podium finish. The engine notes rise, all eyes in the gantry, lights are green, we're off and racing. Great start then from the whole field as they'll dart down in towards Billy's Blind for the first time. And Kenzo Craigie on the outside can't hold off. Oh, Jarek a spin Clark. in the background, one of the zip drivers. It's the number 19 cart of Rio La Carta, ah. who has gone round. And Jarrett Clark has made a good start. Good run through the S's there for Clark. He'd open up a big lead. Craigie having to make that zip cart quite wide just to uh, hold on an established second position. Change for third place as Max Endicott passed Albert Friend. So Friend in the number 91 SFR motorsports cart uh, drops down to one. He regains. Uh, third place there. But at the end of lap number one, it is Clark from Craigie, then a gap back to Friend, Endicott, Shenton, Barham, Ballack, Clark, Kai Clark, that is, then Wolfit, Fairclough, Morris, and Bell, your top 12. A completely different story that we're seeing this time around compared to the pre final we saw earlier as one of the zip carts there darts on the inside curve just at the back of shots. This time, two cart breakaway, Clark and Craigie. They don't have the two they had last time, Endicott and, and Barham. Barham. Yeah, yeah, no, so they don't. It's a completely different story. They've got Albert Friend for company. Yeah, well, now, this is going to be interesting. Can the two drivers know what we're going to see? Kenzo Craigie will push Jarrett Clark away as, for as long as he possibly can. Can Friend and Endicott with Shenton and Barham, those four drivers, work together and close in on the two drivers working alone? In theory, three or four drivers working together are quicker than two drivers on their own, but there are more potential for little incidents and accidents and misjudgments yes. when there are more carts involved in the pushing. Yes. Uh, now, Endicott in third place, in fourth place rather, has got a bit of a gap between himself and Shenton in fifth, so it's, it's two and two for the top four positions, uh, if en Endicott will try and work with Friend, and it looks like the gap is already closing in. Uh, Jarrett Clark head down as they come down the straight through Billy's blind. Still nobody on the Alpha Live YouTube channel live chat, uh, which we can see in the commentary box, uh, has guessed who or what Billy's blind is named after. Oh dear. Well... 12 and a half minutes to go then, plus as well. And I have to, uh, do you know what? I think the group of three behind is starting to close in. They are, yes, indeed. Charlie Wolfick gets a warning flag uh, in the number 95 Synergy Racing team. So the Synergy Racing Developments drivers, uh, they are first, third, fifth, 
in the championship. Uh, Clark leads, uh, Friend is second, Barham third, Craigie fourth, Endicott fifth, and Line sixth. That's the championship positions. And you were right, Anthony. We ha now have a group of five for the race lead. Friend, Endicott, and Barham have joined the party. So that is three Synergy drivers, one Zip driver, and one SFR driver. Yes, indeed. Now it's all starting to <laughs> drop a James well, because you can hear the crowd in the background of the shot, and it, already it's starting to kick off. Derek Clark went defensive there into the horseshoe, yep. and then Kenzo Craigie fought back straight away. Uh, well, I, that was, I think, Kenzo attacking, attacking Clark. Yeah. yeah, because Kenzo looked over, you see how often they're looking over their shoulders. They're going to, in cadet, they look over their shoulders more often than not. Uh, Craigie realizes he's being caught. He's got the inside through around the second part of Billy's. Does he have the race lead? He's still side by side. No, I think Kenzo realized, uh oh, you know, while it was what while it was two at the front, oh, he was happy to chase. Battenberg flags out. Right, so yellow. We're under full course yellow conditions. Uh, even Morrison, Bella Fairclough, I think, have had it coming together. And there's a cart off at the high the hand hairpin. Uh, ah, yellow flag and uh, Kenzo Craigie has the lead. Let's have a little look. Uh, they're slowing down. Yeah, they're all yeah, signaling yeah, yeah, each other yeah, to slow down. Uh, yeah, so now we are under a full course caution around Billy's. Uh, Eva Morris and Bella Fair, the two young ladies in the field, have uh, collided and come off the track somewhere. I think we saw that down at the Han hairpin. Yeah. Uh, uh, they're both zip drivers. Uh, it was here that we saw a car just in the barriers. So. Uh, looking there, we can see one cart being pulled, uh, pushed away now. They all slow down. So a reset with 10 minutes to go. Uh, Craigie, Clark, Friend, Barham, then Kai Clark, Endicott, Ballock, Shenton, Lines and Wolf at your top 10. Charlie Warren in 11th, followed by Ellis Bell, Oliver Spencer, Ethan Griffiths, Oliver Miefsky, Oliver Warner, Josh Griffin... Uh, Mason Brooks, Charles Kitely, Harry Taylor, Jacob Bashler, Albie Lapper, Hayden Gray and Rio Lacard. And so sadly, both young ladies in the race who started in the top 12 out of the race, but hopefully they're OK and will be going racing again very soon. There's Han here. Now into the horseshoe. Still the Battenberg flags. 24 carts will restart nose to tail. And it's Zip Factory team leading Synergy Racing Developments, leading SFR Motorsport, then a quartet of Synergy carts. That is going to make Kenzo Craigie and Albert Friend very nervous indeed all those synergy carts together Mike Spencer will be uh, sitting there thinking white right, boys work together work together work together obviously championship points now have changed slightly at the end of the pre-final Jarrett Clark leading the point standing 706 points from Albert Friends 684 Four. Mm -hmm. And Kenzo Craigie, who is currently there in P2, and has uh, uh, actually, no, he's showing that he's leading. He is leading. He's leading, but in, uh, yeah, I've got one timing screen that says Kenzo Craigie leads, and another and, and that says Jarrett Clark leads. Was he leading on the full force yellow came out? I don't know. Can't call. So, we're. Going green now? No. No. Not yet. Another lap under full course caution. This is a long caution for these drivers. So. Which means the last eight minutes are, are going be to be, or seven and three quarter minutes, it'll be about six and three quarter minutes by the time they get going. Mm. Um, and I can't quite see. So we've got one cart that has been moved outside. Right. There's still talking. Ah, okay. So. The two carts are off together. Just be up behind the carts now, to the left of the camera position here. Uh, both drivers are up and talking to the medics. And I think what they're doing, one of them 
one of the drivers sat on the tyres. They don't want to move the driver, but now both drivers, both Bella and Eva Morris, are walking away. So that's good to see. And hopefully, this, if not this time, maybe next lap will be good to go. We come around top bend. Let's see. Not this time. So maybe one more lap under caution. And hopefully we'll get the Honda Cadet final back underway. But of course, you have to remember safety is yeah, yeah, uh, of course. This is this yeah, is going to change the, this is going to change yeah. the tactics this of uh, everything. So I mean, Kenzo Craigie, eighth at PF and seventh at Lark Hall. That's his results, his best results so far this year. Endicott has got a second at Lark Hall. Noah Barham at third at Warden Law. Um, Luca Balak, who is there in seventh place, his, he's got one top ten this year. That's at Lark Hall. But he is a winner um, uh, back in his Bambino days. Now, I'm looking there, is the track clear? We're going to have six minutes plus a lap. And this will change the tactics of all these carts. So, you know, we haven't got that period where the drivers can work together. Mm. It's going to be an all-out bun fight as Kenzo Craigie leads them to the restart. It's Craigie, Jarrett Clark, Friend, Barham, Kai Clark, Endicott, Bollock and Shenton. Into turn number one, Craigie having to defend. Albert Friend gets muscled a little bit wide. Wheel to wheel contact, Friend over the grass. Yeah, he's, he's not even in shot there. I don't know where he went. So he's still on the track somewhere, but yeah, he's dropped right down the order. So. And now Kenzo Craigie is all on his lonesome against the horde of those very, very striking liveried synergy racing developments carts now i haven't seen where friend now maybe did he clip a chain off when he came back on there we're watching he can't see him on our screens so kenzo you are the entree on the synergy racing developments menu you've got a bit of a gap over jarrett clark and in turn clark has got a bit of a gap over the rest of his teammates jarrett clark will want will try and work with kenzo uh, to push away because again Clark is looking for a championship as is Kenzo as is uh, the rest of the field obviously there is Finley Lines the number 94 cart getting uh, muscled out of the way at the horseshoe but uh, well so it was dad Paul earlier and said they love having the GP plate but he goes my word it does make a target on yeah, our backs yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well does. Everybody is looking at that GP plate. It's a target because it's the cart in front. Yes, it is. Remember the, remember the adverts? The car in front is a Toyota. No, nope. the cart in front is a Zip. There we go. <laughs> Keep an eye on that gap then between second and third, whether or not that is closing up. You've got Jarrett Clark and Kai Clark. Uh, so the two Clarks there, but one with an E, one without an E. Ah, yes, yes. There we go. Let's uh, see there. And they, 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 there's one of the paramedics. They're just walking yeah, Bella Faircliff and, and yeah. Eva Morris back to the pits, just again. And Rocco Shenton, who's ah. now on a Synergy, so it's a, his first round on a Synergy car. Yes, yeah. He's still a privateer driver, mm -hmm. but there he goes, just, just forcing, saying, push me, push me. Yes, but no, well, he's, crucially, he's managed to get past, so he's just got past Kai Clark on that last lap. Yeah, yeah I love that, yeah. I'm going to overtake you now, you push me. Yes, there we go, that's uh, how it works. Craigie still leads by about two cart lengths from Jarrett Clark. I say he's opened up the gap now, hasn't he? Uh, yeah, 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 Clark can't quite get back within lunge range. There's a move. The number 42 of Oliver Spencer goes past Charlie Warren for ninth place. Three and a quarter minutes to go. So not much time left in this one. And it's uh, calmed down a little bit there as Kai Clark still also more, said, yeah. I mean... The last time, I, you know, the last time when someone was shouting, push, push that hard, it was in a maternity unit. Oh, dear. Uh, but like I say, but now we're in a bit of a tricky situation here because Jarrett Clark, he's not right on the back of no. Kenzo and, Craigie. And, and he's tried to get there, and but he hasn't got any help from behind. No, exactly. But when those two behind do arrive, Shenton, not synergy teammates. No, but on a synergy, I mean, Rocco, Rocco, the E-plate holder, I mean, he's just, he, he'll work with whoever. Yeah. You know, he, he'll work with whoever that helps get him to the front. But does Jarrett Clark fall back and give Kenzo Craigie an even bigger gap just to get the extra help? I think, though, Shenton, Kai Clark and Endicott are going to catch Jarrett Clark regardless. And then it'll be four against one at the front. 
Yes, it will be. Let's see what happens then as they go through. And it looks like already, yes, they yeah. have caught to the back as Endicott fastest Endicott lap. at the back of that train has got yeah. the fast lap. He is the shovel and he is just scooping the rest along. <laughs> he really is as they go through now. Look at that very distinctive gap now. One leading the way in the form of Kenzo Craigie. Then you've got the group of four, Clark, Shenton, Clark and Endicott. Then you've got Balak, Barham, Wolfit all behind as well. They're starting to all concertina up once again as they go through. Shenton oh, down the inside and that's going to give Craigie the opportunity oh, he needs to Endicott. break away. And Endicott now takes the uh, second Brilliant. place. Brilliant move there, Max Endicott there. Took a wide entrance into that corner. And then just as Shenton's momentum took yeah. him wide, he was able to dive up the inside. Two for one, special offer. Yeah, no dramas there whatsoever. But like we say, as they come through, minute and a half to go, plenty of time left in this race. Oh. Now they're going to have to work together. Right. They're going to have to work together. Mark this. With one minute, when they cross the line, look at the clock. So, they cross the line now. One minute plus a lap to go. Kenzo Craigie's lead is 0.56 of a second. Can he hold on? Can he stay in front? Or will the irresistible force of the two, four, five carts following him, chasing him down, will that Gap decrease, it's coming down it by a hundred, already. it's coming down by a hundred. This is nail biting stuff. 30 seconds plus change and a lap to go. Rocco Shenton in third place. It's gonna be Max Endicott catching Kenzo Craigie all on his own. Shenton, Kai Clark, Kai Clark Jarrett Clark and Luca Balak are next in line. 20 seconds ago, and it's now game on. Six for the win. Craigie leads, and all the synergy carts are chasing him. Well, crucially, you just saw there Craigie. Oh, he's stuck he's, to the normal racing line. He can't now. He's got to defend now. Yeah. The clock strikes zero. He's going to be checking over his shoulder, coming out of every corner. This is going to be special this next 45 seconds. Here we go then across the line. Final lap board comes out for Honda Cadet. Race 21 of event nine of the Viratools British Car Championships. And again, everyone's going through, everyone looking for that gap, but they can't find it. Craigie still leads. Endicott is now switching to the oh. outside. Watch for the cut back here. Is he going to dive to the inside? No, he stays there behind. This is so, so close. Good driving from Max Endicott there. He could have shoveled Craigie wide, but he didn't. Very good driving there. So, two corners to go. One corner to go. 11 years ago today, we lost Martin Hines. Today, on the anniversary of his passing, Kenzo Craigie puts the zip name back on top of the British Championship for the first time. And Earl and Tuesday Hines and Luke Hines are here. And somewhere, somewhere up above, Mr. Karting is smiling on Clay Pigeon Raceway. Kenzo Craigie breaks the duck. Zip, break their duck. What a final, what a last lap. And Anthony Jordan will go and interview the winners. And there will be an outpouring of emotion, the likes of which we have not seen in some times, I am sure, this morning. Luke and Tuesday Hines and Earl took every zip driver out onto the circuit, including Caden McQueen, who was the last driver that Martin Hines personally signed to Zipcart. He took them out to lay uh, some flowers and have a moment of respect. And it was on August Bank Holiday Sunday, 11 years ago, the same day the Belgian Grand Prix was being held, that the news broke that Martin Hines has packed up, passed away. It's August Bank Holiday Sunday. The Belgian Grand Prix is taking place later today and Zip have won, and the stars align, and Craigie is your winner. Quick look back at the rest of the results. Endicott second, Rocco Shenton, 
Believe it or not, that is Rocco's first top 10 finish of the season. Fantastic result for the privateer driver. Kai Clark in fourth, Luca Barlett sixth, Noah Barham seventh, Wolfit is eighth, Ethan Griffith, Wolfit is seventh, Ethan Griffiths is eighth. Uh, the Welshman, Jarrett Clark, championship leader, but only by 12 points now from Kenzo Craigie. He finishes ninth the first time he's missed the podium this year. And Finley Lines rounds out the top 10. Do you believe in fate? I don't know, but fate smiled today here at Clay Pigeon. And Kenzo Craigie, his first, first British Championship win. And the team that launched, the, 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 the team, the company that launched the careers of so many young drivers, including, of course, Lewis Hamilton, after several years of the doldrums, are now back. And, uh, See the work that the Earl and Tuesday and Luke have put in. And of course, you know, hello to their mum Tina watching at home as well. Fantastic. And this is nothing against, you know, other chassis manufacturers, but karting, especially cadet karting. The having the zip name at the forefront of car, cadet karting in the UK is so important. It is so important that that company that chassis, that name is is doing what he does ever. And I can just see, you could see there, you could just see Anthony in the white shirt there, but Earl has just literally picked Kenzo up and, uh, you know, given him a, <laughs> a bear hug. Um, so we'll get Kenzo, get his breath back uh, very shortly. But uh, you could just see that there behind the Vera tools branding as we're looking at there on the static camera um, we're gonna wait and speak and like I said Anthony is there to get the immediate reaction of uh, of Kenzo Craigie uh, Max Endicott can't speak highly enough about him. Going into Hans Hairpin on the last lap with Kenzo defending, Endicott could have just very, very subtly put the nose cone to the rear bumper of Kenzo's cart and eased him wide, but he didn't. And that shows tremendous. That shows the amount of respect that these young drivers have got for each other. And Max Endicott moves into fourth place in the championships, but. Anthony Jordan is with Kenzo Craigie in the paddock now. Thank you very much, Henry. Yes, here with Kenzo Craigie. Kenzo, congratulations. You've done it for the Zipcart team and on the anniversary as well. You can already see Earl is working on the car just behind us, but congratulations. Well done. Thank you. Yeah, it was a good final. Um, we didn't quite get the start that we wanted, um, but then we followed Jarrett around for, two, for around two laps, and then we went in on him, um, and then there was a Battenberg, so um, all the time had been shortened, so we only had like five minutes to go um, after the Battenberg came out, and then once the green flags came out, um, I got a little bit of a little bit of a gap, but um, then Max and the car um, closed closed us in on the last two laps, so it was a nice way to end it. A very nice way to end it, going away with a race victory, and of course the first win for Zip Cut in the modern era, of course. But uh, congratulations! Who would you like to thank? I'd like to thank my mom, my dad, my sister. Um, Luke, <laughs> Luke. Um, Sorry. And, and John at, um, at Zip. Um, <laughs> His uh, name's R Earl. Yeah. Um, <laughs> RPM race engines. Um, and um, Martin Hyde. Okay. Well, brilliant. Kenzo Gregg, congratulations on P1. Thank you. Excellent. Oh, fantastic stuff there. We will hear from Max Endicott and Rocco Shanton very shortly. But uh, again, the, 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 the coughing you overheard in the background. <laughs> Max had mentioned just about everybody, but we forgot Earl. Can't forget Earl. 
Um, <laughs> yeah. So he'll just in his own inimitable fashion, making sure that uh, Kenzo. Ah, fair play to Kenzo Craig. They're rem remembering all those people to thank. Um, but uh, yeah, so. Jarrett Clark still leads the championship, only by 12 points. And again, Henry Clark racing, saying well done to Max. Uh, Harry Friel saying good job to Kenzo. Um, a lot of support there. And, and again, everyone comes out to watch the Honda Cadet race because it, they just know it's going to be so entertaining indeed. But the next race will be Micro Max. That'll be coming up shortly. But uh, we're still hoping to hear from uh, Max and from uh, Rocco. So, uh, you just see to the right-hand side of your screen here, uh, that's where the Micromax drivers are sitting and waiting. You can just see the, the couple of crash helmets um, couple of crash helmets there on the, 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 the foreground of your, you know, in the centre of your screen, the centre right of your screen. Um, if that didn't have enough emotion in it for you, ladies and gentlemen, the next race, well, that's for the biggest prize on offer today. That is for the second Micromax Grand Rotax Grand Finals ticket. Uh, one of five drivers will qualify for that. But so uh, we'll get to that in a minute. But uh, so we will endeavour to get an interview uh, recorded. If you can't show it now, we will add it to the edit at the end uh, with Max Endicott and Rocco Shenton. But uh, um, if not before then, let's have a quick word from our sponsor before we get underway with the next race. Well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. There's a bit of... Oh, dear. I've got 
Why is Cross oh, starting dear. to I'll sort you out, dear. Okay. There Meanwhile, are, dear. here's the Micromax starting lineup, led by Jack Price with Jensen Chalk on the outside of row number one. Isaac Barker and Daniel Minto on row two. Minto after a penalty in the pre final. Oh, Sam Mott. Mr. Max, Sam Mott. Mr. Sam Mott. Yes, Mr. Max, Mott. Mr. Mott, Max Gilman, and Lachlan Johnson after his spin yep. retired in the pre final, starting at the back of the grid. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Lachlan Johnson already has a ticket to the grand finals. Yeah. Uh, Jack Price is too old, so he's ineligible for a ticket for the Micromax class. So, it's one of five drivers Jensen Chalk, Daniel Minto, Mr. Sam Mott, Max Gilman, and Isaac Barker to take today's ticket, the biggest event in world karting. It's going to be 15 minutes. Plus one lap. Jensen Chalk for the MLC Motorsport team. Isaac Barker for Dan Holland Racing. Daniel Minto for Hunter Motorsport. Sam Mott for the Zip Factory team. Max Gilman for SFR Motorsport. Jack Price. Canada's Jack Price leads them to the line. Lights are green. We're off and racing down towards turn one. Chalk gets a good start. Oh, Price almost loses it. Sideways there, three wide. And Minto grabs the lead. Good start then, much better start from the entire field this time around. Into Han Hairpin for the first time. No lunges down the inside for Chalk. A couple of lunges down the uh, back end of the section. I think that was Max Gilman trying to come through there. Ooh, Lachlan Johnson somebody. down the inside in the all-white liveried uh, 98. Jack uh, Price right. has had an absolute shocker of the first lap. And we've lost one driver completely. Uh, uh, I'm looking at this Max Gilman. I saw one going into the horseshoe. One driver ran very, very wide and obviously went into a spin. And he's just crossed the start finish line now. So, Minto and Chalk lead. Johnson up into third position. Now, uh, if you Scott, if Scott did it again, if you Scott Minto, no, he's not a chart and athletic, ex chart and athletic footballer. Okay. It, uh, if you're Daniel Minto and Jensen Chalk, what do you do when Lachlan Johnson, who, to be fair, has had the edge in terms of pace this weekend, yeah. what do you do when he comes uh, knock, knock, knocking at your door, somebody's ringing the bell? Okay. <laughs> no, but what if Chalk takes the lead, just let him go. Let him go. Yeah. Let him go. There. They've uh. done it. Perfect. Now they can fight. They're going to try and you know, pull away with him as much as possible as we got Price and Mott and Barker right there with them. So again, we'd be talking about the ticket as a head-to-head -head fight between Chalk and Minto, but not in this race. Mott and Barker are still in with a shout. Yes, very much so. And uh, like you say, taking the lead on this one, very early doors, actually. I'm surprised how quickly... Um, managed to do that did uh well of course Robert he didn't Johnson. do he, 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 of course after that spin on the opening lap the pre-final he pulled in so his tires are fresh oh and there's minto at the inside and now jack price repasses the pair of the minto uh sends it at the inside of chalk they both run a little bit wide and price it now minto goes back in 12 and a half minutes to go in there three wide and i've got to say we haven't we've hardly mentioned sam mott and isaac parker all mm. weekend Come final time, when the tickets are on the line, when all the marbles are in play, and they're there, and they've got to work together, because I think over a longer race distance, they, they might lose out. But Johnson is gone. Johnson is gone, and Price is there in second. But Price uh, is you know, he's there for the win, but not for the ticket. No. And it's three wide. Jensen Chalk bails out the last minute. Uh-oh. And uh, Price runs while he almost, almost collects his teammate there. Uh, Sam Mott, but uh, hangs on. So there's the 53 of Isaac Barker. Ah, and now that, that, you can see the 38 of Sam Mott. That move there, that has finally that has separated the group. So Johnson is already two seconds at the road. So, um, well, well, we'll get it in now, shall we? Scotland's Lachlan Johnson in the number 98 uh, Birrell ART Cream Racing Engines cart for SR, SFR Motorsport leads. I think that's the last we're going to see of him because now the focus... Oh, there's a bar Barker and Mott battling. Now the focus is on this group. Yes. Uh, this is where... Not the race group. This is where the big prize is. The Hunter Motorsport number 28 of Minto. The MLC Motorsport of number 18, Jensen Chalk. Then there's the 53 Dan Holland Racing cart of Barker who gets a warning flag. Uh, and... 
the 71 uh, privateer entered zip cart of price and then the zip factory team entered cart of mott 38 but they're dropping away here we go it is a head-to-head -head battle 11 minutes to go it is minto against chalk head-to-head -head micromax battle who is going to be the next driver to book their place in portimao portugal to represent great britain in the rotax max challenge grand finals for those that are new to karting or aren't familiar with the rotax max challenge grand finals and so how do i how do i get how do i race the grand finals well you have to earn your place you cannot pay to enter you cannot just lodge an entry rotax give out tickets to all the rotax events around the world based on the number of drivers there britain done so well in uh, Britain have done, have done so well in the road tax car, they get a few more tickets, but you still have to earn your ticket. They're not just given out because we like you. You have to earn your place. So therefore, when the 388 drivers from at least 60 different nations gather together, uh, you saw Kenzo Craigie's race suit. That's the Team Great Britain race suit. You don't race for a team. You can't wear your team overalls. You have to wear your national race suit. It, it's an event like no other. And that is the prize that these two young drivers on your screen now, coming through top bend, Daniel Minto and Jensen Chalk are vying for. Chalk can't let... I mean, this is OK for Jensen. You know, he can't let Daniel get too much further, too far further ahead because he loses the slipstream. Mm. And a slipstream around here. I mean, you may feel like, you know, it's such a tr short track that the slipstream it's hasn't really got a good effect. It's the flow. But it's it the is. ebb and yeah, flow yeah, yeah. nature. One corner spits you out directly into the next corner, and you can. It's like riding a. It's like riding a roller coaster at some, at some points. You really do so. Now you can see Ch Chalk, just by following in Minto's wheel tracks, has just ebbed, edged that gap back to about two cart legs. Coming at a top bend. Now He's got a great exit out there. Got a that great time. exit. He lets, lets fix up the little radiant cap there to let the engine breathe a little, following Minto through. So this is going to be a case of, if I, you know, are we going to see much overtaking in the next seven minutes? Possibly not. But is that because uh, Jensen can't overtake? No, that's not correct. It's because Minto won't defend, and Jensen will think, no, no, look, it's, it's going to be a straight fight. Yeah. If we start battling, then, yeah, Price and Barker and Mott could get back, because they're still all together, and they're, yeah. like, nose to tail. They're not side by side. They're trying to push each other along. But Jensen, and neither Jensen nor Daniel, want it to be a three-cart battle or a four-cart battle. As I say that, they've obviously, Henry, what are you talking about? You obviously know nothing, you silly Welshman, as Jensen talk makes the move. Yes, indeed. Puts it back up into P2 now. And uh, whether or not that works well in their favour, are they going to try and break away even more, keep an eye on that gap? Just over four seconds from Jack Price, Isaac Barker, Sam Mott, and Max Gilman, who's a little further down the road as well. But um, just keep a very close eye on that one. Uh, Lachlan Johnson has managed to break away now. Three and a half seconds is the gap. Let's see what the gap is oh. this time around. They're still pulling away from the, uh, the pack from the The, behind, the so. gap between those two drivers is half a fingernail. Yeah. Half fingernail. Half fingernail. And that's a bitten fingernail. Yeah. Because I haven't got any fingernails left after the Honda Cadet race. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but now Chalk gets a good run there. Minto is a little bit tardy going through the S's. So, Jensen Chalk, last year, came, last year, the UK had just one ticket, uh, they had, sorry, two tickets, and they, and that was uh, awarded at Wilton Mill. So the Micromax had one weekend at the British Championship, two tickets, Albert Friend and Kenzo Craigie took them. Jensen Chalk, of all the drivers here today, Jensen Chalk was the only one, I believe, uh, who tried to qualify last year, missed it. He went to Le Mans at the Rotax International Trophy, which gives out a ticket. Missed it, but only by an inch. This year, he came to Warden Law, just missed it. Went to Le Mans again, just missed it. Uh, no driver here has tried to qualify for this one event more than Jensen Chalk. I'm not saying he deserves it more, just saying that Jensen Chalk has tried to qualify and missed out already four or five times. And I think this is the last year he's eligible to qualify in Micromax. Yeah. You know, Daniel Minto, new team, Hunter Motorsport, run by 
uh, reigning senior max champion this year, uh, the reigning senior Rotax British champion Reese Hunter, who has dri now takes over second position. Reese has raced and represented the UK, I believe, on five occasions. And I think 2017, 2018, possibly 2016, calculating, 2018, 2019, 2021, at least four times, possibly five times, Reese has represented the UK. So it knows exactly the stakes, you know, exactly the stakes. And at the top bend, Minto, and again, every time they make a move, Minto's got a couple of cart legs. Let's see Jensen close back up. Also as well, the gap behind closes up as well. So, uh, behind, every time they go for a move. Big hello, big on. hello to Ethan Jeff Horsdan on the live stream, who is out working in Kurdistan, Iraq. Uh, I believe he's the only person in Iraq. Maybe not, but I believe he's the only person in Iraq currently watching the British Championship. But hello, uh, stay safe out there, uh, Mark. You know, and we'll see you back in the paddock very soon. I did, however, notice, and I'm going to mention football, Anthony. Don't oh, mute the button. Yeah. But they're from Preston. And ah. Preston drew nil nil with Cardiff, my Cardiff, uh, yesterday. So yeah. I'm waiting for Deepdale Dreamer, who I believe is uh, a grandparent of Ethan Jeff Hall, to get on the live stream now to comment, because Preston play at Deepdale. Oh, do they? They do. See, I'm a font of I'm a font of knowledge. Here's a battle between Jack Price and some go karts. Yes, go karting. Well, well, it's, it's a go karting program. Well, it's Jack Price and Isaac Barker who are having the scrap. Yes. Not Jack Price in a go-kart. Well, Jack Price in a go-kart. Well, yes. Jack Price and another go-kart. Yes. Okay. With a driver called Isaac Barker. Right. Apologies. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> back, <at the, laughs> back at the front here. But well, I mean, back at second place. Well, Lachlan, yeah, no, Lachlan Johnson. Scotland's uh, Lachlan Johnson he's, he's leads by four seconds. Yeah, he's, but he's this gone. is the battle. Yeah. And this is, this, is, this is the battle. The ticket. I can see the ticket. It's the back of the Jag engineering van here in the paddock. I can see it with my own eyes out the commentary box window. Gary Shield and Tina Shield have got their marker pen out. Mm. Whose name is going to be inscribed on it? Now, uh, you talk about the go-karting. I'm going to see if I can find where's the Mintos and where's Mike Chalk out there in the paddock. I can see them because they will be, you know, karting is a stressful thing. This, yeah. this is, this is, this is stress. You know when you said. Uh, uh, you just take over talking while I have a look. And, and then I carried on talking. Yeah, on I, I realised that. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, Sharing's coming. Oh, hello. Back down the inside. Looked it. Speaking, it. speaking of Sharon's caring, my wife's been on, Anthony, uh, and asking, are you wearing your Bahamas hat that she bought me that I gave to you? Yes. <laughs> There's a present. Funny that I did wear it in the paddock last night. So yes. uh, there we go. Not during the paddock show, though. No, 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 no. Uh, <laughs> Professional, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Right. Jensen Chalk and Daniel Minto. Uh, Minto just following. Smart driving now from Daniel Minto. He's just eyeing, he's just looking at where Chalk's chassis is different. So Minto is on a Lando Norris cart, Chalk on a Mad Croc cart. And there's the move. And the crossover, like ballet at 50 miles an hour. Yes. It is. It's very, very, very good. That's, that's Kenneth Potter's arms there, mm. uh, just on the uh, the middle gantry there. No, it's good stuff between these uh, two drivers. I mean, Jensen Chalk. You know, he 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 has been drawing his racing lines all the way around there. Not in Chalk, but he's oh, been, yeah. uh, been doing that. And uh, I have to say, um, uh, Daniel Minto, fresh of breath there. Oh, hey, uh, <laughs> Daniel Mento, Mentos. Oh, no, I, 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 I got it. I got it, Anthony. I got yeah. it. I, I'm, I'm fully with you on that one. That's excellent punditry. Yes. Here we go again. Ah, <laughs> now, Jensen Chalk. He jinked to the inside as if to feign a defensive manoeuvre, um, but then went back to the racing line. So we're getting down to it now. Two minutes to go. Two minutes to go. Uh, again, the engines. They're both like obviously Micromax engines. Uh, for Motorsport are the tuners for Jensen Chalk. Ogden Motorsport, the tuners for Daniel Minto. Two different chassis, two different teams. Outwardly, everything looks, everything is similar. Inwardly, a lot of difference, but they are both equal at the moment. The lap times, Jensen's best lap at 39.85, Minto's best lap at 39.98. Daniel Minto, though, in the closing stages of the pre-final, was very, very aggressive. He got a penalty for it. So he's obviously going to learn from that, but Jensen must be aware that Minto is not afraid 
to make a late lunge, especially into Hans Hairpin, which oh, we already saw yes. him. He was, he was very busy going into that corner in the closing stage of the pre-final. Well, a lot of people say it's tricky to overtake here, but we've seen lots of overtakes at Billy's Blind. We've seen lots of overtakes at the Hans Hairpin. I mean, uh, we've seen lots of overtakes at the Horseshoe as well. It, it's, it's tricky to overtake in the senior, in the, in the yeah, senior yeah, yeah. classes, but I mean... They can know. still do it. Oh, though. they can still do it. Very and, much and still do it. Now it's apparently... But you can see... Ah, now there's the move up the inside, no. but no. But you can see Jensen, as he, as he comes out of bed, he's blind. He moves across as he looks mm. to defend, then comes back to take the racing line. Mm. And that's just enough time to sort of give Daniel Minto a second thought about making the move. 30 seconds to go. One mistake from either of these drivers now ends it. It's got to be inch perfect from here on in. It will have to be because the timer is very, very fast. He's running out. 20 seconds left on the board. And Lachlan Johnson has just crossed the line now, so he's uh, starting his penultimate lap. Yep. Now we're starting to see two different racing lines starting to form between Chalk and Minto. And again, Minto just holding the title line, then cutting back to the inside, but not close enough this time. There's quite a sizable gap between these two now. Yep, the clock strike zero. Daniel Minto has the looks of a driver that is planning a lunge mm. going into the second part of Billy's yeah. on the start of the last lap. Yeah. And, you know, that, that I think he's sort of planning it he's been planning it in chalk's peripheral vision and it, but he's already done several moves like that but yep. chalk has instantly fought back straight away so lachlan johnson starts his final lap here we go 800 more meters to decide who takes the next ticket for the grand finals chalk defends into billy's but minto's gonna get a good run he's gonna get a really good run it's side by side through the s's oh chalk across the grass Minto sized it up perfectly. Daniel Minto has it. Minto into hands hairpin. Jensen Chalk is too far back. And it slips from within his grasp yet again. What a move from Daniel Minto. He sized it up perfectly. Lachlan Johnson will take the victory. There he goes. And Daniel Minto and the Hunter Motorsport team finish second and take the ticket to Portimao. Jensen Chalk misses out agonizingly just again. He's going to have one more shot at it at Wilton Mill at the end of this year. Jack Price will finish fourth. Fifth will be Isaac Barker. Sam Mott will take sixth and Max Gilman in seventh. But it all boiled down to Chalk defended into Billy's because that is where Minto feigned a move. He feigned it time after time after again. So Chalk defended. And that was the one lap where Minto took a wide entrance in and it gave him all the men so he was able to get up the inside. They tried to go side by side through the S's and Chalk just ran out of track. Minto sized it up, I've got to say. That was, uh, you know, a very, very, very smart, mature and well-executed piece of driving from Daniel Minto. And he finishes second, but takes the ticket. Well, Reese Hunter has been to the Grand Finals so many times as a driver. Now he's going to go to the Grand Finals as an owner and a mechanic in his first year as a team boss. And I uh, have to say... Well done to Daniel Minto. Lachlan Johnson, again, we can't forget Lachlan Johnson. Um, he's already got his ticket, and, you know, he was just here and just getting it there. You know, he's, he's, he's just here getting more experience, more lap time uh, with the engine ahead of Portimao. And that is the second of our five finals today in the books it'll be mini max up next so uh well mark jeff hall has got another race to go from kurt watching in kurdistan hope you put 50p in the meter because you are going to have uh, a nail biting wait for ethan's final and uh Anthony Jordan will be out in the paddock. Um, we hope to get all these uh, 
we hope to get um, as many interviews as possible. But of course, if uh, for whatever reason um, we can't bring you the interviews here, then we will do it on the podium later on. So every driver that finishes the podium will get their opportunity to say their thank yous and talk about their finals. But uh, and again, we wanted to say it, 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 um, what whilst we whilst we've got that uh, that shot there at the finish line, a big thank you to Vera Tools for their support this is i believe the third year of the vera tools uh involvement for the second second or third year of the vera tools involvement um in the championship they've been uh, you know hugely successful and have been you know very very uh you know uh, generous with their prize package the driver of the day i think it's a two and a half thousand pound uh toolkit uh for each driver of the day but uh, Anthony Jordan, I believe, is with uh, some Micromax drivers in the pits now. Thank you very much, Henry. Yes, here with Lachlan Johnson. Lachlan, congratulations. Well done. Another race victory in the Micromax class here at Clay Pigeon. Uh, nice feeling as the sun comes out for us. Yeah, it was a nice feeling to win it again. <laughs> yeah, uh, but this, this time you don't get the ticket, though. Yeah. <laughs> You've already got one. You don't need two. Yeah, I don't need to. <laughs> but uh, no, fabulous weekend. Clay Pigeon, always a great circuit to race on. But uh, that pre-final looked like a challenge, but you came through on that one, got the lead early on and just kind of drove away. Yeah, I did. Uh, there was something wrong with the carb in the pre-final, so I, had, I came into the pits. Yeah, so a uh, bit of an issue with that one. But uh, like you say, came through on the, uh, the final, taking the race win. Anyone you'd like to thank? Yeah, I'd like to thank Stuart, Nathan and my family and cream engines. Oh, brilliant stuff. Well, Lachlan Johnson, congratulations. Well done, P1. Thank you. Excellent. Let's chat to second place, Mr Minto. Well, Daniel, uh, what a race that was. You were battling uh, furiously with uh, Jensen Schott all the way throughout that one, but just on that last lap, you were eyeing up the move. You managed to get it done. And uh, let's just talk about it. Are you excited uh, about the ticket? Yeah, I'm really excited because um, I've been one and one. I mean, Thanks. talk... And it's my first time in British. Yeah, it is uh, first time here. But like you say, the ticket to uh, Portimao is going to be uh, going to be a nice one. Are you looking forward to the event? Yeah, really. Who would you like to thank? Uh, my dad, Hunter Morse, and everyone that's helped us. No, and Br Jacob from uh, Canakin. There you go. Quickly get that one in. Well done. But uh, congratulations. Well done. P2 for uh, Daniel Minto. Let's uh, bring uh, Jensen Chalk in. Jensen. Mate, again, well done. P3 on that one. A tough race out there. It was looking like it was going to be. But talk us through. There is still that chance at Wilton Mill to get that ticket, and that's the one that we want to look forward to. But talk us through that race. Yeah, just last lap defended too much and tried to avoid contacts. So it went over the grass. Couldn't really do any more. Yeah, I mean, it was good to avoid the uh, the contact. Of course, the cart's OK. It's come back in one piece, which is the main thing. And so have yourself. So it's always remember on that one. But like we say, so close for that ticket. But we've got Wilton Mill coming up in a few weeks' time. Are you looking forward to that one? It'll be another opportunity. Yeah, uh, looking forward to it. I think we have great chance of winning it. Yeah, uh, definitely so. We'll, uh, we'd love to see you out there in Portimao for the grand finals. But uh, anyone you'd like to thank for this weekend? Um, MLC, my dad... Jordan for the engines and my granny and granddad for coming to this race. Oh, brilliant stuff. Well, Jensen, congratulations, P3. Thank you. Excellent stuff there from our three drivers from Micro Max. More races coming up. Henry, we'll head back to you. Thank you, Anthony. Uh, and again, lots of emotion there, obviously, for Daniel and the other side of the emotion from Jensen. But there's one ticket left to give out this year. That's at Wilton Mill. That's going to be coming up in a few weeks. But before then, Let's have another quick word from our sponsors.
I'm here with Coles Racing's Hugh Moulton. Hugh, first year in the British Championships, your top rookie as well in the series. How are you finding it? Uh, it's a really good series. I really enjoy it and I think this could be one of our strongest rounds because it's our local track. So yeah, looking forward to it. So Clay Pigeon, a lot of people out there, they're not a fan of the Clay Pigeon circuit because it is quite short. What do you like about it so much? Uh, I, I just have so much experience around here and I really enjoy it because it's quite fast and flowing. So yeah, and it's quite fun to drive. Now you're with the Coles team, a team with lots of experience and you're running so, so well with them. They've got, I think, nine final wins, this team. So how are we feeling? Is it feel, are you feeling like this weekend's going to be the weekend? Yeah, hopefully. I think it's probably one of our best chances for winning. So yeah, I think so. We could win but yeah. what what would it feel to win of course because a lot of people they think oh it's just karting but this is the british champs you know to win a, a first british champs round that's got to be a nice feeling hasn't it yeah it would be cool in my first season to win it would mean quite a lot and i'll i hope i hopefully one day i can win well i mean you've uh, we're saturday right now you've got your practice sessions coming up i think in a bit um, and again lots of experience around the circuit but what advice would you give to any other drivers out there who are maybe struggling with this circuit uh, you just need to take each corner as it comes and just drive it as hard as possible and it's just the lap time should eventually come. Because, it's it, like you say, it's such a short lap. What are your lap times? Are roughly around 35 seconds? Yeah, yeah a, uh, mid-35 probably will be the race pace tomorrow, so yeah. yeah. Yeah, so a very, very short lap. And like you say, how would this circuit really compare to any of the bigger tracks that we go to, let's say PFI? Yeah, because uh, it's such a short circuit, the lap times are really close, especially in qualifying. And like the, it's so small differences. So one little mistake costs you a lot in qualifying. And it, it, as PF, it's quite a long circuit. So one mistake doesn't cost you as much as here. Now, like you say, top rookie this year, it's because it's your first season. Next year, what's the plan? What's the story? Uh, I think we're going to move up to juniors next year yeah. and probably do this series again because it's quite enjoyable. But it's a lot harder in juniors, yeah. so looking forward to it. Juniors is a challenge. Sticking with the Coles team though? Yeah, yeah. Excellent, enjoying it. And of course, everyone's working well. The Coles team, if you look down, big team, lots of carts here. So yeah, a fabulous team to be involved with. But uh, Hugh, best of luck this weekend, mate. We'll be keeping a, uh, a very close eye on you. Thank you. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Next race up is Minimax, and it's your championship leader. But only four points, Scott Marsh on pole position. The driver chasing him in the point standings. Noel Wolf starts alongside him on row number one. Belgium, Sebastian Mins and Joshua Graham on row two. Harrison Whitcomb and Daniel Amore will go from row three. Thomas Winspearing and William Murphy, the two teammates, starting on row four. Joshua Turman, Hugh Moulton for Coles Racing on row five. Brandon Truman and Thomas Ingram Hill on row number six. Ollie Wise and Devon Nolan, they're going to start from row seven. Joe Anderson and Noah Pikes, they'll go from row eight. Harry Bartle and Finn Leslie go from row nine. Ruben Dan and Michael Walker on row ten. William Murta and Kai Veach will go from row 11. Joshua Smith and Ryan Gill round out your row 12. 13th and final row of the grid, Aras Mijewskis and David Vishko, uh, who failed to finish the pre-final. 26 drivers. Uh, a quick recap. In 2019, Jez Williams won both of these races for the Vision Racing team. In 2020, it was Harry Linden for Dan Holland Racing. And last year, it was Ethan Jeff Hall for Strawberry Racing that won at this round. So far this season, Scott Marsh was victorious at PFI and Lark Hall. No Wolf won last time out at Warden Law. Who's going to take it this time? It's a... We'll start. We'll find out after this next warm-up. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, uh, quick recap. Well, Marsh. Uh, first at PFI, first at Lark Hall, sixth at Warden Law. Noah Wolf, third at PFI, second at Lark Hall, first at Warden Law. Sebastian Mins in the number 77 cart, very consistent. Uh, second at PFI, fourth at Lark Hall, fifth at Warden Law. And the fourth place starter, Joshua Graham, seventh at PFI, third at Lark Hall, seventh at Warden Law. Uh, Harrison Whitcomb, he took his first top ten finish at Warden with a third place effort. Uh, Daniel, that's some more, eh? Yet to register a top ten finish, but he has driven superbly, starts this race as the leading privateer on a chassis that is, I think, three or four years old uh, on the outside of row number three. Here we go, then. 
Here we go into the tram lines. Green flags out this time around. Good start then from the front row and great start from Wolf. But Scott Marsh holds oh. off. Then Noah Wolf, the double GP break last year, and comes through. And also that is Sebastian Mins who's gone through into second place on one car off on the. Uh, S's. Who is who was that? 28, Joe, Joe Anderson. Anderson. He's not had a good weekend, no, Joe. No, uh, when you spoke to the Paddock Show, he was like, I'm about, I'm about to get called to the stewards. And once we finished recording, we were walking back and we heard the tan announcement. Good uh, Mini Max driver number 28, Joe Anderson, <laughs> and your uh, signing on person, please come to race stewards. <laughs> ah, ah, yes, <laughs> yeah. uh, well. And that wasn't just to check up on how his day went. No. no, <laughs> no so, Mins into the P2. Marsh leads. Then it Mins. Then it's Wolf and Amore into fourth position. Behind them, it's William Murphy on the second of the Synergy carts. He's moved across from Argenti to Synergy uh, in the number 95. He runs in fifth. Hugh Moulton, we just we spoke to uh, yesterday, is sixth for the Coles Racing Team. Then it is uh, Whittakam, Graham, Spearing, and Devon Nolan. So two privateers in the top ten. Now, in terms of, uh, you know, overall success in Minimax, Coles Racing have still got the most wins. Nine wins. And there's James a move there. for Noah Wolf. Yeah, Wolf down the inside. Oh, and there's Murphy trying to dive the inside of Amore. And Daniel Amore doesn't fight. Okay, yeah. you know, you, you, you obviously want the position because you're coming past there at a place where... We well, shouldn't really come usually past. come yeah, past. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, so uh, it does let him through. So... Uh, and before that overtake as well, you saw a bit of a hand gesture there from uh, Noah Wolf. Not, not anything malicious, just, just kind of like saying, oh, what are we doing? Let's go. How, how are we going to play this one? Yeah. So mm -hmm. uh, we've got that move done. Spearing with the warning flag as well, but across the line. They go. It's still Marsh who leads from Wolf, Mins. And then it's Amore, Moulton, and down the inside there goes Ooh, Moulton. Moulton. And that is Amore. Now Amore yeah. takes the curves of the grass and uh, looks over his shoulder. Yeah. thinks okay. Yeah, loses uh, several places there. Now, overall, in the modern year of the British Championship, Go Fusion Motorsports, mm. who are not here this weekend because they're not, uh, not represented in road tax, they've won 39 finals. Dan Holland Racing have won 37. They're one, two on the list. Mm. Um, a clean sweep in the next three races will uh, sort Dan Holland out. Have they got anyone in seniors? They must do. Um, oh, yeah, they've they, got Kai Hunter. Uh, of course they have. So they could, could technically either tie or move ahead of uh, Fusion Motorsport as the most successful team in the modern year of the British Championship this afternoon, depending on how things go. Long way to go, short time to get there. Mm. Eastbound, just watch your bandit run. That's a smoking the Bandit reference to gentlemen. And there's a move. That is one of the Argenti cards. I think Thomas Minspear... No, that was Josh Graham passing Hugh Moulton. I believe you are correct. Yes, yeah, yeah. So, um... Well, those I am. Oh, those you are. Now, Sebastian Mins. I don't want to say it, but is he struggling a little bit in this final? It feels like the car hasn't come up to full waft yet. Yet, yet, mate. That, could be that, tire pressures. Yep, that, that, that could easily be the answer. Certainly, there is no waft issue. No. With uh, the number seventy-two, I did see someone. Uh, I forget what it was uh, last weekend on the stream saying, "What's waft?" Yes. Uh, waft is oomph. Oomph. Oomph is waft. Waft is power. Waft is how many horses your engine has. Mm. Uh, muchos waft muchos. is muchos waft is very good, and lack of waft. Is very bad. Yes. So it's it, it's a term that carters have developed, like wagon. You know, that's just something that you hear people that, 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 that is a, a carting term. It's not like you know, uh, you know, the Wild West. No. <laughs> the Cowboys and Indians with wagons roll. Yes. Well, you could use that one too. We could use that. We could use that one. Well, but uh, now we'll have a look on the. Uh, so Daniel Amore getting plenty of uh, support. He is down in tenth place at the moment. Devon Nolan is up into eight. The top two, four, six, eight, nine are pretty much together. Marsh, Wolf, Mins, Murphy, Graham, Whittacombe, Moulton, Nolan and Spearing. Hmm. So, ten and a half minutes to go now. Now it's changed for P3. Yep. Um, Murphy's got past. Yeah, Murphy's got past. Um, so, William Murphy, he's got... Uh, a couple of wins. No, he's got a, he's got a second place. A couple of second place finishes. Yeah. Um, he's got one second place finish, and he finished. Uh, but that was the previous season when he was in uh, cadet. Two eighth place finishes this year for Murphy. Um, fifth in the championship. Fifth last weekend at the Rotax Festival, uh, and that was you know 
on the synergy cart and he's moved away uh you start with argenti but Mins, you, you, you could be right there, there, there might be a center mission we've got 10 minutes to go so we've got the length of a heat race uh we've got well the heat races were eight minutes yesterday so we've still got the full length of a heat race to go so i think Mins's cart is going to get stronger and stronger there's the number 54 cart of devon nolan all white chassis on your screen just in front uh, of the number 51 coles cart of Hugh Moulton. All 26 drivers are still running. Uh, down to Ryan Gill in 26. Joe Anderson recovering 25th. David Mishko, uh in 24th. Mikey Walker is 23rd. Kai Veach is 22nd. Um, Joshua Graham, 35-5-0. New fast lap as he closes in on Sebastian Mins. But it's Marsh by three tenths of a second over Wolf. Devon Nolan, of course, who was running well in the pre farm in the early stages. Then uh, spun. Then, uh, the, well, uh, we don't know. Well, it had a territorial well, dispute he, he, he with spun, another driver. He spun, but whether that was uh, whether that was involved at an other go kart mm. race, so we, we we didn't see. We didn't see. But, but the, net, the net result was that Nolan spun. Yes, um, and the driver who is two carts behind Thomas Winspearing. Yes. Um, was and also a driver who went down at the same time on that list. Yes. Yes. I mean. I mean. Could have history. Well, you know, I mean, who, who, who would comment? But we are going to we comment on yes, this yes. because this is the battle for the race lead. And Marsh under pressure from Wolf. Oh, that and, has closed in, hasn't uh, it? Yes, it has indeed. And Wolf is about to have something he hasn't had all year. He's about to have a teammate for company. Oh, Wolf up the inside. Marsh tries the crossover move. And now Marsh finds himself under pressure from the second synergy card. Harrison Whittacombe has done a very, very good job into fourth position. Now, uh, Marsh has got a little bit of work to do because Wolf seems to have just burst away there. He seems to have caught Marsh and pulled away all in the space of about two laps. I, is there something amiss with the number two Dan Holland racing cart? Which come in fourth place? Devon Nolan up into P5. And there goes William Murphy into second place. I, I, I mean... It would be complete conjecture. However, Marsh's cut. I wonder if Marsh's cut is developing a slight issue because it seems to have dropped off quite a lot. Last time around, Wolf a 35-7, Murphy a 35-7, Marsh a 36-3. He dropped six tenths of a second in one lap. And look at that. Murphy is now pulling away. Marsh, and he, ah, there's a telltale sign. Mm. Marsh looking to his left as he crossed the start finish line where to where his mechanic or you know is as if to say there's something not right yeah because that car he was leading the way by quite some margin and it's just slowly uh fallen back so yeah i don't think all is well with that wagon uh tires possibly you know a misfire possibly uh you know something you know i mean but no what Scott has to do, he can't let that potential problem beat him. No. He is still in the slipstream of William Murphy. Oh, yeah, very much so. So he's got to stay in. So, I mean, he's still in the slipstream. But with that move for the lead and with Marsh slipping back to third position, we have a new championship leader. And it's number 45, Synergy's Noah Wolf. I mean, Wolf has got four wins in the British Championship. He's got... Uh, Two, he's, got, he's got three second places and three third places. He's This year, he started the season with a third, then he got a second, then he got a win. That's the first three rounds. This is round number four. Uh, Devon Nolan gesticulating there. He's lost a couple of places. A little bit further back, uh, Mins has dropped to eighth. So again, another driver who's just can't, didn't find the setup for the final. There's Mins going through there. Behind Mins is Finn Leslie, the GP plate holder. Well, he's gained nine places up to ninth position in this race. Then it's Turnbull and Moore, uh, Graham down to 12th. Ruben Dan, Australia's Ruben Dan on his championship debut up to 13th position. Then it's Bartle, Harry Bartle, who, you know, has not been a factor this weekend. And now, here we go. If new Synergy Racing driver, William Murphy overtakes his teammate, established teammate and team leader Noah Wolf. That will give Scott Marsh the championship lead back. There's a conundrum. William doesn't know that, but you know, 
it's, uh, it's something for us to consider. However, Marsh has sort of gathered himself together, five minutes to go, and he's still there in tow. And the driver in fourth place with a deep red crash helmet, that is West Wales's Harrison Whittacombe. It is indeed, very quickly catching up there. Harrison Whittacombe, the best placed Welsh speaker in this race. Yeah. He's a fluent Welsh speaker. Fluent. Fluent. Excellent. Yep. Which means 99% which means of the people can't understand a word he says most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> Just like me. Uh, uh, but uh, then it's Min Spearing in fifth, Moulton in sixth, Nolan seventh, Mins, Leslie, Turnbull, Amor, Graham, Dan, Bartle, Wise, Majewskis, Smith, Murtar, Ingram Hill, Pikes, Anderson, Truman, Walker, Veach and Gill. Oh, David Vishkor has retired. Ah, that's a shame. This race is an over yet, you know. Yeah, no, do you know what? It really isn't. <laughs> no, no, it's not. I mean, Murphy's not going to... You know, he's, he's not he's not going to roll over and just let Noel Wolf take the win. If he spots a chance, he's going to win. Now, what Scott Marsh has done is he's knuckled down and he has really sort of started the, OK, whatever the problem that was with the cart that made him lose so much time, he's picked his pace back up. Mm. Last lap around, 35.4. Whitcomb did a 35.3, a tenth quicker than the race leader. And things are bubbling up nicely. Here comes Murphy on the back member of his teammate. Doesn't go for a move. Do we think he will go for the move? But that's the question. I mean, he's new for the he's new with the team, so there's obviously a changeover late into the season. Well, I mean, William Murphy, though sixth in the championship yeah. on 657 points. Norwolf leads on 739. After today, we've got three rounds to go. So you would think you want to make as many points as possible. Well, you're, yeah, you're, you're still, you know, we're at half distance of the season. We're, we're still in it to win it. Yeah. Everyone's still in it to win it. Marsh, though, is up again because he's going to try and get past two teammates. But he is closing back in. He is closing back in, is Scott Marsh. He is, yeah, very much so. And this is good to see this uh, top four now with a clean breakaway from the rest of the pack. Spearing is leading the next group as well from Moulton Dolan. Mins, who's unfortunately dropped back to about P8 now, which is a big shame. Then you've got another group of Leslie Turnbull, Amor, Graham and Ruben Dan, the Australian driver. But eyes on oh. for the last two and a half minutes on this top four because heads are starting to go yeah. up and down <laughs> yeah, yeah, now yeah. behind the steering wheel. We're really, really starting to push on. I've got to say, die out to uh, uh, Harris Whitcomb, who now makes the move at third place on the podium for the number 66 Argenti driver. I believe that was well done in Welsh, Diane. Mm. And he sets a new fast lap, 35.26. Fastest lap of the race so far. Everyone else that the group lapping in the 35.4 second bracket. First podium for House of and Warden Law? Yes, it was. First career podium. Only career podium in the British Championship. And now we are starting to see Murphy content to sit and push Norwolf away. I'm not going to say that he won't make the move, but it's looking less and less likely at the moment. However, one driver that does not care about any of this uh, no. is Harrison Whitaker. Oh, yeah, Harrison okay. Whitaker is now eight to the point standings. He's nearly 100 points behind Noah Wolf, but uh, Noah Wolf will now leads the championship by two points after Whitaker passed Scott Marsh. Here we go, down the hill into Billy's blind. Still on the live chat. Nobody, nobody has, uh, and I'll do it before the last race. Go on. Because otherwise I'll forget. Yes. Uh, nobody has been able to say who or what Billy's blind is named after. Mm. I'm sure someone will. Keep your I'm guesses sure coming in. Will. Into the horseshoe. It's not, uh, uh, producer James says Billy Jean. Billy Jean is no, not my no, love. No, no singing. Less than a minute to go, then. I am the one. Mute. Microphone. There we go. Oh, that's a lot peaceful. There we go. We'll just mute Henry uh, for the rest of the race, shall we? Uh, 30 seconds plus one out to go. Michael Walker with a warning flag. I'll unmute you, Henry. Uh, but, yeah, again, like we've seen here, we've not seen Murphy really go for the move. They, they have worked together slightly. They have opened up a little bit of a gap. But, like I say, Whittingham is still very much a threat in this race. And so is Scott Marsh. He's not dropped back. You no, know? no, no. If, no, if I mean... that issue had persisted, he would have fallen right back. So issue may have been resolved. He is still there. Uh, so well, I mean, whatever the issue, I mean, the, the issue has not allowed Marsh to attack. No. It's allowed him to hang on. But 
you have to remember, I would say the person who's in most all oh, Joshua Game under investigation, not sure what that's for, but keeping an eye on that. Oh, and Hugh Moulton as well. So, oh, uh, investigation. Here uh, comes Harris and Whittingham. Oh. Ah, now Harris and Whittingham. The clock strikes zero. Has Whittingham left it too late? He's going he's gonna to have a lap and a quarter to close that gap, but Wolf has got the lead. Wolf has got the lead and he's got about 20 cart legs. Marsh trying to get on the podium, trying to salvage something. Yeah, trying his best, but out of top bend for the penultimate time. Last lap board will be out this time around then to Noah Wolf, who leads the way now as they cross the line by six tenths of a second. That gap is going to be a very, very hard one to close down in such a short lap. 800 metres to go. It's, I don't think it's going to be oh, enough. I think Noah Wolf has done just about enough. And Noah Wolf is now just two corners away from what would be his fifth win in the British Championship. And for the first time this season, someone other than Scott Marsh will be your championship leader in Minimax. Wolf takes the chequered flag. Whittakam, a career best effort in second. And William Murphy back on the podium in his first time on the Synergy Race Developments cart. Scott Marsh battled very hard but has to make do with fourth position and Hugh Moulton five seconds behind that battle Hugh Moulton comes home in fifth position Sebastian Mins in sixth so we lost Devon Nolan uh, in that race but he finished 15th but uh, he dropped back so Finn Leslie gets seventh Josh Graham is eighth Josh Turnbull ninth Thomas Spearing tenth Dan Amor take a bow on a track that traditionally he doesn't care for, has gone and he's just missed out on a top 10 position, but that's the oldest cart in the race. And he finishes 11th as the first of two privateers in the top 15. Ruben Dan takes 12th position ahead of Ollie Wise, Harry Bartle, is that Bartle slipping out of championship contention? He's now 70 points off the championship lead. Poor weekend for Harry in 14th place. Devon Nolan finishes 15th. Another good drive for the privateer. Then it is Aris, Aris Majewskis, Josh Smith, Thomas Ingram Hill, and Noah Pikes with William Murtar. Uh, drive of the day uh, last time out at Warden Law, only 20th. Joe Anderson was 21st. And then, well, Un Uncle Vincent and Uncle Tyrone sadly couldn't help Brandon Truman today. He finishes down in 22nd place with Kai Veach, Michael Walker, Ryan Gill. The last finishes. Sadly, Poland's David Vichko failed to finish. Now, as Anthony, uh, let's do, let's play people spotting. So, uh, centre left there in the green and white shirt with the sunglasses on. That's Guy Cunnington's brother. Give us a wave. And uh, Guy Cunnington's mum is there with a the dark glass on the glass. She's got a glass in her hand, standard, uh, chatting away. But Anthony has got our winner, Noah Wolf, with him in the pits. Thank you very much, Henry. Yes, we're here with our race winner, Noah Wolf. Noah, congratulations. Now leading the championship by two points at the end of this race. Well, you look surprised, but yeah, yeah, you are. Oh, wow. <laughs> Didn't expect that. Well, there we go. I mean, it's been a great season so far. You know, you've had a tough championship. You've had Scott as close company. Now you've got two more contenders. You've got a new teammate uh, giving you a helping hand as well. But ah, uh, a great win for that one. Yeah, I have to say a big thanks to my teammate. We worked super hard this weekend and we would have got a one too, but he had some issues. Yeah, but uh, who would you like to thank? Uh, I'd like to thank my sponsors, my team, my mechanic, Sam, and everyone that's helped me. Well, brilliant stuff, Noah Wolf. Congratulations here at Clay Pigeon. Thank you. Let's chat to second place, career best second place. You're getting a, making a bit of a habit of this. Oh, don't bite. Come on over. Right, Harrison Whiskam, well done. Thank you. Excellent. What a race that was. Talk us through it. Well, we had a bad start. We were a bit too far back going on the rolling lap, and then we dropped down to 10th, made our way through. Mins and Josh had a bit of contact, and then we just caught up to the leaders, got through from Scott and Will, and got to second. Well, uh, a brilliant race from yourself. Who would you like to thank? I'd like to thank Danny Sweeney, uh, Argenti Motorsport, Ogden, Stephen for mechanicking, and my family for coming and supporting me. And before you go, for the, the viewers and fans back home in Wales, a few words in Welsh for us, please. 
Diolch yn fawr am dod i gwylio fi ar y teledu. Absolutely no idea. Anyway, thank you very much there. Uh, let's chat to uh, third place then. Uh, right, now, uh, a change of suit. You're in a suit that doesn't say your name on it, but William Murphy, well, well, well done. What a, what a result that was. Now, you were, Noah was saying, bit of an issue uh, out there. Uh, can you talk us through? Just on the last two laps, the car started to die out the corners, and so I lost to Noah and wasn't able to push him, which meant Harrison got by and had to defend, so I could still get third. I mean, it's still very close in the championships, only a few points left in it. We've still got three more full rounds to go, a double header at Wilton. Still plenty of time left in the season. Are we feeling confident still? Yeah, I'm feeling very confident in the new car and having a teammate to help me is really good. Brilliant stuff. Who would you like to thank? Uh, I'd like to thank Sam, uh, Synergy, KR um, Engines and Noah and my dad. Oh, brilliant stuff there, William Murphy. Congratulations, P3. Thank you. Excellent stuff there from our top three in Minimax. And uh, again, of course, more races coming up. I believe Senior Rotax is going to take to the track next. But until then, back to you, Henry. Thank you, Anthony. Uh, yeah, two races to go. Senior Rotax being the first of them. And again, it's always Noah Wolf not realising that he was uh, um, at the new championship leader. I mean, Harrison Whitcomb, I mean, he qualified only 13th fast yesterday. All credit to the Argenti team for... Uh, for um, for throwing everything out of that cart and changing it and Harrison bringing it home in a career best second. Now, we did mention that last race that uh, the Warden Law drive of the day went to a young man, William Murta, who was in that race. Um, didn't have a great day today, but at Warden Law, he absolutely did. And Anthony caught up with him earlier this weekend. I'm here with our Vera Tools driver of the day from Warden Law, <laughs> William Murta. William, congratulations. Well done. Thank you very much. Talk us through that weekend because it looked like it was a, a challenging weekend at Warden. Um, lots to do, but uh, how did it go for you? Yeah, it was a really good race, a uh, really good weekend to be honest. Uh, never been to the track until the weekend before that. I uh, really liked the track. Um, we had good pace all the, the whole weekend and we were there through every heat, every practice session and the, there in the final. Uh, unlucky to not get the podium, but still a good result. It was a fabulous weekend, and like you say, it was, uh, you've not had much experience there, which is, again, another reason why you were nominated by the panel, which then went to the popular vote. And luckily, the popular vote played out in your hands, and you've come away with £2,500 worth of Vera tools and a lovely trophy there and a nice big smile on your face. Who would you like to thank? I'd like to thank my mechanic, Lewis Hall, uh, all of Dan Holland Racing, and my family for all the support. Well, congratulations, William Ertau, Vera tools driver of the day. Thank you. So, ladies and gentlemen, there we are, looking at start-finish straight, which is not exactly straight. But, do you know all the corner names here at Clay Pigeon? Well, turns out, not many of the drivers do either. But Anthony Jordan tried to make some sense out of it yesterday. Another race weekend and another driver challenge. This time around, drivers have got to name me all the corner names around the Clay Pigeon circuit. And for a bonus point, they've got to give me the track length as well. I've got all the corner names. I've got it in my back pocket. But do the drivers know it? Let's go find out. For the ladies and gents, who do we have here? Uh, James Alva. Charlie Wolfert. I'm Reza. Reza. I'm Leo. Matt. OK, driver challenge. You can all work together on this one. I'm going to give you the opportunity. Combine mullets. Can you name all the corner names around Clay Pigeon? And in order. And for a bonus point, can you tell me the track length? Do you accept the challenge? No. Yes, you do. Excellent. You've got 10 seconds to do it. Start. Billy's corner? Yep. That's it. I know none of them. None? Yeah. Wait, what? How, how long what is? The track. The long, the track, what, in? Metres. In metres. The only two I know is Billy's and Hans Hairpin. Hans Hairpin, yeah, OK. The two I know. Well, that's different. Oh, There's three. No chance. <laughs> I don't know any corner. No. Any? None. Literally none. Not even turn one. So, Billy's, yeah. the S's, yeah. the hairpin, horseshoe, buttons, and the last corner, which I've forgotten. So, that's four out of them. I don't know any. Turn one. No, I don't. No. Billy's. Yes. There we go. Billy's. There we go. Right, there's chicane. Um, quick chicane. No. Uh, the first hairpin. Turn one. All right, this is chicane. Yeah. Then a hairpin. Then I know the horseshoe. Right, uh, there's one. Yeah. And then the last corner. And then that's it. I don't know where you. None. None. None? None. Really? Really. Billy's, the chicane, the hairpin, horseshoe, 
Uh, oh, God. Because I don't drive around it. Well, it doesn't matter. You're here, aren't you? Yeah, they know about one corner name, and that's about it. What, what corner's that? I only know what Billy's is. That's well, that, that's, that's a point. That's a point. OK, so you got Billy's. Right, now, what, what about Trackland? Well, it's about 30 seconds, isn't it? 30, 35 seconds. Seven, 700 metres, I'll go. Say... 450. <laughs> 900 metres? No. Very close. I mean, well, even closer. 500 metres. That's, no, sh wait, no, that's, that's short. Cool. I guess. 35 seconds. <laughs> no, 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 in metres. Um, Length. I don't know. I guess. I don't... Uh, Number. 500? 600. Good enough. Eight hundred and seventy-five. Nine hundred meters. Fifteen hundred meters. That's longer than PF, man. <laughs> <laughs> right. Anyway. Four hundred meters. Four hundred meters. That's two. It's eight hundred and fifteen, and it's Billy's blind. The S's. Sturmy straight. Hands hairpin. Horseshoe. Buttons. Top end. Okay. I've, uh, someone said to me the day that they're trying, they were going to extend it. It needs to be a bit longer. Um, this isn't political, this is for fun. I'm just saying, yeah, yeah, okay. I'm just saying this is <laughs> a bit longer than it is. So I can't even remember it. Is that it? Uh, that's it for me, Ruth. Really. Terrible. Back. Well, yes, welcome yes, back, sir. ladies and gentlemen. Uh -huh. Here is Race 24 Senior Rotax. Mm. Full grid of 34 drivers, led by Matthew Higgins and Callum Bradshaw on row number one, Sean Butcher and Archie Walker on row two. Kai Hunter and Guy, uh, Guy Cunnington will go from row three, Lewis Gilbert and Louis Harvey, they'll go from row number four. James Lowther and Sam Gornall on row five. Jamie Perilli and Harry Barlow on row six. Jack Steadman and Magic Camara, they'll go from row seven. Caden McQueen and Massey Hinchley will go from row eight. Row number nine, David Olejna and Ryan Willis. Nicole Sutherland and Alex Moody on row ten. Daniel Armstrong and Lorenzo Cordell will go from row 11. Leon Henderson and Alexander Baker from row 12. Jack Lilly and Declan Russell are up next, followed by James Jackson and Pedro Oliveira from Brazil. Lucas Iviscavichus and Deddy, uh, Teddy Pritchard-Williams, they'll start in the top 30. Will Ellswood and Charlie Rippin will go from row 16. Row 17 is Brandon Klein-Nagelvoort, which means that we're missing somebody. Somebody obviously got excluded from the pre-final and excluded from the whole day. But never mind. Lights are, are not, not out. out. And we can go around again. I won't go through and try and find out who the driver is. But a quick recap of the last couple of years here in Senior Road Tax. In 2019, it was Reese Hunter and Oakley Pryor who took the wins in Senior Road Tax. 2020, his first, his second ever senior win was Kai Hunter. Uh, he beat his brother Reese. And Jack Steadman was on the podium I that day. That. It was second and third for those two. Uh, second and first. Yes, it was. And then in 2021, Oakley Pryor won again. Rory Hudson second and Spencer Shinner third. 
This year, Bradshaw won the opener at PFI. Hunter has won the last two rounds, but just three points separate them in the title fight with Guy Cunnington also in with the shout. Matthew Higgins has got the track position. If he gets round the first couple of corners in first place, he is going to be tough to beat. Lights are out. We're off and racing. No, no we're not, not off and racing. It's another formation start. Callum Bradshaw still driving hurt. Uh, bruised and battered after uh, Cart Masters. And, you know, just sort of easing himself back in. He was, you know, I sort of spoke to him earlier. And, you know, he said, yeah, you know, he's, 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 he's pretty much better. Mm. Uh, but, uh, again, you know, it, it, especially when you're around a guy as funny as me and you've got hurt ribs. Oh, you know. Yeah. Side splitting, I am. How, how did you hurt your ribs? Man, laughing at my jokes. Ah. So it was. Laughed so hard, did himself a mischief. Funny Higgins. enough, my ribs are fine. I've not laughed at any of yours. No, but no, but I save my special jokes for the people. Here we go. Higgins, Bradshaw, Butcher, Walker, Hunter, Cunnington, Gilbert, Harvey. Third time of asking. Now we're off and racing. Bradshaw does get a good start. And the pole man, Matthew Higgins, has been swapped because I think that's Sean Butcher as well. They're all cleanly through. Higgins fights back, though, to get second, coming through the S's. Incredible clean start. But now... Uh, that is Guy Cunnington up at the P2. Well, and Higgins back inside Cunnington. This is great stuff. Yeah, this is a very clean start from the rest of the field. Everyone gets through. And, uh, <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, looking at our camera there. There we go. That's one of the Callum Hardgraves driver development driver. Just, just trying to get a T-shirt. Yeah. Trying to get the team branding yeah, exactly. on the live stream. So, well done. Bradshaw from Higgins, Walker, Cunnington, Hunter, Gilbert, Butcher, Gornall. Lauda and Harvey, the top 10 so far. Everyone getting right. through, and this now starting to heat up here I, for P2. I mean, right, we're at a track where in this class, overtaking has been very difficult. Yes. You give 2020 FIA World Karting Champion Callum Bradshaw, who started his career with the Rob Dodd School of Karting, uh, you know, and raced, would have raced here a lot in his very formative years, you give him in the strawberry racing setup. Oh, there goes uh, Sean Butcher, exit stage left, Ooh. and somebody else uh, exploring the uh, outer James part. Jackson. Yes, that's uh... sorry, Miss Jackson. Mm. Uh... <laughs> I am for real. I, 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 you, <laughs> I, got, you, I, I got that. You one. even <laughs> waited. I, I, I couldn't help myself. But you know, right? This is a real test of Matt Higgins's and Archie Walker's metal because Bradshaw has can now control things from the front. I mean, Callum Bradshaw's a tough cookie to beat oh, yeah. uh, at the best of times. But you put him on a track where it's difficult to overtake on and you give him a 20 car length lead, even though we've got 13 minutes of this race remaining, it, it, it's going to be exceptionally difficult for Higgins. And there's Kai Hunter having to defend from Sam Gornall in the number 27 Coles racing car. And, he, and Gornall has got his teammate James Lowther for company as well. These two drivers, the five of Higgins and 91 of Walker, they have to work together. They, they have, have to, to uh, you know, they can see things ebbing away. Uh, Kennington is fourth. The Diamond of Dal Rai, uh, Lewis Gilbert, is fifth. So Kai Hunter, this could be, I mean, oh, there's a still battling. That was the ultimate R. Car of Matty Hingley getting edged wide there. The first thing, Bradshaw, 34.22 seconds. New fastest lap. There we go. Big movers through the field. Matty Hingley has gone up four places at the start of this race. Teddy Pritchard-Williams, Super Ted, seven places gained up into P23 as well. Brandon Clyde Nanglevoort, he's had a good start from the back of the grid as well. Four places so far, up to P29. I mean, Teddy Pritchard-Williams, he's got to move on because he wants to find out the Villa score. Ah, afterwards. Yeah, that, that's yeah, what he, he says. Like, yeah, you... quicker I get back, or uh, the quicker I get back, then uh, the quicker... Are you checking the football scores now? Uh, I, I, I am. How uh, dare you? Uh, well, no, only only to see what I'm trying to get a, a read on Teddy Pritchard Williams' mental state. Right, okay. You know, Good thinking. public service, public service, is ladies it? and gentlemen. Is it? Is it? Uh, <laughs> but again, Bradshaw's lead. Well, now, now Kai Hunter sets a new fast lap. Lewis Gilbert, the number 29 of Gilbert, up into fourth position now. He passes Guy Cunnington. Oh, they're 
you know, nil at the moment. It's the, it's the game's going on, so he wants to get the race. He wants to get this 15-minute uh, right. race out of the way as quick as possible uh, and, and get back to the radio. Uh, it's big, big Midlands derby, Black Country derby there. Big, big game, big game. Um, back to the racing, back to the go-karting. Yes. Uh, four tenths of a second is the gap. Last time around, Higgins, well, Archie Walker now fastest lap of the race, 34-0-1. And, okay, parity. Bradshaw, last lap, 34-0-3. Higgins, 34-0-6. Walker, 34-0-1. Gilbert, 34-0-3. So everyone doing a sterling job out there. And Walker again with the fastest lap of the race in P3, which is good signs and, for and, closing that gap. Go on, go on. Those four lap times are the same lap. Bradshaw, cream racing engines. Higgins, time racing engines. Walker, KR Sport engines. Gilbert, Potenza racing engines. There we go. Superb. There we go. Four different engine manufacturers. Well, the same engine builders. Engine builders uh, in the top four. So, yellow flags out going into the S's. Uh, now, not sure what that's for. Is there potentially someone stopped maybe at... The hand hairpin. I can't see anyone well, do that. Uh, no, I just think the camera just caught it. On the exit of the hairpin, there is a driver sat in a go kart at the side of the circuit. Ah. Uh, and it was Brandon Klein Nagelvoort. Oh, dear. So Brandon Klein and Charlie Rippin have both gone out of the race. We're down to 31 runners at the moment. Into second half of Billy's. We've got to the end of this race to get your guesses in as to why Billy's Blind is called Billy's Blind. Who or what is it named after? I did lots of trivia questions at Scar Masters over the three days. Yeah. And I think the audience guessed nearly all of them. Mm. Um, but no one's come close to this yet. It's a tricky one. Tis. But uh, there we go. Nine minutes to go then. Uh, that gap between Bradshaw and Higgins, it's, uh, it's, it's it, I'd say it's closing, but it's not closing at a rate. Nope, and Lewis Gilbert, though in fourth place, is now the new fastest driver on ah. circuit, and he's got under the 34-second barrier. 33.99. Wow. That is a quick lap. Out of the horseshoe, there is uh, the number 24 cart of, uh, the zip cart of Caden McQueen. And uh, he is, again, he qualified only 38th, uh, and he's up to 15th at the moment. That's where he started. So we know we said a 33.99 was a quick lap. Yes. That there, that's just popped up on your screen, ah, I think. that there, on our screen there. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that's a 33.98. Yes. That's a quicker lap. That's a quicker lap. And there that's is a move. That uh, Oh, one. there's two Project One carts there trying to battle past... Caden McQueen, that is Jack Stedman in the 62, and what you're talking about, Ryan Willis uh, in the number 42. So, down towards Billy's Blind once again. Now, we're looking at that because um, now the rear bumper of Caden McQueen's got the bumper looked maybe at a slight angle, but it certainly still looks all attached and in place. Yeah, um, and off with that one. No, and, and, and again, okay. one of the Project One cards, they're having a very good day. Ah, a response. A response, yes. <laughs> I take your 33.98. And, I, and I, I raise you <laughs> a 33.90. Take that, sir. All right. That's, uh, <laughs> so that's it's Scottish. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, uh, but the gaps are, I mean, Gilbert, there was two seconds off the lead. Bradshaw leads by a qu three quarters of a second. Here's McQueen again, and again. Yeah, that rear bumper, it looks bowed in a little bit, but certainly all attached and in one piece. Yeah. But at, at, definitely, at, it was at a funny angle. <laughs> <laughs> Tyrone, when things are behind you, they appear at an angle. <laughs> <laughs> you ask, will we see what happens? Uh, right, okay. Bradshaw, Higgins, Walker. No change to front. Callum Bradshaw... Pulling away. There is the number two in the three cart. And here is the battle. Uh, Lauda, Cunnington, Gorn and Hamera. Mm. So Magic Hamera potentially on course for what would be his first top ten of the year. Uh, looking at the, you know, at the moment, Bradshaw in the number 25 cart. Uh, a win at PF International, then two third places. Hard to believe that Callum Bradshaw's only won 
two rounds of the British Championship. For well, the first round of 2020, your very first commentary mm. with me uh, okay. at Rowra, yeah. and he won Senior X30 that day. You were that a horrendous pink belt that weekend. It was a blue belt. Is it blue? And I've still got it. Oh, dear. Yes. I thought I burnt it. No, no, no. Bright blue. <sighs> yes. Um, unfortunately, at the moment, I don't, I, I, I don't need to wear it anymore. I want to get back to a position where I actually need to wear that horrific blue belt. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but there, so there's Lauda on your screens, followed by Cunnington, Gore, and Hamera. Um, we were going through some of the other uh, top tens this year. Uh, well, Bradshaw, yeah, Higgins, oh, it's been a feast or famine. Uh, Matthew Higgins had a retirement at PFI, and I think a retirement at, and a retirement at Warden Law, but he's dubbed, he's, he sandwiched that with a second place finish at Lark Hall. He's seventh in the, in the championship at the moment. He hasn't won a final since 2020 when he won the Junior Rotax title. Mm. So he, he, he has got uh, two uh, wins to his name, uh, four second place finishes and two third place finishes in his uh, British championship career. Five minutes to go. James Lowther, driver number seven, um, a, pair, well, a trio of third places in his career. Uh, oh, and that was the 52, I think, was going slowly at the side of the track. Guy Cunnington, the, the former GP player holder, 2019 British champion. Well, there's Archie Walker. Let's look back. We'll see. Uh, David Aulejna has retired the number 65 strawberry racing cart. Now, Guy Cunnington, who was third in the championship, and he was... Still right in contention, and you are correct, Anthony. Guy Cunnington out of the race, and that is going to put a severe dent in his title ambitions. Here's the battle of the second place, and it is shaping up to be a battle now. Bradshaw is 1.3 seconds up the road, and it's now the five of Higgins, the 91 of Walker, and 29 of Lewis Gilbert fighting over the final two podium positions. Hunter is fifth, Butcher is sixth, and it's Lauda, Hamera, Gornel, and Louis Harvey in the top ten. Jamie Perilli, we spoke earlier, very quietly going about his business and picking up positions. Then it is Hingley, followed by Barlow, Stedman, Willis, Armstrong, McQueen, Teddy Pritchard Williams from 30th to 18th, and Nicole Sutherland still hanging on to, I think, what would be her first top 20 finish of the season. Let's see. What? Go on. You were thinking, we, yeah, we, he had we, a finger we, up as soon as he started talking. Uh, oh, yes, because I've just sussed out who got excluded. Ah. Australia. Close your ears. Oh, no. It was Gabe. Ah. Gabe Belanca made it to the A final and has not come out for the final. He's not appeared at the grid, which means he was excluded. So Well, maybe not. Well, maybe so. Well, it could have been a bit of breakdown. No, he didn't appear on the grid, as in on our grid oh. sheet. So Mr. Rogers, Ian Rogers from motorsport-timing.co.uk, uh, if, if, if Gabe was still in the race meeting, he would have appeared on our grid sheet, and he did not. So uh, sadly, sadly, Mr. Belanca uh, not in it, and you're checking your mobile telephonic device to look at the results to see what was the issue but here's the battle for second place still higgins in the five for dan holland racing walker in the three uh, in the 91 for kr sport and gilbert in the number 29 for potenza racing engines bradshaw has bradshaw just with that great start he won this race at the first corner i said ah gabe Belanca intentionally reattaching the front fairing after the chequered flag disqualified from the meeting. Yeah. Yep. That'll do it. That, that'll do it. Uh, i tell you what else will do it. Uh, Callum Bradshaw looking over his shoulder. Now, one of the funniest moments that I've ever seen. Oh. <laughs> I know exactly Masters where you're going with this. When, when Callum Bradshaw started the senior Rotax final from last of the grid yeah. and caught race leader Kai Hunter as they started the last lap. And as they started the last lap, Kai Hunter looked over his shoulder and Bradshaw just waved at him to say, hello, remember me? If Bradshaw has the presence of mind 
to turn round at the end of this race and wave to everybody behind him, then that would be comedy genius. Yeah. I've got a feeling he's going to be celebrating instead, but, you know, because it's been a te textbook drive Shall I ask for him? Callum Bradshaw. Ask him why didn't he wave? Right. Yes, please. Provided that nothing goes wrong and, and he does win this motor race, then, uh, yeah, you must ask him, why didn't you turn around and wave for everybody like you did at Cartmasters? You know, uh, professional media question at the end of the race. <laughs> <laughs> why didn't you turn around and wave at everyone? No, nothing about, you know, how good was the engine, how good was the chassis, you know, how good was the driving? No. <laughs> Appease your co-commentator's <laughs> childish <laughs> sense of humour. Exactly, I'll do that for you. 45 seconds to go, Anthony. Yeah. And the question is, are we going to see a move for second, third or fourth? Um, I, th I think we are. I think we are going to see it. And I think From it's going to come Lewis Gilbert. Okay. I think it's going to be Lewis Gilbert on Archibald. Only because on the last lap, fastest lap of the race, once again, he's got the momentum. Uh, and because Archie Walker, his first year as a senior, hasn't finished higher than eighth in the British Championship. This is this a, he's in a, he's had a brilliant weekend, has Archie Walker. He's been absolutely fantastic. And I would love to see him get a podium in this one. I really, really would. And uh, he, he could, and it can still definitely happen because he's he's got the waft. And actually, I have to say, he's closing in on Matthew Higgins uh, as well. Yeah, exactly. But I mean, Higgins has been absolutely metronomic. Um, he'll be ruining that start, but again, it could have been worse. He had to go. He had to like dive back past Guy Cunnington, uh, going through the S's on that one to regain second spot. But from then that point on, again, you don't give uh, a world champion Callum Bradshaw, who is now 2.6 seconds up the road. Uh, 2.6 seconds up the road. I mean, uh, even if Callum Bradshaw does wave, it won't make a difference because he can't see the drivers anyway. Mm. So it's a it's a moot point, I have to say. But uh, what a drive. And again, we'll talk about, has this race been the most exciting with lots of overtakes? No. Has that detracted from the driving? No, because this is uh, Bradshaw, inch perfect for now 27 laps. These three drivers on your screen now, likewise, none of them have made a mistake. None of them have put a wheel wrong. Because... Oh, is he having a oh, wave he's, there? He's I think he, I, that, no, that's got, even Chris Walker didn't know. Ah! What happened there? I didn't have final lap up on... Neither did I. No. So, ev ev everyone's, everyone's been ev slightly confuddled. As the, but anyway, the, the go-kart race is over, and Callum Bradshaw has won. Did you see the last lap go out? Or is, is it me being absolutely uh, I uh, did, I didn't. stupid? No, I didn't. Anyway, the go-kart race is over, ladies and gentlemen. The most confus confusing race end to around the British Championship. But anyway, uh, Chris Walker didn't have it there. But uh, yeah, Callum Bradshaw, you give Chris Walker a wave. Matthew Higgins second, Archie Walker in third, Lewis Gilbert fourth, and Kai Hunter in fifth. And with that, Callum Bradshaw is your new championship leader. Further down the order... Uh, Sean Butcher, Maja Kamara, James Lowther, Sam Gornall, Jamie Perilli takes a top 10 spot. And that is what Jamie is getting known for, as it will help move him towards a national ranking for 2023. Then you've got Louis Harvey in 11th, Matty Hingley in 12th, Harry Barlow 13th, Jack Stedman 14th, and Ryan Willis completes the top 15. Daniel Armstrong, Teddy Pritchard-Williams, Will Ellsworth, Caden McQueen, and Nicole Sutherland gets a top 20 finish. Congratulations to Nicole and her mechanic, Jess. And that's a career best result in senior road tax for Nicole with Alex Moody, Alex Baker, James Jackson, Lorenzo Cordal and Leon Henderson, the rest of the top 15, uh, 25 rather. Uh, Declan Russell, Lucas Iveskevichus, Jack Liddy and Pedro Oliveira from Brazil. As you can see the clouds over the clay pigeon circuit. Now, no chance of rain there, unfortunately, is Lewis Malin uh, making his second appearance on the live stream this afternoon. Both appearances have been while he's wheeling his trolley down towards the bottom end of the circuit where his driver, Charlie Rippin, has left his cart. Uh, Guy Cunnington, uh, still third in the championship with 673 points, but now 50 points behind Bradshaw, who leads Kai Hunter by four points with three rounds to go 
And uh, there is a glance that the pack down here in the paddock beginning. You can see the awnings beginning to come down. The, um, you know, the awnings coming down. There's Stephen Letts uh, working away in the KR Sport awning. Uh, former driver, former Kartmasters champion. Uh, just getting his tools away. And we pan out a little bit to see Bottom left there, you can see Ian Rogers, motorsport timing. That's where all the timing comes from here at Clay Pigeon. And there is Ian. And uh, away there. So look at all those wires there. He makes the magic happen no matter what facilities he is given. But Anthony Jordan is with Callum Bradshaw in the pits. Thank you very much, Henry. Yes, here with our race winner, Callum Bradshaw. Callum, well, firstly, what did you have for lunch? Because at Clay Pigeon, such a short lap, and you won that race by over two seconds. Yes, uh, I, I, f I felt comfortable all weekend, to be honest. Um, but I missed the lap in qualifying, which which sort of put me off. And then I had to start fifth on my heats. And around this track, it's, it's, it's impossible to follow, genuinely, is unless you've got a, a significant pace advantage. You, you just can't overtake. Um, so I was coming through my heats. And um, and then, yeah, I was obviously off second in the final. And, and I went across the line and sort of got a good nudge from, from Archer. Got a really good start. And it goes left anyway, which I've fortunate and uh, got the lead and and yeah obviously the clear air makes makes a big difference because i felt really strong in the heats but you just can't get there you yeah. get to that six temps gap and then you go so yeah i got out front and, and yeah showed my speed so yeah just with that clear air and yeah it, you, you had it all in hand so um, i mean clay pigeon it's probably one of the tougher circuits here because it's so kind of technical short lap and everything like that you know we've only got a couple of rounds left in the championship uh, how are we feeling for the rest of the season yeah, you just take it race by race, don't you? Um, we're in a good spot now. We've got good momentum back on our side. And, uh, yeah, we go from here. Um, another question. This is more a question from Henry. PFI, Kart Masters, final. Kai Hunter in front, you waved. Why didn't you turn around and wave to the back of the grid? Because that would have been comedy gold. Well, I wish I'd have thought with that at the moment, I guess. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, no, it was, just, it was a bit of banter. And... Um, and yeah, I guess he didn't expect me because he, he had a look and then looked again. I was like, I'm here. So uh, yeah, I'm back. No, it was brilliant. Who would you like to thank? Just the whole team, Strawberry. Um, the guys have done a tremendous job um, to give me this package. Like you said, to win around this, such a short track by such a, a margin is, is, is impressive. So um, yeah, just everybody at Strawberry, Tony Cart Factory, um, Tillett. Um, yeah, and everybody. No, brilliant stuff. Callum Bradshaw, congratulations. Cheers, thank you. Excellent. Let's chat to second place wherever he has gone. Archie, if I can't, come on, come on over. Wait, you're second? He's Matt's second. Sorry. I tell you what, Matt, you were second. He came third, but he parked in the second place. Anyway, Matt, well done. Cheers. What race that was. I mean, uh, Clay Pigeon, tough old track, but uh, the team's done a fabulous job this weekend, so have yourself, but it's been, has it been a tough one for you? Yeah, of course. I mean, we were mega through the heats, um, obviously being pushed the whole way through, but we tried some of the tyres for the final, it just didn't quite work, so we were struggling from the start. But yeah, head down, two wins in a second on points, so yeah, got to be happy. Yeah, I mean, uh, Clay Pigeon, again, fabulous circuit for you. Um, not, not your local track, but, uh, you know, it's still, is it one up there for you? Yeah, well, nowhere's local for us, but yeah, it's all right. It's a good track. Well, I think, uh, what track would be local for you? I think, where, where is it, Trevor Glois? Yeah, GYG is an hour away, but we never race there, so. What about Landau? That's like four hours away. Really? Yeah. Oh, I don't know where Trevor Glois is, clearly. <laughs> but uh, no, well, brilliant stuff. Who would you like to thank? Uh, just all the team, Time Racing Engines, Dad on the Spanners, all my sponsors, too many to thank, but, uh, and all my family and friends and whatever supporting. So yeah, big thanks to them. Brilliant stuff. Well done, Matthew Higgins. Cheers. Excellent. Now let's chat to third place. Archie, sorry, Archie. There you go. I was just giving you an extra position. That's all. I was, I was, I was geeing you up a little bit. But uh, again, brilliant race that was. Dad's got a nice smile on his face over there. Yeah, it was a, it was a long one. Yeah. Uh, it feels really long around here. Obviously, short lap, but the team did a great job. You know, allowing us to get a podium. You know, maybe should have had a bit more if we had a better free final. It's just hard, hard to overtake when you're behind someone here. Uh, you pretty nailed it on the head there. You're exhausted because it was a long race, but it's a short lap. That's only because there are so many more laps than what you would do at a normal circuit. So that's one of those um, downsides, really, to clay pigeon. But, you know, the sun's been out compared to what we had last year with all the rain. This year, a little bit nicer. Yeah, last year was abysmal, wasn't it? <laughs> it was pretty terrible. Yeah. Oh, I had a terrible weekend, but better, better this time. Redemption, maybe. But, you know, looking forward to the rest of the championship, see what we can do, maybe salvage something out of it. Who would you like to thank? 
uh, just everyone at Chaos Sport, Ash, Louis, Tom, uh, and just my mum and dad for just getting me here every weekend, and dad on the tools. Yeah, there we go. Dad, dad looking very happy there. Look at him, one-handed, carrying an engine there. Look at that, a man's man there, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but Archie Walker, congratulations, P3. Thank you very much. Excellent stuff. One more race to go. It's Junior Otax. Back to you, Henry. Thank you, Anthony. Breaking out his Welsh geographical knowledge there. Um, now, of course, that was the seniors. We've got one race to go, but earlier on this weekend, uh, we caught up with one of the stars of the future, Jarrett Clark. I'm here with Jarrett Clark for the Synergy Racing team in Honda Cadet. Jarrett, welcome to Clay Pigeon. Second season in the uh, championship and second in the point standings, but a development. Uh, your championship competitor, Cole Denham, is not here this weekend, so you've got a chance to take the lead of the championship. Yeah, it's a really good opportunity for me to take, take the lead of a championship. Hopefully I can just keep consistent and get some good points this weekend. That's going to be the main thing. Clay Pigeon is a tricky circuit. It's one of the shortest circuits that we go to. How do we find it? Well, it's very fast and flowy. You need to be very smooth with a wheel. It can um, create some very close fun racing. Yeah. Any circuit really in the UK when it comes to Honda Cadet racing can cause close racing, as we very well know from Warden Law. Um, around this circuit, is that going to be quite a challenge? Uh, yeah, it will be very close, as you've seen in practice, barely anything, separating the top 10 or 15. I mean, again, so this weekend there's plenty more rounds coming up. You've got the double header at uh, Wilton Mill again later in the year. We're really only halfway through the championship, but are we feeling confident that you could take it this year? Yeah, it's always good to have confidence in yourself, and yeah, hopefully we can take the win this year. That'll be the main thing. But uh, the Synergy guys do a great job for you. You're running well with the team. And uh, Warden Law last weekend, you just missed out on being involved in that quite terrible crash that happened in the final. But, uh, you know, in terms of the circuits that we've had this year, what's been the highlight so far? Well, probably uh, after having a very bad heat on Saturday at Warden Law, coming 25th, ending up and coming second in the final. That was probably my highlight of the season. Yeah. So a nice little uh, change there, chopping through the grid. But... Uh, Predictions for this weekend, what do we think we're going to do? I think we have a strong chance. It's, we're, we're quite good here. We won the club round here last weekend, so feeling confident. Nice stuff. And uh, predictions for next year, what are we, what are we doing next year? Uh, we are probably most likely going to do junior. Not entirely sure which one. We have a few teams in mind. Yeah, a nice step up for you. But, uh, well, Derek Clark, best of luck this weekend. We'll keep a very close eye on you, and uh, we wish you all the best. Thank you. So, the final race of the day here at Clay Pigeon. It is Junior Rotax, race 25. The starting lineup led by championship leader Brandon Carr, Pearson Bullock Carter. For Jackson Motorsport on the outside of row number one, Ethan Jeff Hall and Jez Williams on row two. Vinnie Phillips will go from row three with Harry Linden alongside. Neo Clark for the Thule Motorsport team will start on row four with Charlie Hart next to him. Harrison Crowther and Aditya Kulkarni are on row number five with Mikey Porter and Ollie Stevens on row six. Harry Hannum and Reg Hayward will go from row seven. William Atrobus and Daniel Sabula will go from row eight. Row nine, Evie Poulain and Reese Lomax. The top 20 rounded up by Gustav Usakovs and Aaron Fall. Reza Seaworthy and the English champion will go from row 11 with George Donald alongside. Daniel Tribe and Joseph Rippin will start from row 12. Ewan Charman, Stephen Duncan, Leo Purchase and Angus Scrivener are up next. Tommy Harfield and Danny Shields will go from row 15, rounding out the top 30. Jack Cooper and Alex Duncan on row 16. Final row of the grid, Ben Folland and Gabe Fairbrother, neither of whom started the final. Now, two bits of breaking news. Ooh. Harry the Lion Hannum yeah. is going to go forward here, inspired by his dad's 1992 corporate car victory here on this very bit of hallowed ground. Dan Hannum, I've checked. I think he is that that one corporate race win, which he got out of the B final. 
Yeah. And one of the pro carts here in 1992 uh, is in the Hall of Fame here at Clay Pigeon. The second bit of trivia, who or what is Billy's Blind named after? Well, in 1960, when carts were little, little more than tea trays on wheels, tyres were about as narrow as your little finger and made of wood and literally tried to actively hurt you at every corner, mm. the very, very first driver who had the testicular fortitude to go flat out from top bend all the way down to the bottom end of the circuit at turn two was Billy Graham. There you go. So they called it Billy's Blind, because the corner entry is blind, and he was the first driver to do this bit here, this bit here, flat out. And, and you think, why, um, you know, what, what that, I mean, don't forget, back in those days, the speeds may not be quite as high, they were still pretty quick, but again, the tyres, you know, actively trying to injure you <laughs> at every corner because they had zero grip. Yes. Uh, so we've got two rolling up maps here. Uh, so that is what or who Billy's Blind is named after. Now, there are two other famous Billy's, Billy Graham's, superstar Billy Graham, mm -hmm. he was a wrestler back in the 70s, and of course the Reverend Billy Graham, the preacher. But, you know, we're at the church of Clay Pigeons, Billy Graham, who sadly passed away a few years ago. But there we go, one of the earliest pioneers of karting here at Clay Pigeon. Here are the modern day pioneers, and here they come out of top bend, Brandon Carr. Pearson Bullock Carter, Ethan Jeffall and Jez Williams lights are out. We're off and racing down through Billy's Blind into Turn 1. And, oh, there's a lot of jostling there. Drivers running a little bit wide. They somehow all keep it straight. Oh, they're three wide into the chicane. Anyone bailing out over the grass? No. That was a pretty solid start from the entire field there, I have to say, as they go through side by side through the S's for the first time. Always good to see down into the horseshoe for the first time and they all start diving through and again positions left right and center three wide at the back of the grid but everyone through the first lap cleanly will come down across the start finish line and it will be car leading from jeff hall phillips bullock carter then it's williams clark linden hart crowther porter and Kulkarni, the top 11. out of the s's Car leads. Now he hasn't won a final so far this year. He's had three podiums, a sec a third at PFI, a second at Larkor, and a third at Warden Law. But he's desperate to win a race. Now, overtake is possible. The O plate and the de facto European champion. Uh Ethan Jeff Hall is second. There is Gustav Uzakovs who took his first podium finish uh, of his career at uh, Warden Law, and I think that was an exhaust problem. He is out of the race. Vinnie Phillips, second in the championship, won the last round at Warden Law. There's the E plate holder, Reza Seal Withorn, uh, running a little bit wide and losing a place or two. So it's Carr, Jeff Hall, Phillips, Williams, Bullock Carter, Hart, Clark, Linden, Crowther, and Kulkarni, your top ten. Reminder, Adita Kulkarni, excluded from qualifying, had to start each of his two heat races from 31st position. Mm. So he's had a busy old weekend to try and pat, climb back up the uh, ladder. And so far, he's doing a good job of it. Adita currently in P10. Scratch that, make that P9. So gaining another position. So making his way through the order. 13 minutes to go then. And like we're saying, we're starting to see drivers find their position on track now and are just going to work their way at trying to close those gaps. Jez Wiz uh, Williams with the fastest lap of the race, currently in P4. You can just see him there behind Vinnie Phillips. Phillips, who you said, taking his first win at Warden Law the last round as well. Yep, yep, the first one of the season. Season, season, First yeah, one yeah. of the oh, season. Yeah. He, oh, we, we always said Vinnie Phillips' name. Uh, uh, on, two years ago, yep, Vinnie X-30 yep. champion. Vinnie oh, Phillips yep. has got six wins in the British Championship overall. Yep. At the moment, Brandon Carr has padded his points lead to 37 points over Phillips. Charlie Hart is third in the standings as we run, but he is nearly 100 points back. So, again... The title will be between Carr and Phillips, barring, of course, some form of divine intervention. And by the... Uh, oh, oh. And, uh, there's some intervention. Well, uh, well, uh, OK. Hey, hats off. So, we did not see the start of that, but we saw the end of it. And the end of it was Daniel Tribe helping push another driver back into the race. There'd obviously been a collision. Uh, the number 76 car is off the side of the circuit as well of Aaron Fall. Uh, 
but it was George Donald's, the Jack's Motorsport car. So obviously there'd been a collision. Tried felt that he was at fault, so he pushed his, you know, the person back into the race to help him out. Uh, which, again, is as, as sporting as you get. And now he gets back in, uh, will probably, probably just cruise back the pits to retire. Probably. So, Carr has weathered the early storm. Jeff Hall and Phillips with Jez Williams and Bullock Carter are there. Second, third, fourth and fifth. Carr leads by four tenths of a second. Phillips coming under a little bit of pressure from Jez Williams. Now, we talk about lack of overtaking last year. Saturday of last year, before the heavens opened, Jez Williams pulled off one of the single greatest passing manoeuvres I've seen. Passing Dan Ginchard flat out up the inside. Ginchard didn't let him through. Ginchard was coming across. Williams squeezed his car there, here, flat out up the inside, through the centre of Billy's blind, and then made the move stick. It was absolutely breathtaking. So here's one driver that thinks to himself, well, I don't care if it's, e if it's hard to take. If the wagon lets me, I will do it. So Vinnie Phillips cannot rest easy. Jez Williams, who won both the finals here as a Minimax driver in 2019 and has raced at like, Landau International Raceway, Global Home of World Motorsport, birthplace of champions, yeah, yeah. is where Jez Williams started his career. But actually, that's not true. He started at Little Mill Karting in Pontypool. Ah. New Inn in Pontypool. And that's the first time Little Mill Karting has ever been mentioned in a British Championship live stream. But then, when he started proper racing, uh, he went to Landau. But then, like, a lot of the drivers from Landau come to Clay Pigeon mm. as well, because it's not far away. A okay. couple hours. Okay. Um, so Williams does know his way around here in all conditions. There's Charlie Hart, number 10, being hassled by Neo Clark. That's for sixth position. Harry Linden. Uh, I can't call him Harry from Barry anymore. And Harry from Dennis just doesn't doesn't have the same ring to it. Yeah, it doesn't. Harry, Harry from Dennis. Dennis Powis, it is, boy. Mm -hmm. um, but he is there in eighth place. Then it's called Carney, ninth, and Crowther, tenth. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Harry Hannum, sorry, Anthony. Go on. Harry Hannum, only 13th. That's 12 positions worse than his dad could, could do here. Mm. So, nine minutes to Go. Nine minutes to go. Now, uh, we, Jarrett Clark. Yeah. Talking about Jar Jarrett Clark moving up at the juniors. Wasn't sure whether it was going to be X30 or Rotax. However, I know the class structure is changing, yeah. but it, but that's a lot to do with cadets and mini. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, junior will remain the same. Mm. And I have a feeling, I mean, obviously you've got the likes of Brandon Carr, I think Vinnie Phillips, Jez Williams are going to be looking at, but there's going to be so many people moving into juniors. I mean, we've got 47 this year, and there's still a lot of this current grid that are eligible to go to, to stay in juniors. Mm. But, uh, you know, certainly in Rotax is looking extremely healthy, and I think that junior Rotax next year will be even bigger and better. Um, you know, 50 entries this year, I think that th there's the potential to improve on that next year. Uh, and the talent just keeps getting stronger and stronger and stronger. Uh, as Brandon Carr extends his lead to eight tenths of a second. So, uh, Brandon Carr, do you know, Anthony? Probably not. Do you know the last time Brandon Carr won a race in the British Karting Championship? In either class? In any class, in the modern era. In the modern era? In um, the modern era. I, like I, 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 I don't. It was Shennington in May of 2019 oh. as an Army cadet. He won two of the first three rounds that year and hasn't won since. He has compiled no less than eight podium finishes. But he, he won at PFI in April of 2019 and at Shennington in May of 2019 and hasn't won since. Mm. He has done everything but win, including, of course, his fantastic drive at Kartmasters in Junior X30. He finished second in the, G in, in the Junior Rotax Grand Prix. But he he wants, to, if he's going to win a championship, he's trying to emulate Dan Ginchard and win both. But if he wants to win, there's a move from Neil Clark uh, a little bit further back, and that is Neil Clark passing Harry Linden for seventh position. But, you know, Brandon Cut, he's desperate to win a race. Yeah. Got to get over the line and win one of these finals. Um, 
There's a brilliant can't song we can sing. Really? It crosses the line. Oh, go on then. Please yeah. tell me. Well, no, I, 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 don't Le okay, you could I, leave me in suspense. I'll leave you in suspense. Okay, I just, you know. You won't know the song. It's a very modern song. Really? Social media type song. Oh, okay, um, okay, okay. A social media song. A social media song. I, sh I shudder at the mere mention of the word <laughs> song and social media <laughs> in the same sentence. Yeah, I know. Jez Williams, number eight, for KR Sports, chasing down Pearson Bullock Carter. Well, I said about Jez Williams with the potential to move forward. It's been Pearson Bullock Carter, the only driver that's been able to make a move. Pearson up into fourth place. And this, you know, this could be a turning point for the Jacks of Sport team. So, Jacks, uh, so Jack Marshall started his team back in 2020. And I remember there's one, one or two drivers at Lid at the start of 2020. It was a new team, still sort of running out of the strawberry racing awning. And then Jackson, he's obviously branched out on his own. And like every team, you know, it takes time. You've got it. There's going to be weekends where none of your drivers make it out the repercharge. Hmm. Or the ones that do end up, you know, just wrapping it up around the post in the final. And uh, it just, you know, it, it, it goes badly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there's slow improvements. And again, you know, Daniel Sapul has come across. Pearson Bullock, Bullock Carter had come across. So drivers proven, you know, top runners. And slowly and surely those results are building. They got a win yesterday. And, well, I mean, Pearson Bullock Carter is five cart lengths away from a podium. However, even if Pearson can only stay where he is and finishes fourth, that is a springboard the entire team can, like, you know, get behind. And, you know, you're looking down, you've got Sabula in 13th place, but then you've got the likes of Mikey Porter in 20, you know, in 22nd in this race, George Donald down in 20, in, 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 in 33rd, but, but they, they can, that'll be a massive boost to them. Mm. You know, the whole team, hey, we've got a top five. You know, we've got a top five finish. A podium obviously is what they strive for, but it's like, you know, it's the first time the team stay back for the podium presentation, so you can have a team shot on the podium. Yeah. You know, and that is, that this weekend could be a weekend the team look back in years to come and say that was the weekend that it all sort of started the ball rolling. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's always one of those nice feelings, isn't it, when you're starting to get and up. I tell you what, Pearson's not done level. yet. Yeah, no, he's not. He's, he's, re he's right behind now, isn't he? Uh, Vinnie Phillips and Phillips has been well he's been semi strong this year I mean he's been strong in the second half of the year definitely 100% um, I don't know what's changed with himself and the team whether or not they've tried some new setup uh, changes or anything like that Ooh, but, Vinnie, yeah. he, he's, he's, he is hot and cold yeah it's, it's like won his first heat yesterday was like struggling to hold on to a place in the top 15 in the second heat yeah then strong this morning and just hasn't quite got Ethan Jeff Hall checks over his shoulder to look you know, strong result for Ethan Jeff Hall. That'll move him into the top six in the championship. Jez Williams there sitting in fifth position. Charlie Hart again in sixth. Hart, you know, it's, it's getting a bit strung out now. There's Charlie Hart going through the S's. Behind Charlie Hart, Kulkarni, you know, overtaking is possible at this circuit because Kulkarni has, has gained probably more positions than any other driver this weekend. And he looks like he's going to come away with a top ten finish. He's seventh at the moment. Then it is Clark. Linden and Sabula now into 10th place. So again, it's like suddenly there are two Jackson Sport carts in the top 10. Uh, Ollie Stevens runs 11th, leading privateer. Harry the Lion is 12th. Only a letter uh, is 13th, sorry, because he's just been passed by Joseph Rippin. Joseph Rippin from 24th to 12th in this race. And the MLC team have uh, got their uh, you know, I've got the, the dander up. Mm. And, uh, I mean, Harry, only 12 places worse off than your dad, you know? Yeah. yeah. Oh. I'm not going to live that one down on the drive home. I, I very much doubt it. Or the plane home. Or the plane. Dubai. Yeah, back, oh, oh, back, right. to, back to Dubai, you know? Well, the car to the, the, the airport. Harry, let me introduce you to something called Spotify. <laughs> <laughs> you can listen to as, as, as Dan regales him. Well, you, with, can you can check so, out the Outlook podcast on Spotify. Well, you, you, you could, as you could indeed. <laughs> Uh, Leo Purchase from BKC Racing into top 16. Gabe Fairbrother from 34th to 14th. The GP plate holder. Haven't seen that much of him after had a mechanical failure on the rolling lap. We've got two minutes to go. Uh, Evie Poulain has failed to finish. Harrison Crowther was running in the top 10, has now dropped back to 29th place. Mm. So fortunate for Harrison Crowther. Um, 
looks like Reese Lomax has faded to 23rd place. Well, I mean, Reese is uh, being looked at by Connor Mills. I know Connor, uh, you know, Connor's bet half expect, expecting a child towards the end of the season. So we're still going to see Connor, uh, you know, in the paddock to the end of the season. Then he's probably going to take a little bit of a time out, and, you know, quite yep, rightly right, so. Rightly so, yeah. Um, and for about a week, I thought. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it doesn't stop crying. <laughs> Give me some whinging karting parents. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, and, and again, a perfect performance. Brandon Carr. Let's talk about the race leader. 2.1 seconds up the road. And this is inch perfect racing. Vinnie Phillips has sort of closed back in a little bit on Ethan Jeff Hall uh, for second position. Bullock Carter, four tenths off Phillips in the battle for the final podium position. And Jez Williams holding on to the top five. So, through Billy's point, oh, there's someone traveling slowly in the back of the shot there, coming out of the horseshoe. And it's Brandon Carr, easing it home. 45 seconds remaining. 45 seconds, ladies and gentlemen, until Anthony Jordan sings. Harry had Oh, the Harry, it was Harry the Lion going slowly. Well, now he's 20 places worse off than his dad. Um, I mean... I never said I was actually going to sing as well, by the way. But, well, I, I, I have just announced it to the crowd. Well, it's not happening. It, well, you said you were. You said there was a song you could sing. It was a social media song. Yeah, you weren't going to tell I said, me. I said, so I said there gonna, was a song you, if, I could sing. If you're going to leave me in anticipation, word. we're going to see it. So, Ollie Walker, looking on, directly in front of us, Jordan Chamberlain from KR Sport, watching, keeping their fingers and toes crossed as Brandon Carr who has been the picture of consistency this year, but has not stood at the top step of the podium yet. The clock strikes zero. Into top bend. He will see the last lap board next time around. There. Last lap board out. One more time. Around Billy's. Into the S's. Using those curbs beautifully. Just using the curbs to keep the cart turning. Hands hairpin. Out of hands hairpin. Use the camber to set himself up for run into the horseshoe. Famous corner names, a famous venue, and a famous first junior Rotax win for championship leader, Brandon Carr. And, and, oh, Anthony Jordan turned his microphone off and started singing. Poor show. Brandon Carr, for the first time, that is, it's been over three years since that driver there, Brandon Carr, won a round of the British Championship. The wait is over, and KR Sport put two drivers in the top five. Second for Ethan Jeff Hall. Vinnie Phillips finishes third. Pearson Bullock Carter takes the best result in the British Championship for the Jacks Motorsport team. And Pearson, four tenths of a second away from the podium. Jez Williams in fifth. Charlie Hart is sixth and is now your new third place driver in the championship. Aditya Kolkani, seventh. Neo Clark, eighth. Harry Linden ninth and Daniel Sabula rounds out the top 10 and that is Daniel's first top 10 of the year and it's two Jacks Motorsport carts in the top 10. Then it's Ollie, St Ollie Stevens. Gabe Fairbrother gained 22 places in that race to finish in 12th. So while there was very little overtaking at the front, there was a lot of overtaking going on behind. Joseph Rippin is 13th, followed by Ewan Charman and Ben Folland. William Antrobus, Alex Duncan, Reg Hayward, Tommy Harfield, and Harry Hannum round out the top 20 out of Jack Cooper, Reese Lomax, Mikey Porter, Reza Siamuthorn, Angus Scrivener, Gustav Uzakovs, Leo Purchase, Harrison Crowther, Stephen Duncan, and Danny Shields, the last classified finisher as the marshals once again a huge thank you to the orange army the marshals the most important people in the world of motorsport without the marshals giving up their free time nobody could go racing uh, there is the 
race sort of the uh, restaurant area and race control building here at Clay Pigeon. A much more modern structure than what was first here. And, OK, there are people on the live stream saying, ooh, a bit of a boring race. No, it was just a different type of race and a new winner this year. But it's the championship leader, Brandon Carr, speaking to Anthony now. Thank you very much, Henry. Yes, down in the well, winner's circle area, Brandon Carr. Well, but you took your time. Yeah, it's been a long time, well, yeah. Well, I mean, well, I think Henry worked out 2019. I think it was Kim Bolton in Miami Cadet was your last British champs victory. I can't even remember. It's been that long. Well, neither could I. I wasn't even in the championship back then. But still, that's what he said. But, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, congratulations. Thank you. I mean, talk us through um, this weekend, because, I mean, this weekend's been a pretty solid one for you. You know, you've shown great skill, you've shown great pace, but it was just nice to finally get that uh, podium win, isn't it? Yeah, it's been good. Um, a bit of a struggle at the start of the weekend, because we've not many, done much laps around here, but we sent to get it together for the final and the heats, and come out good. Came out on top, but that's what we like to see, isn't it? Who would you like to thank? I'd like to thank my mum, my dad, Ollie Walker, everyone in KR, Ash, Louis, and just everyone who's helped me on the way, and all my family. Well, we were saying you can't win a championship without winning a final, and you finally won a final, so congratulations this year. Well done. Thank you. Brilliant stuff there for Brandon Carr. Let's chat to second place, Ethan Jeff Hall. Come on over, Ethan. Take a stand here. Ethan, uh, talk us through that one. It looked like a tough race, but second place, solid result. Yeah, it's quite a good result. Uh, we've had uh, two DNFs in the last round, so it's good to be back on the podium. Yeah, definitely so. And I mean, Clay Pigeon is one of those tracks that you are, it's like Marmite, you either love it or you hate it. What is it for you? Uh, it's just an all right track. It's quite short, but it's a fun little circuit to race around. Definitely so. And of course, a few rounds left in the championship this year. It's nearing the end. Uh, are we still looking forward to the last couple of rounds? Yeah, it's going to be tough and hopefully it should be good. Who would you like to thank? I'd like to say a massive thanks for Strawberry Racing, Cream Racing Engines, my mechanics stack, uh, Warwick Ringham, Paul Spencer, Fit for Performance, um, Andy Key, Fibre King and my parents. Good stuff. Well, Ethan Jeff Hall, congratulations, P2. Thank you very much. Excellent stuff. There. Let's chat to our third place man. What, Vinny? Vinny? All right, all right lad. Uh, yeah, P3, it's all right? Yeah, I'm happy with it. Yeah. Done the best I could. Yeah, no, a solid weekend. I mean, Clay, again, tough old circuit, but you've shown good pace around here this weekend. And I mean, it's been a tough one. It's been a tough re kind of season, really, as well, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been tough. Um, yeah, it has been tough, to be fair. I mean, I mean, 2019, or 2020, I should say, you know, you were Minimax champion this year. Minimax you know, fight. Oh, Minimax, oh, get it right. Yeah, give me a slap on the head. Blame Henry for that. He told me it was Minimax. No, no, he didn't. Anyway, but anyway, Third place again, solid result. But are we looking forward to the rest of the season still? Yeah, I'm. I'm very excited for the rest of the season. Let's see how it pans out. Brilliant stuff. Anyone you'd like to thank? Oh, I'd like to thank Strawberry, uh, Cream Engines, and My Mechanic, and every, everyone else who supported me. Well, congratulations, P3, Vinny Phillips. Thank you. Excellent stuff there. Way more professional than whatever. I botched that interview, didn't I? Henry, come in here, lad. Uh, <laughs> no, don't do that to me. Uh, what a weekend. I mean, Clay Pigeon, we love it. I love yeah. it. It's a pretty sick track, I, isn't it? I, am, I absolutely love this place. Yes, it's a challenge to the drivers. Yeah. Uh, but that's what the British Championship is all about. Mm. Um, you know, we've gone circuits where we've seen 50, 60, 70 passing manoeuvres in, in one race, where there's been 14, 15 change the lead. It's different here. You've got to think differently. You know, some, some of the most important laps you do all weekend come on Saturday in qualifying. So the beauty of the British Championships is that we go from the most ultra-modern facilities to the historic you know, foreground of karting. When karts first started going around the UK, there are still some of those places left. This is one of them. So, you, yes, it's short. Yes, it's narrow. Yes, we're a bit cramped. But the circuit's got character. You cannot buy or build character. You just have it. And this time around, we actually managed to finish the race weekend in some sunshine, not rain. And I have to say, looking forward to next year. Hopefully, we do come back here again. Yeah, August bank holiday weekend. What a, what a yeah. place to be. Um, Really significant weekend. Can't say, you know, well done to the Zip team, oh, you know, highly enough. Um, you know, Martin Hines, you know, who was responsible for launching so many careers. On the anniversary of his death, Zip winning, that was fantastic. Great result for Daniel Minto, getting a Micromax ticket to the grand final. But also, again, we just saw there, you know, Brandon Carr. That's yeah. a, that's a, a really, a, that win is a long time coming, very well deserved. We've got, 
you know, thick and fast coming now. Three to go. Mm. We get a weekend off, and then it's off to another classic. Kim Bolton. I know. can't wait. I cannot wait for that one, and uh, hopefully neither can you. Stick around for it, because it's all coming up in a couple of weeks' time. Don't go anywhere, but until then, it's bye from us from here. Clay Pigeon, the Rear Tools British Cup Championship. See you later.